This weekend, embark on a journey into the extraordinary world of exquisite craftsmanship and timeless beauty with Rarity Weekend on Jewelry Maker. Prepare to be enchanted as we unveil a treasure trove of rare gems, each one meticulously handpicked for its unparalleled brilliance and allure. Tune in this weekend where luxury meets authenticity in every shimmering facet. Rarity Weekend, only on Jewelry Maker. Good morning, lovely jewellery makers. And my goodness me, is it going to be one of the most amazing weekends full of, yes, rarity, but my goodness me, such beauty. Not only in the gemstones either, <laughs> because look who's in the studio. It's my favourite Debs. Hello. How are you doing, my darling? Hi, everyone. Oh, I'm really it well, like thank you. It's ages since we've been together. I know. Oh, well, I've been away for four days and I feel like I've been away for a month. It's really did me good. Oh, you feel energised. I feel energised. Cleansed. Yeah. And, and happy because you, you saved a seal. Saved, saved a baby a seal. seal. Aww. I know. He was a baby. He's at the vets now, but he was just displaced because of all the storms. Aww. Oh, he's so cute. They are adorable, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. You know, you know, like when the creatures of the world were being created, mm. I do sometimes think, like, because I was watching a sloth video the other day. Oh, I love sloth. I do sometimes think, what made you make them look like that? I know. Because <laughs> little tiny heads and these massive <laughs> arms. Yeah. And seals are another one, aren't they? And when they're moving, they're so graceful in the water, but when they're moving on land, and then bloop, bloop, bloop. Yeah, I can relate. I'm like that. So am I. <laughs> I can relate that. If I get in this, come, come, like, come, once the girls are in bed, that I am a seal on the sofa. That is me. <laughs> me too. I'm a seal with a dog or three or four. Yeah, dogs me too. On me. Pinned. Yeah. Pinned down. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's wonderful, though, isn't it? <laughs> I love it. Um, so, what animal do you relate to? Baby yeah. seal? Adult seal? Have you ever saved an animal? Yes. We were talking about that. I've saved a hedgehog. Yeah, that's a nice and one. And a baby seal. My cousin does that. She rescues hedgehogs. Oh. She's got a little hedgehog hotel. That's really good because they're quite endangered. They are they? now, yeah. They're protected, aren't they? Oh. They're protected. Um, I've saved a dormouse. Oh. Not dormouse, a field mouse, sorry. When when my, my mum's cat at the time, she brought it in and obviously it, mm. it was alive and it... I was chasing it around the house and Aww. set him free. Yay! Set him free to live another day. Aww. That's a good texting topic. Michael, have you saved any animals? No. Mm, you have. No. Your rescue dog. You saved your rescue dog. Oh, yeah. You've got. Yeah, but that's saving him from Just the shelter. Saving him. That's a okay. round of applause for the rescue dog. Um, what about you, Roscoe? Have you saved any animals? <laughs> you pulled a crisp packet off a cat's head once. Was it walking around with the crisp bucket on his head? Aww. Aww. You pulled the oh, car. Oh, good for That's really good. See, that's a good thing because he wouldn't be able to see, would he? And he might have got salt, salt in his eyes and... Or walked in the road or something. Walked in the road, exactly. Aww. Adam, have you saved any animals? A bird and a rabbit from cats. Aww. What about an elephant? Yeah, you've had, you've had um, an experience with an elephant. <laughs> Um, yeah, because Adam was charged by an elephant once upon a time. There we go. But he says, don't talk about it because he has got post-traumatic stress about we're it. Not, we're not talking about um, it. <coughs> do you still love elephants? Yeah, he, he does. does. That's good. good. That's good. Anyway, let's talk about Jewelry Makers, your rarity weekend. Now we have a brochure to... A uh, brochure. Oh, a brochure. I have to say it like that because it's really posh this weekend. Um, to actually flick through and just feast your eyes on the incredible opportunities um, that you have before you. Um, the front, and we've got gorgeous Katie modelling each of these pieces as well. I mean, she literally looks... I'm watching The Crown at the moment. Oh, yeah. And don't you think that could be... She could be that Her Royal Highness with that photograph. I made that necklace during oh. my last show and I've never in my life seen pearls like that. Well, they're the they're largest huge. in jewellery maker history. They are beautiful. Aren't they? They're coming up on tomorrow's show as your deal of the day. So just... Put that in your diary, make a note somewhere that 10 o'clock, you have to be, yes, that was confirmed with me as well, um, you have to be tuning into Jewelry Maker for those they pearls. Are, they are incredible. Oh, and they come in this incredible box. Yeah, it, beautiful. Honestly, they look like they're worth 
£50,000. They're well, absolutely beautiful. Funny you should say that. Just hold that thought. Okay. Now, what else, though, is coming up? You have um, more beautiful pearls you mm. can see here. You've got a selection of your sterling silver satellite spacer beads. These are our early bird today. Ooh today um so we've brought you you spacer beads for oh gosh many years here mm. at jewelry maker but never in the satellite bead cut plus the price so this brochure is not just about high price tags no you know it's across all different budgets um <clears throat> the early bird price tag is unbelievable so that's today you can shop and get these right now and we have got them in um all three colors so they're in items number one two and three on the website as we speak so beautiful sweet very cartier inspired at 10 o'clock today <gasps> wow yeah wow this is your quartzite jade a carving brand new of your beautiful dragon look at that that's got to be one of the biggest carvings we've done surely it's absolutely huge absolutely huge that photograph just shows you how well it works as a necklace as yeah. well yeah i mean as a statement piece yeah beautiful we've got <coughs> excuse me the infinity pendant too look at that oh i love that it's gorgeous you could look at you could look at that like the infinity i also think it's quite celtic in its it appearance is. yes it is i think so um so um another item that's coming up today this morning it are the most i mean what a stunning piece of jewelry deb's firstly <laughs> um you have but, to say that i'm sitting here <laughs> no I, I mean it i mean i wouldn't say if i did mean it natural pearls purple pearls these are utterly exquisite. I actually showed Tom these last night. I had to do something different with these. So, of course, you can knot it. Yeah. But look at them. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and the earrings as well. Look at those. The earrings. Look. So, they're separate opportunities because they're half drilled, aren't they? They're half drilled, um, but you get them in this beautiful box as well. And I know oh. you probably think, but really, you know, the whole experience of opening that box and yep. seeing those pearls. <gasps> unbelievable look at them they're gorgeous well they're a four figure piece of jewelry straight away they look they? like those ones you get on do you know that you're always showing yoko um, yes yoko of from london. yoko of london absolutely um i think that's where the inspiration came from for the buying and they're those. thousands aren't they so, oh, tens of thousands of pounds. Oh, okay. um there they are and you can see they come in a beautiful purple velvet box yes. you get the silk you get the precious metal alongside it too so those are coming up deb's at 12 um 12 o'clock mm. Um, then, yeah, take check this out. Oh, yeah, they're incredible, aren't they? And they're beautifully graduated too. And then you have black jadeite as I well know, within in your a, project. In a project. Oh, I love it, Ross. Is, I'm going to repeat what producer Ross has just said in my ear. He's like, "L, these are the two best kits in one show." I I, I don't disagree. You have, normally it's like you have one headline yes. project and you have one, um, which is still lovely. Don't get me wrong. But they're both headline projects today. Deal of the day worthy, absolutely. Because um, this is type A black jade. And look how much you've created. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the project that I'm going to be showing you is the bracelet, just uh -huh. as something a little bit different. Again, if I, you know, well, I, when I'm working with something of this caliber, I don't want to put too many things with it because I wanted it to be neutral, like a bit... Um, very classic yeah so and you get these connectors and they're 925 sterling wow. silver and i thought they were really beautiful and then you also get the gold version mm -hmm. with the necklaces on the on the white bust and that's the sort of thing that i would probably wear myself a lot absolutely they're lotus flowers aren't they yeah they're beautiful, beautiful. look at those so they come alongside uh, the actual natural gemstones and they are sterling silver and of course the instructions a strand of type a burmese black jadeite in six mil and then you've got a strand of guatemalan eight millimeter black um type a grade as well so those are coming up at nine o'clock today um anything else through the brochure okay so you are now you know everything that is coming your way this weekend you know that it is a, a weekend not to miss i have to say we've done a rarity weekend once previously before haven't we <coughs> that i have recall we? yeah probably i think so um and i remember that vividly 
as one of my favourite weekends that we've done here at Jewelry Maker, and I think this weekend is going to top it. Um, as always, do text in Jewelry Makers. We'd love to hear from you. You're going to have a giggle today because we've got Debs. We always have a giggle, don't we? <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah. Always have a laugh. Um, <coughs> um, text in, come and say hello to us all. We've got beautiful goodies. And remember that um, eight o'clock hour time's out at nine o'clock so you can get your satellite sterling silver spacer beads right now they're in items number one two and three um, and there's a lovely plethora of beautiful gemstones one more announcement for the weekend though yes you also get free postage and packaging all weekend i didn't know that and neither did i until i got here today how amazing so add that code to your order, JM Free PP. Oh, that's excellent. <coughs> Fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. So not only are we bringing you the inspiration by the bucket loads, we're bringing you the deals and the rarest gemstones. Um, we also give it to you at free postage and packaging. Yes. Yes. So we're gonna Come have on, yeah. jury maker. Oh, it's going to be epic. It's going to be absolutely epic. So um, text in, come and say hello, everybody. Tell us what you're up to. What was that, Roscoe? Ah, uh, yeah, yes, yes, of course, have, have I not mentioned that? Um, it feels like I haven't seen him in ages, isn't it? We've got Dave in the studio as well, who's oh. going to be launching um, the Quartzite Jade. So he's going to be educating oh. us on that. Um, very excited about that. So he's coming up at 10 o'clock and he's also with us again tomorrow. So very excited. That's a really beautiful it's unbelievable. colour. It's like... Um I don't know how to describe it. It's like a, a, a mint, almost a mint that's colour. A, that's a nice description. It's really different. The translucency I love that it. you get from Quartzite Jade is absolutely amazing. So that's coming your way with Dave. Master Troth is stepping into the <laughs> studio. He's always good fun as well. He is good fun. Yeah, he's a giggle. He is a giggle. Right then, should we get cracking? Shall we? Should we um, just just welcome our, our lovely team. We've got Eva, beautiful Eva. Hello, darling. She's in the background there giving you a little wave. Just waving, don't worry, don't worry, just saying hi. Um, we've got <laughs> handsome, handsome Michael as well, everybody. Just having a stretch right now. Do you want to poke your head in? There he is. Here he is. Yay! Yay! We've got a lovely Michael. He does look lovely today. Looking very dark. I'm liking the trousers. I'm liking the trousers. <laughs> no, because they're not... <laughs> <laughs> They're a bit shorter, like the ankles are on view. It's nice. Um, <laughs> let's get cracking, shall we? Because I'm getting myself into a bit of a bit of trouble here. Do you right, like my uh, trousers? <laughs> <laughs> I love your trousers. Oh, thanks. No um, leggings. <laughs> right then, let's get cracking with some beautiful red onyx. Thank you. Saved by Ross. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, in your beautiful cabochons. Talking of rarity. <gasps> Red Onyx Ooh. in a little box, and you get all five of them. Twenty-four ninety-nine. That seems pretty fair. That's a fiver each. How about them? Two pound per Red Onyx. Wow. Yeah, that's very. Yeah, I am happy, puppy, as you would say, Ross. <laughs> I am very happy. Beautiful glowing Red Onyx. That quality. How about five beautiful Red Onyx genuine gemstones for? I don't think I could do that because I've got a cold brewing, so my throat's like, <coughs> I'll try it. Burned. <coughs> it's burned. <laughs> <coughs> See, I knew it would make me cough. <coughs> burned. There you go. For all of the gemstones, <laughs> five of them, one pound. In, and the box, that's a good point. The box, the, a bo and then free postage and packaging. Oh, Goodness that's me. amazing. I haven't even got to pay for the postage and packaging. Oh my goodness me. What did you say, Ad? We're losing if we're paying for the post and packaging. Well, yeah, sure. We'll never yeah, mind about absolutely. that. That's it's fine. It's all right. We're making friends. It's so what we lose <laughs> in a monetary stance, we make up in friendship. Yes. There you go. And I think that's as important, isn't it, jewelry makers? Yes. Hello, Lucy, Pauline, Debbie, Angela, C, D. Hello to you. <coughs> no, generally, there is a C in Essex and there's D in York, South Yorkshire. Um, uh, Rachel in Yorkshire as well, Debbie in Northamptonshire. Morning, everybody. Loads of you with it in your baskets. North Yorkshire, if you want those five, I would be quick checking out your basket. How many have you got, Roscoe? We had 57. We haven't got anywhere near that quantity now. 23 remaining, but there's Sue and Merseyside said, uh, I'll have five at that price tag. Thank you very much, Ross. 
Thank you very much. You, you are welcome, Sue. And Rachel in North Yorkshire has got five as well. Well done. Uh, North Yorkshire's just got five. Well done. Mariska and Debbie and Maker and Bridget and Joe and Kent wants six and Cheryl and Joan and Janet and Lucy and Julie. Ah, oh, hello, everybody. There's yeah, lots so, of Debras and Debbies lots, there. Yes. You can only buy it if your name's Debbie or Deborah. Uh, <laughs> nah, it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> we get, there's, there's also lots of other names like Joan and Shona and Amanda and Dawn. What is your nan's name called, Joan? Is it? Oh, okay. I always loved my grandma's name, Francis. Mine was Nancy. Oh, that's a nice and name. And Elizabeth too. on the other side, but I never met that one. <sighs> My sister's middle name was Elizabeth. I like Francis, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. Francis, I like that as well. Um, should we do my favourite? Yeah, we had our eye on these we devs, did. didn't we? We did, we did. They're like, these are unbelievable. And I actually said, Roscoe, what's this? And he was like, it's only one of your eight o'clock deals, isn't it? And he says, oh, oh, oh. Is that's how he talks. <laughs> <laughs> that was my prep for the show, just practising a Ross's little head wobble. Yeah. <laughs> you do talk like that. <laughs> oh, it's only one of your eight o'clock deals. This is uh, L, and it's going to a pound. He oh, said. it's not. It is. Yeah, citrine, beautiful, gold plated. Has it gone? It's a bit. Wow. It's a pound. Shall we do the what? Sorry. Smooth bars. I don't see any smooth bars. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, in the meantime, what animals have you saved? <laughs> have you rescued any animals? Hmm. Would you? Would you know, I'd like to work in like a, like a conservation. Oh, so would I. That's that's my I dream. I reckon it'd be quite a... heartbreaking though. At the same time, that's the thing. I'd like to have a rescue place. Yeah, me too. If I, I always said, if I lost, if I won the lottery. I would 100% rescue all the dogs that nobody wants. Yeah. 100% I would do that. I've, I've got four already and two cats, so. Tom was saying to me, he was like, oh, well, you know, are you going to build a separate building? I was like, no. Mm -hmm. He was like, well, I can't live with all that. I was like, well, I'll build you a separate building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be, that would be Alex. He'd be like, I'd be like, oh, this is your house. And this is me and all of my dogs and my llamas and my baby pigs <laughs> yeah <laughs> only joking Tom I love you um okay let's bring you some beautiful obsidian sure no I mean this is obsidian obsidian is extremely Ooh. rare golden obsidian comes at a higher price tag as, as well we can't get this to a pound that physically can't it's just not possible it's a beautiful genuine gemstone formed by a uh, um ancient volcanic rock or glass basically and the temperature and speed in which it cools equates to what colors that you actually see in your obsidian <laughs> can't do it a pound but we can do it for two Hertfordshire says give me 17 look Hertfordshire's got 17 of those fair play Rachel's got six well done Dawn hello to Mariska and Debbie and Deborah you're right it's sold out well done well done everybody well done um, by the way do you know how busy it is for rarity weekend says Roscoe Ah, yes, speaks volumes, this does. If you look at the website, now the Golden Sheen has just sold out, so Bumblebee Jasper sold out. Sold out, sold out, sold out. Sold out, sold out. Sold out, sold out, sold out. You get the general gist, sold out, yeah. Yeah, sold out. You get the general gist. So make sure, make sure, make sure you are checking out nice and early. Shall we do some what? Oh, the Larimar heart. This is so beautiful. This is the other item that caught my attention. Genuine Larimar, all the way from the Dominican Republic. A rare form of pectolite that solely in this location transforms to a beautiful blue. Now, how what, sorry? How expensive is Larimar? I tell you how expensive it is, Roscoe. Rachel, when she was producing, because you were, because <laughs> you were off, 
you were off, you know, when you, when you deserted us for a couple of weeks. Um, Rachel, who is a gemstone buyer on, on gems now, yeah. was saying that, um, seriously, I will buy your Laramar off you and, and I'll have it made into jewellery for our sister channel. She goes, it's ridiculously expensive to buy. Really? Ridiculously. She goes, I can't believe the jewellery maker prices of this gemstone. That's one of our buyers from our sister channel wishing to buy our Laramar at these prices so they can go on to make them into wow. jewellery. So if ever you wanted to know um, that you're getting a great price tag, there it is. There's the proof. Um, yeah, even here at fifty nine ninety nine. What what? You get the chain the chain as well. Yeah, it's the whole it's the whole sh shaboodle, the whole shebang. Yeah, oh, that's. Lovely. I mean, that could be on a cruise liner, couldn't it? Yeah. Well, you see Laramar a lot on cruise ships, don't you? It's sterling silver as well, isn't yeah. it? So yeah, you're talking over a hundred pound on a cruise liner for that easily, 100%. and the rest probably. Yeah, hundred percent. £29.99 pence only. It's natural, it's rare, it's one locational. Um, that's unbelievable. That's, that's a really great good. price for the chain. True. But it's also, don't forget your free post and packaging too. But it's also, I've got 20 available within the vault, not your closing price. In one minute, precisely, we're going to half that price tag, <gasps> jewelry makers. Yeah. That is crazy. That is very crazy, Ross. We're going to half the price, jewelry makers, in one minute. So I've said it out loud now. You know we're not going to go back on that, so you might as well just check out nice and early. Like Phyllis has done in the Shetland Isles and Eileen in Hampshire. Um, extreme rarity. What's that? It's the only piece of Laramar we've got all weekend. Well, that speaks volumes, doesn't it? And also, I think um, the team are planning a trip to Dominican Republic. I have put my name down. Do they need help? Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll volunteer our services. Okay, I'll carry the suitcases. I'll do anything. Yeah, I think we'd be integral to actually conveying the message of what's going on with the Laramar. I, I think, think it's important. It's really important. I think we need that to be there. Ha we have our presence there. Definitely. Absolutely. And I'm also. I'll go down the mine. Me too. I'll go down. I'll it's put fine. one of those hats on. Yeah, all good. Yeah, I'm yeah. all good with I'm that. There. Yeah, if they want me, just L tell them. Yeah, we'll take one for the team. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to half that price tag all the way to the Dominican Republic <laughs> um, for the update. So it's you know it's it's for it's it, you know it's, it's for the message. It's really important. Obviously, we're not going for a jolly. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> maybe if we just keep saying this, they'll go like, oh, okay, there, yeah, they've got to go. Yeah, I think they might. Do you reckon that <laughs> if we keep saying it, we might almost convince them? that we need to go. 14 pounds and 99 wow. pence only. We had 20, I can see Gloucester, Kathy, Deborah, Carolyn, Phyllis, Mariska and Eileen, you've done it. I've also got Maker, Margaret, Anne, Helen, Northamptonshire, Wiltshire, Louise, Maker, uh, Angela and Lynn, all there. So if you'll check out, especially with the quantities that I can see in some of your baskets, it's a sellout already. I mean, you could literally just put this away for Christmas, couldn't you? Most definitely. Is that drilled all the way through or is that glued in at the top there? It's at the top, half drilled. So, I mean, look at that that's so pretty you could Perfect. even if you wanted to make that a little bit longer and have a gemstone at the top you could definitely do that couldn't you yeah because it's it's glued in there so you could just add an extra jump ring and if you wanted to make it your own yeah a pearl would be nice oh, above that yeah i heart. love laramar and pearls mm. together i think that's a gorgeous combination that's a crazy price tag you don't just get the laramar you get the sterling silver chain you know, if you look at it that way, that's seven pound fifty for your Laramar, seven fifty seriously, and seven pound fifty for the precious metal. Um, well done, and you get free P and P. Good point, Ad. Good point. Um, okay, let's do another very rare gemstone, Lake Bacal Seraphonite. Oh, it's stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, <clears throat> I adore Seraphonite. It, for me, it's one of them. I'm definitely getting a cold. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> it's a, for me. It's one of those gemstones that has this almost spiritual, angelic-like appearance mm. about it. Because seraphonite actually has sort of the feather pat feathering oh. pattern with inside. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. It's totally and utterly natural. Very significant in the metaphysical side of your gemstones, by the way, if that's uh, um, of interest to you. And it, again, it is totally and utterly natural. I genuinely think I could count on one hand the amount of times I've brought seraphonite to air, not just this year, probably the last two, three years. Do you agree, Ross? We've probably seen it maybe once or twice in the last three, four years. We rarely get the opportunity um, to bring it. So let me just quickly read this out to you. So Seraphonite stone, um, 
Seraphonite stone derives from the Greek word seraphim, meaning winged heavenly being. Because of its iridescent feather-like fibers, the fibers have a likeness to silver, uh, feathery wings flying within the gem, gem of a deep forest green. Oh. Um, that's why seraphonite stone meanings are so deeply tied to the celestials, but more than that, more on that later. It's a, just a lovely, lovely gemstone. Like I said, it brings a lot of comfort, I think, especially um, because of those sort of guardian angel yeah. uh, um, suggestions. Is it a crystal? Yes, it's one of the best crystals for meditation, making it highly sought after in spiritual circles. Um, is seraphonite rare? Gem quality seraphonite is found exclusively in Lake Bacal, region of Siberia, so it's extremely rare. There you go. Um, and if I just jump to um, the bottom, is there another name for seraphonite? Actually, there are a few. It's commonly referred to as seraphine, uh, seraphinite, seraphina. Um, I'm not even going to attempt that one. Green, <laughs> clino. Cleaner claw, don't really like the description there, or chlorite jade because of its green hues. Seraphonite is also nicknamed the stone of angels for its powerful spiritual energy. Oh, I love that. Yeah, Look it's how so it pretty. glistens. Yeah, it does glisten. And it's the it's the facets, but it's also that chatoyancy yeah. inside. And if you want to know the beauty of the location, I can show you uh, a photograph. Yeah, it's unbelievable, isn't it? Absolute. And I, I need to point out as well, jewelry makers, we are not buying any gemstones from this region for obvious reasons. Um, this is all. This is purchased like two, three years ago, but has actually been under lock and key. So it might be. You know, I was just saying, um, <clears throat> I haven't brought it to air for a long time. It might be the last round because we're not buying anymore. Yeah unfortunately which is unless things change of course but you can actually see from this location obviously the coldness um of that location you know is that what's responsible for the sort of feathery like inclusions it's almost like a flo frozen lake um captured within the gem itself now we have 16 available opportunities um possibly the last 16 in jewelry maker history never say never but you know uh, currently we are not buying from that location um, which is a real shame, isn't it? We bought this uh, like two, maybe even three years ago. Can you tell us? Three years ago, there we go. That's mm. how long ago it was bought and it's been under lock and key since then. You get free postage and packaging, but here's a gemstone that again, I haven't seen in absolutely ages. I adore it and I think many of you do. Um, is it literally? It's perfect for rarity weekend, absolutely. When we're talking about some of the rarest gemstones, this exclusively forms um, in Lake Bacal. And how many strands of seraphite do we have within our vault? It's rare within our vault. This is it. Okay, there we are then. This is the only strand we have. So, have you know, <laughs> there's no greater description of your rarity. So even here at 69.99, we're not buying any more of this, uh, of this gemstone, which is a real shame because it is so beautiful. So get it whilst you can. 12 carats faceted to perfection that we, yeah i agree that's already a low price tag for seraphonite it is it's already an incredibly low price it's natural there's no enhancement whatsoever the stone of angels let's half that price for you jewelry makers imagine seraphonite with pearls <gasps> because you get those kind of like pearlescent chatoyant feathers that naturally occur within this gemstone Imagine that teamed alongside some natural pearls as well. £34.99. And, and you haven't got to add the post and packaging either because that's free all weekend. All weekend. We can what? Is that not the really special price? Because <laughs> that looks really special to me. <clears throat> Apparently we could go lower. But we're, after we crash the price, we'll hold it on screen for one minute. We're already actually over allocated on this one, but we can go lower. Today, as part of your rarity weekend, the only strand of seraphonite that we have. Oh yeah, that photo. Oh, look at that. It's this in a gemstone. It is. You know, if you've got a special I don't know, like if you've got a gemstone or a pearl or a little pendant from somebody who's not with you anymore, pop it onto this strand and it's like keeping yeah. them close to you. you Definitely. Know, this is making that jewelry with angels. meaning. You know, it's green, it's heart-centered, <clears throat> it's calming. 
It's 1999 I as know, well. I mean, which is absolutely brilliant. unbelievable. We'll hold this on screen for 30 more seconds, jewelry makers. We only had 20 at the beginning of this auction. It is magical, this gemstone, and that's the that's the. You know, if you, magical is a word that you don't put with many gems, but no. definitely alongside your seraphonite. Um, Jacqueline, Leslie, Lynn, Sue, Gloucestershire, Catherine, Angela, hello to you, Lynn and Ayrshire as well. Alison in Kent, you're joining us. We only had 20, Anne in Kent. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. We'll hold it on screens literally for the clock, um, and then we have to move on because that's priced far too low. So make sure you're checking out your baskets on that one. Um, we've got single figures remain. You can still get it. So um, if you are Anne, Alison, Gloucestershire, Catherine, Angela, London or Lynn or Lou, make sure you're checking out your baskets because there's only single figure quantities and other makers joined us as well because that would be the last strand that we get. We're not buying any more. Um, so when we talk about rarity for £20, yeah, absolutely amazing. Um, shall we do another firm favourite of mine? That is beautiful Malachite. <coughs> Amazing malachite, totally natural. Oh, look at the colour of this. Beautiful quality. Look at that quality. That's lovely. That's Stunning. a great example, isn't it? Yeah. Of malachite. Mm. When we visualise malachite, mm. it's this, isn't it's that, it? that, yeah. It's that really unique, enigmatic green. Yeah. Not many gemstones have the same natural colour as this. Not. It's so easily recognisable, isn't yeah. it? If it's good. Yes, like this. absolutely. And the, you know, I've seen not necessarily here at Jewelry Maker. I've seen inferior mal malachite, and it's not nice. And there's lots of fake out there yeah, as well. Yeah, I've seen painted malachite. I mean, how ridiculous is that? If you want quality malachite, if you haven't got any in your collection or in your stash, this is the auction for you. Because the next price crash that you're going to see is not your closing price. You know when we do, I mean, I haven't got time to do it now, it's your early bird hour, but you know we show when we have the PowerPoint and we talk about the uh, about Malachite, show different jewellery designers. This reminds me of the Wolf and Badger necklace, which is exactly this. Yeah. It's like a four millimetre strand. Twelve, uh, 19 Not stopping there. How many do we have? 40, four zero available. Graduated from your three to four millimetres, yeah. Did that Wolf and Badger necklace where it's one single, really mm. simple three or four millimetre round strand. I can't remember how much it is, but it's hundreds. Oh, yeah. Hundreds of pounds. We're not even stopping at 19.99. Yeah, this is, the this is the strand for you. If you've looked at Malachite, maybe it's been just beyond your budget. Nowhere near enough people on the phone lines, though, to justify this price drop. We need to remember that this is totally natural. It is also one of the hottest gemstones of the moment with all the big jewellery designers working with it. The likes of your Van Cleef, your Shopard, your... Wolf and Badger, your Piaget, they're all working with Malachite as we speak. And this is no, uh, no less than Congolese, widely regarded as the best in the world. There you go, one single round in Piaget. That's tiny, by the way. It's not a big stone. It's 2,000 pounds. Yeah, it's not the gold, it's the, it's, the, it's the actual gemstone. Nowhere near enough people in. I tell you what, we'll drop the price a little bit more and then we'll say, there's another 60 second clock on your screen because we are going even lower. If we go to this price tag, we do want all 40 to be the sellout. Remember, you haven't got to pay post and packaging. It's free all weekend. <clears throat> we are going even lower. But we need to see you there. That's the one. Look, 400 and what, is it 80? 480 pounds for that. It's no different to what I'm holding, only that will probably have a clasp. There you all are. Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. It's the weekend. And um, we're bringing Malachite, seriously, for less than £15. That's ridiculous, isn't it? I do, I do not know anywhere else in the world that does this. Quality Malachite, not inferior grade. All around the world shopping with us this morning. Hello, Linda in Arizona. Hello to you, Anna in Cambridgeshire. Hello to you, Anne in Kent. And Andrew in Lancashire. And Debbie in Northamptonshire. Uh, Northamptonshire, sorry, and Sue in Merseyside, and Anne in beautiful Pembroke. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody, because we're going even lower. We had 40. This is a silly low price, says Ross. Oh, that's amazing for Malachi. I mean, you could totally recreate that necklace you just showed. That's four hundred eighty pounds. That's what I mean, and that—that's not a bad price for no. Malachi. No. You know, um, when you think Malachi's in a lot of high-end designer pieces, I mean, yeah. it's very sought after, isn't it? Yeah, everywhere. Shopard, yeah. Piaget, yeah. Van Cleef, 
They're all working with it. All working with this beautiful gemstone. And here we are at oh, twelve ninety nine. But it, that isn't even that's an exception to even our prices. Yeah. You know, we don't normally no. we're not normally able to bring malachite to twelve uh, to air for twelve ninety nine, are we? You know, that is exceptionally low for even us. Um, but make the most of it. The phone lines have lit up. Morning, everybody. I hope you're all well. We've been talking about animals um, as well. What animals have you rescued or saved in some way, shape or form? Bumblebee. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, I've done that. Mm. To give a little bit of sugary water. Yeah. yeah, love that. Willow would quite proudly say she rescued a snail. Aww. When she was when she was younger, she used to if she found snails in the garden, she used to take them in her little little summer house. Oh yeah. And <laughs> in a cupboard, she had a, she had a cupboard of snails. <laughs> Daisy used to, saying that Daisy used to have one of those you know like fish tank glass yeah. things, and she used to put her snails in there. Yeah. Yeah. And I've they'd live quite that. happily. Yeah, and she'd be fed them, and they yeah, all... same. Yeah. They'd be happily fed and yeah. watered yeah. and whatnot, keep the moisture in. It's funny, isn't it? Um, Twelve ninety nine. Well done, everybody. Love <coughs> the quality of that malachite. Um, we had forty. I don't have anywhere near that quantity now, though, Ross. Do I? They're absolutely flying out. He says. And Congolese malachite. You can get it from a few different locations around the world. Congolese is that uh, widely uh, regarded as the best, isn't it? Best in the world. And you can see it. You've got beautiful, beautiful peacock eye demonstrations within each of those. Hello, Angie, Teresa, and Fran, and Maria, who's got three, and Tracy, who's got two, and Valerie and Blina Gwent, uh, Ronald, Debbie, Ted. Hello to you, multi buying. I've got five left. Helen, Denise, Sylvia, well done. Oh, they've sold out. Congratulations. Well done. Don't forget your early bird, the first time ever that we've done the satellite bead in precious metal. You can shop ahead on these, everyone. They're going to go crazy. Um, the packs of what? Sorry. Ten. So you get the two sizes, don't you? Yeah, you get five. Um, yeah, f uh, five mil and four mil. Um, five of each. So, but we've never actually done them before. Um, in the precious metal before the satellite beads. I love them. They look like little disco balls. They're amazing, don't they? Aren't they? They really add that little bit of sparkle. Well, it's a facet almost, isn't it? It is, yeah. A facet on your precious metal. Shop ahead. These are in items number one, two, and three on the website as we speak. All the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Um, precious Solid 925. They are your early bird and they're coming your way, lovely jewelry makers, but not yet. <laughs> not yet. Um, until then, Roscoe. Should we, oh, I was eyeing up these pearls. So was I. There's two available. That's me and you. <laughs> there you go, we'll buy them, there you go. Job yeah, done, sorted. Um, seriously though, I wonder if these are the same pearls that I gave you this morning, Debbie. They look very similar, don't they? And I, I hadn't seen them before. These are magnificent. I think they are, you know. Do you think? So I've asked Debbie, I was like, Debbie, please could you lot something for me? Because it's a, it's a gift. And oh, I've bought, you know, I said I bought a clasp. I'm fairly sure these are the pearls that I've bought. They do look the same. Oh, they're beautiful, Elle. Unbelievable. These are big, gently graduated yeah. as well. Big, natural, um, cultured pearls. There are two available within the vault. What? Oh. Dreamy, aren't they? They they're look like stunning. they're worth thousands and thousands of pounds. And they would be, that's the thing. If yeah. you were to look elsewhere, if Debbie. you were to go sort of to somewhere like, I don't know, Milan or yes. Rodeo Drive yep. or Place Vendôme or Bond Street, Bond Street Hatton mm. Garden, they would be those, the four figure price tags. And then some possibly, not them with silk. And this is why, and I know I went on about it yesterday, I do apologize, but this is why we should be selling gold. Because this, on a gold class, is well over what's on, I'm not, I'm not qualified to value items. But I can work, I can only tell you, relay my experiences. Look at this. Look at the quality of the pearls. Oh, it's cool. Look, you just... Gently graduated, oh, perfectly spherical. Oh. They're stunning. There's two available. Hazel, I can see you there, my lovely. I'm fairly sure these are the pearls that I bought, my mother-in-law. I think they are, Ross. And did we have a big quantity, like a hundred of them? No. Oh, maybe. So these are more exclusive, more limited. But they're beautiful. Remember your five virtues. I think we've got one left now. Is that right? 
Hazel, massive congratulations. They're stunning. We're going to do this in two price crashes. I mean, all day long, that's an absolutely unbelievable deal. But you know we're not oh. stopping there. We're no way near done. Massive congratulations to you, Hazel. You've just secured Edison pearls. And they're up, they go up to 11 mil. Uh, Ross is just saying, you might want to add the other one, Hazel. Go for the, for the longer um, line necklace. Oh. I mean, can you imagine that? Gosh, that's even lower than... I, do you know when I was like, he's going to put 199 in I thought he was going to put 299. Well, yeah. I was like, if he puts 199, that's far too low. And then he went to 149. Hazel might be get, getting the double. Uh, but you're not alone, Hazel. Heather's there as well in Hertfordshire. Uh, good luck, ladies. These are absolutely breathtaking pearls. Absolutely breathtaking. Hazel, well done. You did it. Congratulations. Are you going to go for the long graduated necklace? That's unbelievable. Wish list it, Alan. Wish list it, uh, um, Dorothy. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Okay. Now, Debbie, speaking of talking amazing, amazing kits, you've got two absolute scorches of kits today, oh, haven't you? My daughter came in and <coughs> I was packing all my jewelry yesterday and she picked up the beads and she said what's that and i said it's black jade she loves jade and she went black jade well she didn't know she didn't even know that jade came in black um that's just a, a bit of chain put on a bit of elastics just something different um but i think that having the two sizes of gemstone in any kit is wonderful having two sizes of jade jade black natural jade yeah natural black jade I know, it's unbelievable i mean you can put it with pearls that's the immediate thing that oh. came to mind i just put it with precious metal because i think it speaks for itself yeah it does and you get these beautiful connectors with it as well look wow. at that oh that's gorgeous Debbie. i love that connector absolutely gorgeous yeah, I, I totally agree with you. There is just something so special about black jade. It's coming up at nine o'clock. Very limited, as you would expect, of this gemstone. Okay. Um, but again, I was shocked by the price. Okay, I don't know what that Absolutely is. Absolutely shocked. So they're coming up at nine o'clock, jewelry makers. And, and then you've got your beautiful purple pearls at midday as well. Don't forget, Dave is stepping into the studio at 10 o'clock um, for the launch of your quartzite jade pieces, which are unbelievable. Now... Can I bring those pearls back for a second? Yes, please. Because, <laughs> you know, imagine this. Mm. And now, imagine Malagasy <gasps> Ruby with them. Oh. Not just any old Ruby, natural. We're talking rarity. 95% of the world's Ruby is treated. This is part of the five where it's oh, really? natural, yeah. And less, look, Ruby's treated because maybe it needs fissure filling, it might need uh, the color uh, um, perfecting. The color already is perfect in these, and they are big rubies too. How many do we have of these, Ross? 26, okay. How many people do you know own this quantity of Ruby of this grade as well? Oh. It's something that you would think you'd never be able to own. No, well, yeah, exactly that. Mm. When I worked in the jewellers, I can remember the owner, or the owner's mum actually had a, an amazing ruby ring. Um, they were very affluent, as you can imagine. Yeah. And, I, and I thought exactly that. There's no way I'm ever going to be able to own this gemstone because it's far too expensive. Yeah. But the reality is, I didn't know jewellery maker existed at that time. True. Um, look, well, it didn't. It wasn't, uh, that I'm going back 25 years right. now. Um, but little did we know, fast forward a few years and here we are, little shopping TV studio in the middle of England, bringing you natural Malagasy, genuine ruby, not synthetic, genuine ruby, and we're gonna do it at an early bird price tag. So we've got 26 available opportunities. I had to put it alongside the pearls because I think that's just the most gorgeous combination. Good luck everyone, lots of items have sold out already um, this morning. And these I don't think are gonna be any different. They are five to 10 millimeters in their size. Yeah, restrand, alternate. Oh, you do one single ruby, says Ross. That's what I've got around my neck. I've got, I've got a pearl with a ruby in between. Oh. The, these are purple pearls. Now, this is the necklace that my son said, how much would you sell that for? 
and I said they couldn't afford it. So I've got a little, and these are much smaller than those. So I've got a single ruby between each pearl here because it's a prime example of making something that I could never afford to buy. Yes, same. And those two together, oh. goodness me, or if you've got pearls at home, put them with that ruby. Yeah, perfect. Oh my goodness, how lovely. It takes it to another level. Yeah. Because even as youngsters, we know ruby is, a, is an expensive gemstone. It's the king of all ge colour yes. gems. Yes, yes. And it commands the highest price. If you missed out on these pearls, make sure you tune in oh, tomorrow yeah. at 10 o'clock for white pearls. If you want purple pearls, then make sure you're with us for midday. But look, if you want the white, make sure you're here for 10 o'clock tomorrow because these are remarkable. They are Absolutely amazing. remarkable. Now, the rubies already flying out the door. Hazel, Sally and Mariska. That, I mean, let's say it as it is, £249 is a fantastic price for ruby. Yes. For, for natural, natural ruby of this grade. Yeah, you know, I, to be honest, most places, Ross, would be four figures and then some. They would be. Um, but we're not stopping there. I mean, I pay too happily. Let's be realistic here. And mm. I'm not saying it's not a large amount of money, because it is. However, let's be realistic. £249 is an amazing price for that one. It is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that on, and a chain and that in the middle. I'd be yeah, happy with that. It's a natural ruby. Yeah. Are you ready? We've got 26. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I mean, I'd only just come to terms with the 49.99 that I just heard, and then I saw that, the purple <laughs> clock. <laughs> What on earth? If these don't sell out, I'm all over these. I mean, seriously, this has got to be one of the best ruby strands we've bought to wear. Surely, Ross. Do, you agree, do we all agree? Oh, yeah, I've not seen one. The size of yeah, them. Yeah, exactly. It's the size. And they're natural. Yeah. How on earth are we bringing these to wear for less than what's on your screens right now? It is happening, though. And like Deb said, if you've got pearls at home, if you need pearls, tune in tomorrow at 10 o'clock. That was that you are talking about Elizabeth Taylor oh, inspired yeah. jewellery. It's in the crown jewels. Yes. I mean there's rubies all, all in our history of, of jewels, you'll see rubies. Yeah. Big rubies, Massive, luscious, juicy. sumptuous, yeah. deep red rubies that uh, might be natural, I don't know. Yeah. These are natural. I can't separate the two. I love the pearls with the rubies so do though. I. Uh, this is madness. Well done, Hazel. Getting to Shona, Janet, Wiltshire, Maria, Leslie, Manchester. 29 $29.99, goodness me. That's an absolutely fabulous... I'm so glad I'm on this weekend. That's a fabulous price. I mean... Wait, for less than £200, I can get both of those. <sighs> and I you thought can, the pearls uh, would be more than that. And you can make a truly stupendous piece of yeah. jewellery that is fit for the red carpet. <coughs> that's a, that's an insurance piece of yeah, jewellery. Yeah, because you'd never it? be able to replace it, would no, you? No, 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 absolutely not. Well done. I you know, again, can I just say that's a ridiculous price for one of those rubies, let alone the entire 65 carat strand. This will sell out. The phone lines have gone crazy. In fact, it's gone. Congratulations. Congratulations everyone. Honour in Surrey. What a pretty name that is, Honour. I love the name. Um, don't forget your early bird as well. You've got the most gorgeous satellite sterling silver spacer beads. First time that we've ever actually done. A gemstone that we haven't seen for a very long time. And again, another one um, that fits perfectly um, with your rarity weekend is Kyanite. Now, Kyanite is a polymorph gemstone. Um, and incredibly complex in its formation so very difficult to cut particularly in rounds can i just say because um kyanite forms if you can imagine it's rough crystal you might have some one crystal formation going to the this direction and one growing in this direction and you have to cut it um at a certain angle because it can have dual hardnesses does that make sense so if i was to cut one kyanite from one crystal it would be particularly softer so if you actually incorporate multiple directions of growth then it, in, it increases the hardness of the gemstone right. um but very 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 rare um it can suffer with color zoning this strand doesn't there we go perfect in the rough you can see it there can you see how they go in every which direction mm. so to cut the perfect kyanite you need to incorporate dual directions does that make sense 
and that increases the hardness of the yeah. actual gemstone and it goes from something crazy low like i don't know it's like 3.5 or something like that don't quote me on it um, i'm doing it from memory up to something like seven it, it it almost doubles it doesn't it so it's really really crucial um ah yes oh, oh ross is saying one thing i love about kyanite is it reflects the beauty of the location oh, it yes does. it does roscoe it matches perfectly you know imagine the gemstone that is mined in this location i bet you it looks something like this oh wow oh that's a lovely strand six millimeter 90 carats of natural kyanite it's often treated often filled and that again can help if they haven't cut it and it's not reached that hardness they mm. can fill it they can use it yeah. to increase the, the quality the color it didn't need any of those enhancements um look at that again if you've got those pearls how or you have pearls or you're getting the pearls tomorrow this would be the most amazing strand alongside it don't you think oh it's stunning oh i love kyanite for me it's one of those gemstones that i think has got uh, um if it was more abundant anyway, it's very rare, but it would be the next big blue. I think it could overtake the likes of Tanzanite because look how stunning it is. Look, uh, Netta Porter, you can get a pip, uh, Pippa Small uh, Kyanite ring, stunning. And you've got to remember that's probably Photoshopped to the max. Um, beautiful gemstone, magical, another magical gemstone. So 2,160 pounds. That's not bad, really. It's not bad, no. Irene Newis, we're familiar with Irene Newis, beautiful jewellery, £2,830. Um, and they look like cabochons, I think, mm -hmm. um, in that one. Selfridges, um, you could so easily make a better version of this, I have to say, because I'm not that impressed with those stones. Um, £685. Well, I don't know, they just haven't got a lot of luster about them. The colour's not that great, but so I, there's... Yeah, I wouldn't buy that. I wouldn't buy that piece of jewellery. Um, I do love this one, though. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing quality. 7865 But take a little look. It's no better than ours. Absolutely, Adam. It's no better. You can see sort of the beautiful pools of blue. Um, that quality. You'd probably need to multi-buy on ours to recreate that necklace. How about this? Amazing. Lovely piece of jewellery. £520. Crumbs. £520. You could definitely recreate that because we've got ch lots of lovely charms that you could we add. We had little bees yesterday. They'd oh, be perfect with yeah. those. You could put your early birds to space them out. Free post and packaging as well. Love it. Absolutely love it. £149 for natural kyanite all the way from Nepal. It complements everything. It works with every precious metal. It looks amazing with pearls. How many do we have, Ross? 39 available opportunities. I adore kyanite. And again, we see it very, very, very seldom. So um, it is difficult. As you can imagine, the photographs that Ross is saying, to, to start the whole mining process, you have to basically go on an expedition. Ooh, Don't you? Yeah, just you have to, to even go on get a, there. Yes. Yeah. I'm just imagining Deb's at the top of that mountain right now. <laughs> I love the fact it looks like, you said, Ross, it looks like where it comes from. And that yes. ring that you showed almost looked like had a mountain inside the cabochon. And yeah. that just adds to the story of the jewellery. And I love where it's from. And yeah, I beautiful. love everything about it. Me too. I really Me do. Too. And the fact it's so challenging, you know, it's complex in every yeah. single way. Um, you know, the internal formation actually looks like driving rain, I always think. Yeah. Um, so, because it has these gorgeous demonstrations. So, yeah, you've got to go on expedition. And then it just, it's not just there waiting. It's not just like, ooh, here's the kyanite. You have to, it's like this. It's really difficult to cut out of the host rock oh, and there's wow. not masses of it either. It's very, very, very rare. And that you might get down to this. I have to say you're not going to get lots of... Do you see how it forms almost like slate? It yeah, layers on top of one another. You can see how hard that must be to get a round out of yeah, that. Yeah, we used to buy, We used to have a kind... Well, we still have a, a, a kyanite piece of rough mm. that we used to bring into the studio. We've been told we're not allowed to bring it into the studio anymore because every time we pick it up, uh, lift it, it breaks. So it, it, uh, it literally 
um, almost flakes. fragments, flakes off. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're not allowed to do it anymore. It's so fragile prior to cutting. Mm. Um, we're at £49.99 pence only. The beautiful blue gemstone that is Kyanite in its natural form, like I said, it's often treated um, all the way from the rooftops of the world. Um, beautiful Nepal, Manchester, Mariska, Cornwall, London, Elaine, Valerie and Julie. Um, we're going to do a brand new low because it is the very, by definition, absolutely rarity weekend worthy. I or just use my... The jewelry maker show, how often do we see it? I haven't done a showcase on Cow Night in Ages. I haven't brought a strand of Cow Night in Ages. We're going to crash the price and then you're going to get a minute. And we'll dive straight into the early bird. Sorry, Ross, how many did you say we had? 39 available. A brand new low. Never been any near, anywhere near what you're about to see. Plus your free postal packaging. There's 39, but you've got a minute of this quality. I've brought Kyanite of this quality for three figures, and that's an unbelievable price. That's ridiculous. Oh. This strand has never been anywhere near that. In the next five minutes, we won't repeat that price again. In fact, that is going to be an on-screen sellout. It'll be perfect with your early bird, perfect with those pearls, perfect with tomorrow's deal of the day, perfect. Debbie, how about using it with your purple pearls? Oh, just stunning. You know, the opportunities that people are having this morning yeah. To get the rarity. I mean, okay, the it's orders, called, I mean, imagine that postman coming. Do you have to pay for your postage and packaging? No. And I know it's called Rarity Weekend, but it, it really is. Yes. Like the deals are amazing and you're getting things into your collection that you haven't necessarily got. No. Which I love that. Absolutely. You know, I, I, there'll be people out there who don't know what kind of yeah, is. Yeah, that's what I mean. Because you don't see it on every high street. No, hardly. Rarely, rarely ever see it. And you definitely don't see it at prices like that. 10 seconds during makers we're going to be jumping out of this auction make sure you check out super over allocated into your early bird and um, beautiful satellite spacer beads next welcome back jewelry makers now I love that. I love that this weekend we're bringing, we're bringing you some of the rarest gemstones in the world. But you still want your essentials, don't you? You oh, still yeah. want your, your findings. You still want your precious metals. But how do, we, how do we make them sort of fit perfectly into such a big event as this weekend? Like, well, let's do, let's do your classics. Let's do your essentials. But do, let's do it with a twist. Do you remember some years back? jewelry makers we had the launch of your satellite gemstones and it went crazy and it was the biggest cut of for for us here at jewelry maker for quite some time and listen we didn't fall out of love with that cut our suppliers could no longer do it oh. so that's why we they're no longer on our screens they become very expensive and i think that's because they be, became popular elsewhere i'm kind of uh, um, assuming here but we couldn't buy anymore because they were too expensive so anyway and that was that and i think we all love the satellite bead because it's kind of the cross between a round and maybe a bicone is how i would mm. perfectly describe it um anyway so um today and i don't know why it's taken some years later to actually come up with this idea but hey it's worth the wait we're actually bringing you your spacer beads in a satellite they're facets in effect aren't they yeah. on your bead and those angles, like, you know, why do we facet gemstones? We facet it to bring luster. We facet it maybe to bring brilliance or fire or sparkle. Um, it's doing that in a precious metal. Obviously, you're not going to get brilliance. You're not going to get scintillation like you would do a diamond, but you will get surface luster in abundance because these are precious metal. Look at that light performance, Debs. I love them because they're unusual. Something like this can just elevate your designs to the next level. So if you don't want to put another gemstone in between your pearls or in between your jade, put these in between. Yeah. The luxury of this, the sparkle of this, 
is just absolutely stunning. And I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love having a different space or a different finding that I've not seen before. Um, especially if you've been making jewelry for a long time, because mm. it just, it kind of kickstarts my mojo again. And I'm like, oh, I want to use that. You know, that's different. I haven't got that. Yeah. So I think that's what you get here as well. Constant inspiration. Yeah. Constant. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Like, imagine those are those pearls that we just had. I know. Just dotted in between. That's what I mean. So if, you've, if you want like that, that moment of precious metal, it's going to look so beautiful. I always, I know I always say this, but it's true, always running out of space of these. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, we've got some of the quartzite <gasps> jade that's coming up with Dave a little bit later on. Look how perfect this is. Look at how perfect. Just a couple, uh, yeah. you know, dropped in between a couple of your gemstones. Now, your first prize crash, this is for the gold plated silver. Um, you get a pack of 10 across the two different sizes first price oh. crash what i'm going to say to you jewelry makers there's 80 of the gold plated there's 28 of the rose so that's very limited mm. is that right ross or was there more and it's gone down to 28 um and there's 200 of the silver shop ahead on these stock up your stashes it's the first time we've ever done a satellite spacer bead i think these are going to go completely crazy because you get the most amazing luster from them um that's your first price crash. That's not even where we're stopping. And like you just said, Debs, I always run out of them as well because you use a spacer over and over and over and over, over and over and over again. Like that bracelet that you're wearing is a great example. You yeah. Know, if you had just strung that, it would still be beautiful. But adding those spacer beads just adds the element of luxury. Yeah. It, it elevates the design. It makes it look more expensive. Totally. Um, it just adds something. What, and you could use whatever colour you used in there. And that's why I'm always running out because I think I know what I need. I just need a spacer bead in there. And you haven't always got it. No. Because we run out of them. Yeah. So stock up your stashes like so many of you are multi buying. We're not even stopping at 9.99. These are precious oh. metal. We are going even lower. The clock is ticking. We've got 80, or had, I should say. Um, they're flying out the door. Yeah, you could channel your internal sort of Cartier vibes, go for the whole trilogy. Yeah. Uh, trio of Colours look, which I think is amazing, and of course, timeless and classic. Um, it's an absolute, I agree, Ross, it's an absolute bargain at, at 9 99 Half the stock's gone. And you don't even have to pay postage and packaging today. All weekend, actually. Seven pounds and ninety nine pence, and I know I was wittering on about it yesterday, but we witter, witter, witter. But I was, I was like, I remember us doing the plain sterling silver, you know, just the one not not decorative, not embellished um, spacer beads that were more than that. These are a good size. I was just trying to see what the size was. Um, Four and five. Yeah, they're a brilliant size. Yeah. When do you see five mil spacers? Well, too? You don't, and I like really? do sometimes like some gemstones, like the ones you're wearing as well. Yeah. Or I've got my peacock angel light on. They need something a little bit larger in between. Yeah. Um, and I just think that these are perfect for that. Absolutely. Seven ninety nine. That's them. like a base metal price tag, oh, isn't they're it? Gorgeous. Unbelievable. They're flying jewelry makers. Do shop ahead on the other colorways. Um, in the rose gold and in the uh, um, in the silver as well. June's got two. Cynthia's got three. Catherine's got two. Um, amazing. Uh, Yorkshire's got two. Ronald, Joan, Julie, Helen, Sarah, Hello to you, Samantha, Monique, Port Talbot. Um, multi buying. Well done to you. Um, I can't keep up with you. Honestly, you're, you're flying in for this one. There's so many of you on the phone lines with the kind night that you just had. Oh. Yeah, we said that, didn't we? Just a couple, just a couple of spacer beads dotted in between. Beautiful, and it and it warms the gemstone. It does, and even like one, if you're doing a stretchy, yeah, and just one, yeah, at the front or the back can just elevate that and make it look different. And 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 also, do you think, Debs, if you know, if you do your, if you sell your jewelry online or or artisanal markets, wherever it might be, or gift, it doesn't have to be a, a business, but. You can say that there is precious metal in that piece of jewellery. Makes all the difference. Makes all the difference. And yeah. it only needs to be one bead. Right, we're going to, yeah, these are super, super exclusive. Um, let's move into the rose gold. We've only got 10 of them available. So, um, you know, the price tag should be more because we had actually more of a limited quantity in the rose gold for whatever reason. Um, the popularity Ooh. of rose gold, I've noticed, has gone crazy. Gone crazy. I'm not going to wait, hesitate too long on those because they are so limited. So, again, make sure you do check out now it's time for the most popular color of all and that is your silver now we have 200 of these available 
You get the two sizes, four mil and five mil. First time ever launching them in your satellite bead shape. Which I love, absolutely love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh, imagine those with the 9 a.m. kits. Oh, beautiful. With the black jade. Yeah, amazing. I mean, things like that. You've got the black jade and then you've got the brilliance of this. Oh, yeah. It's I want that piece of jewelry. Almost, isn't it? Yeah, I want that. It's Perfect just classic, monochromes. timeless. Look at that. The lust. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they're amazing. Oh, they're beautiful. Just using what? Is it six? Yeah. Instead of a gemstone, sticking with the precious metal. Love that so pretty is it yeah two of the big ones and then four of the smaller ones oh yeah perfect they'd work with the kyanite they'd work with that they work with everything yeah absolutely everything don't forget you can solder these as well oh yeah seven pounds and 99 pence <laughs> or is it <laughs> says ross hang on hang on i got that wrong i got it wrong ready or is it <laughs> was that better was that good? Is that yeah, Ross that was good. <laughs> Like it. <laughs> this is a little, it's like the Churchill dog head bob. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? Um, <laughs> um, seven pounds and 99 pence, or is it, says Ross. We've got a bigger quantity so we can take it that little bit lower. Um, good luck, everybody. Gosh, these are skyrocketing out. Most of you, I'm going to say probably 80, 90% of you um, by our call screens are getting more than one. And I'm seeing quantities like fives, threes, fours. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I would be doing exactly the same. So you, can you see the two different sizes? Mm -hmm. These are your four mil full of sparkle and luster. You've got nice generous apertures as well, so they'll go with multiple threading materials. And then you have your five millimeters in the back. First time on Jewelry Maker bringing you the faceted starter spacer bead. It's little additions like this that take your jewelry to another level. Six pounds and 99 pence. That'll do. Do you remember when your lovely plain spacer beads that was usually about three mil four mil maybe yeah they were smaller than this weren't they and they were double figures weren't they yeah double figure prices we're doing six nine to great uh, deal today. unbelievable deal we got some messages into the studio um hello to you uh, elsa driving down a country lane i came across a hedgehog crossing the road i saved his life by stopping the farmer on his tractor oh, oh well done you I do you know, our hedgehogs, they do worry me. You just want to, like, no, don't go near the road. I love little hedgehogs. Um, well done, you darling. Hello, Helen and East Ranny in Yorkshire. Morning, all. I have rescued a hedgehog. Hedgehogs seem to be Yay. a regular thing. Um, it was in the middle of a road, so I stopped my car, got out, picked it up, and moved it to the grass verge. Mm. Oh, we rescued a toad once in Scotland, a great big one. It was in the middle of the road. You've just reminded me. A toad? Yeah, we got out, picked it up and just put them on the side. It was huge. Yeah, they are. He was they? just hanging out in the middle of the road. Yeah, it's not a good place to hang out, is it? No. You know, not a good place. Um, I, I forget where it is, actually. I remember going on holiday with my families and uh, my family, gosh, I must have been, I was young. But they actually have um almost like um i think it's for badgers and things like that and foxes oh yeah they have the passes yes. where they can go over they or do. under we need more of those in the we uk do need more of um those. hello joe in cornwall saying my eight-year-old grandson wants to save sea creatures when he grows up so i adopted a seal for him oh. for christmas oh joe that's amazing that's beautiful oh i love it I love it, I love it, I love well it. Well done, you animal savers. Yeah, absolutely. They're the best, aren't they? They are the best they are. animals. I love, love it. Animals. Keep those messages coming through, everyone. Um, amazing. Make sure you check out your baskets. We've got the most unbelievable, unbelievable uh, projects with our Debs coming your way. 12 o'clock's a stunner, but your 9 o'clock is equally so. Not only because of the rarity of the gemstones, the fact that you are getting natural type A black jadeite forms in the smaller sizes it of does. all your jadeites takes three times as long uh, um, longer than any other color um, to acquire that deep color and you get the precious metal lotus flower um charms connectors which would you describe connectors maybe connectors um, yeah so they're coming your way as well but these are of course such as the nature of the gemstone ex extremely scarce so limited quantity check out your baskets on everything jewelry makers in the previous hour and join Debs and I after this
Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I hope you've all had a really good week. I'm here to tell you all about my show coming up on this Sunday, the 14th of April. I'm going to be joining the lovely Elle, Ross and the crew. So I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown of a couple of the hours they're going to be featured. Nine o'clock, I have been given the most beautiful natural coloured agate kits. Here's a couple of the pieces I've made. Beautiful ombre earrings. These are four millimetre rounds. Then I've got the most incredible, incredible Kiss Cross Station necklace. Those colours are incredible, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. And the tutorial that you'll receive if you purchase any of the kits in the nine o'clock hour, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to make one of my favourite techniques, the embellished netted cuff bracelet. Full instructions included in all of the kits in the nine o'clock. This is beautiful. Now this is faux fordite. We've got it in four different colourways. I'm going to show you two of them now. We've got this beautiful hot and spicy. Every single bead is completely and utterly different. And again, this is our take on the Fordite stone. And then this piece I've just completed as we speak. This incredible peacock Kiss Cross graduated necklace. It also comes in a rainbow colourway and also a black and white which will feature in the show. And as I said, you'll get a tutorial booklet on all of the kits that you purchase in the 12 o'clock. So that's this Sunday, 14th of April. Join myself and Eleanor from eight o'clock. So excited to see you there. Hi, I'm Debbie Kershaw and I've been with Jewellery Maker since almost the beginning actually. Um, I've been making jewellery now for over 15 years. I get most of my inspiration from nature if I'm honest. Um, I'm a bit of a hippie so I like a floral design. I get a lot of inspiration from the colours of nature, from the textures of nature and that's where I find most of my inspiration for my designs. My favourite medium is like trying to ask me how to pick my favourite child. <laughs> um, Depends. I absolutely love metal work, but equally I love seed beading. So it depends on what day you catch me, what my favourite technique is. It changes all the time. I think Jewelry Maker has evolved in an incredible way. I mean, just through the sheer volume of products and the diversity of products that we get to bring to the audience now, it's amazing. I mean, we're doing metal work. We never used to do that. Just incredible gemstones and incredible techniques. It's almost like every technique out there has been shown on Jewelry Maker because, you know, it's dedicated channel to making jewelry, which is amazing. Who's that woman? <laughs> That's the beautiful Debs. <laughs> Who's that woman? <laughs> it's the lovely Debs. We've just been talking about the can can, haven't um, we? Yeah, I was standing to be able to do the can can. This is to be able to get my leg over my arm and I do 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 do. I was trying, finding it hard to get up, 
behind my daughter to climb up the rocks on the rock poles the other day. <laughs> I can't get my leg up to do my shoelaces sometimes. There's no chance I'm going to be able to do that. I'm better since I did yoga. You need to do yoga. I do. My yoga is good for you, really good it? for you. Yeah, it's sorted out all my injuries. Oh, I'll give that a so try. So there you go. Try yoga. Yeah, you used to be a dancer, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, years, years, years ago, years. Fair play. The can can is not an, it's not an easy one to do. Oh, I still love it. Yeah. High kicks. <laughs> that all came about because of the music on that. Oh yeah, yeah. It's I like it. I like it. Um, wow, Deb's wow. First of your jewellery, the kits, these come with instructions as well. I mean, oh, that says it all, doesn't it? And it's not diff. It's not difficult at all. I mean, jewellery doesn't have to be difficult. No. It really doesn't. Um, and this is just two strands threaded on in a certain way. And you don't even have to put that connector on if you don't want to. You can just have, you know, so you could put, it's a, it's like, uh, do you remember we used to do the goddess bracelets and put a jump ring in between yeah. and do the single beads? It's a bit like that. So there's seven steps on the back there. It's great if you've never made jewelry before. It's great if you have, if you're completely experienced, because we don't always make really. Well, we really haven't always got the time. And have also, we? some things just speak for themselves. Some gemstones you can just restrand, and there it is. Look at look at that wolf and badger piece yes. that we were looking at earlier on the exactly. malachite one. Really exactly. simple. Or some of the selfridge pieces with the kyanite. Yes. Um, and actually, I also think Deb's on the back of what you've just said there. This gemstone is quite often very traditionally created jewellery yeah. because it's a it's a humble gemstone by its nature. Yeah, it's also when we talk about rarity, there is no way we'd have brought you a rarity weekend without given the opportunity that is including natural jadeite. It's I don't know how to describe it. It, it it's different to any other black gemstone. Yeah, totally. And I don't know why, I can't put it into words, you'll be better than that, me, but even putting one at the bottom of those connectors. Oh, they're gorgeous, those earrings. It's just very simple technique, but the sort of earrings that I'd wear all the time. Mm, absolutely. Um, and don't forget, we all know the situation with, well, we know the price firstly of your jadeite. Yes. We know it is one of the world's top 10 rarest gemstones. Yep. We know that really the biggest supplier of jadeite is now no longer in production yep. um, with Burma. Um, you have got Guatemala filling their boots to a certain degree, but actually what comes from Guatemala is significantly less in terms of quantity. Right. So where they used to unearth millions of tons, it's still rare, don't get me wrong, but millions of tons of, uh, of Burmese jadeite throughout the years, not necessarily in black, in the different more plentiful greens. Um, Guatemala is like a drop in the ocean in comparison of its availability. So you have two locations, two strands. You've got eight mil and you've got your six mil. And the silver includes the Guatemalan in eight millimeters. And then you get the six millimeters, which have a two mil drill hole as yeah, well. Yeah, they have a really decent drill hole. So this one's Burmese, the one that's deplete. This one's Guatemala. Look at the quality of those. Seriously, they are silky. Um, but in the gold, it's actually the other way around. Oh. So you've got the two mil drill hole in the eight millimeter, and then you've got the Guatemala in the six mil. Yeah. Um, amazing. So why is a, a, a two mil drill hole important? It's really important because you can get chain through there. It's yeah. lovely to have those on a chain. You can get multiple lengths of beading thread or tiger tail through there. You can, of course, get your cord through there. And if you want to knot, you'll be able to do the, the easy knotting technique where you put two through and then just overhand knots. So if knotting intimidates you a little bit with a wider hole, then you can do an easier knotting technique. So there's so much you can do. Maybe you want to do little intricate um, micro gemstones between each one and you want to put three strands through you can do that you are not limited by the size of the drill hole which we don't often get larger drill holes on many gemstones no. unless they're cut to purpose unless no. they're supposed to come with a certain cord or something so that's a bonus um i'm gonna just for one second sorry i'm gonna have to slide this over because otherwise i'm gonna be here all day trying to get the findings <laughs> to you um so hang on let me scooch this over because okay. then you can see sorry I know it was a bit. It comes with, I mean, not only the connectors, but it comes with two little hearts and they're sterling. Yeah, they're gorgeous. And the, yeah, the findings pack on its own is absolutely lovely. Stunning. Oh, well, let's look at the gemstones because obviously this 
is where the, uh, the rarity yeah. absolutely yeah. lies. And I have to say, this is some of the best quality Taipei Black Jade I've seen. It's just doesn't matter funny. about the origin, really. Taipei Black Jade is 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 rare, is valuable, regardless of the country of origin. Um, but that has to be. Do we all agree? Some of the best Black Jade we've seen because it's so it's liquid like luster. Yeah, wet looking. Wet looking, exactly. And of course, when we talk about jadeite, we're talking about its translucency. Um, we're talking um, about its color. Black jadeite has transitioned through every single color there is. It takes multiple millions of years to acquire this color, um, and it forms much, much, much smaller um, than other colors of your jadeite. Then we, so we talk about colour, but we also talk about its translucency. And you might be thinking, what are you talking about translucency, Al? It's a black gemstone. Yeah, I'm not saying you're going to be able to visually see through it, unless, of course, I get a light source. Um, you can see the translucency in its, in its uh, surface luster, so that high, glossy, light shine. Um, so this is an old article. It's quite weirdly written, but I want to read it to you anyway. Um, it says, what makes dark jade highly valuable? The reason dark jade is very rare is because it requires a long time and special conditions to form um, due to its natural chemical structure. We need to know the color here is not actually black, nor is it charcoal or gray. Dark ink color is not a natural base color in the universe. Really? Yeah, so um, however, that's what this is. It's like a very dark inky green color. Um, it takes a long time to grow from an emerald green, i.e. imperial green, to a deep black um, under the influence of cosmic rays. Oh, Do you see what I mean? It's a bit, the wording is, uh, is, is unique. Um, but it still carries the nature of dark green under strong light. So we're talking about onthesite jade here. Does that make sense? Yes, it So does. if I was to, if I had a torch with me, shone a torch, you would see... Um, you would see the glow. Here we go, like this. So if you look ah. at the bottom of that, now it's not a polished carving, it's a matte carving, but if you look at the bottom, see how it's black? Oh, see, as soon as you put that light source, imperial green. That's magic. It is magic. I love that. And I look don't at the think price. of that. Look at the price of it, oh, 12,000 <laughs> US dollars. Okay. Omphasite is incredibly, incredibly rare. We have a quote from Bernard, who is... Well, he really is uh, the person that started our jadeite journey. There are two types of black jadeite, he says, both rare and valuable. Burnt chicken skin variety, not the most romantic of description granted, um, is black and opaque. So more mottled is how I would sort of convey mm -hmm. its, its appearance. So more mottled. And then there's omphacite black jade, which is the rarest. This is the material that crystallizes very fine and with a strong enough light source will glow which illustrates the fine texture. We have been offered um, a pocket of something I've never seen before though. Um, yeah, you are getting, look, you can see it again, that's your on site where well, it's black at first, and then you put this light source behind, you can see that deep and in, intense imperial green. These stones haven't been found in so long. To find a carved piece that isn't opaque and that glows from within is almost impossible. This piece is 18,000 US dollars. There we go, haloed in diamonds. There's another example, again, an amazing carving. Um, the carver wants 30,000 US dollars um, for this as it's the only piece in his collection of black jade that has the imperial glow. So I've got one more I can show you. This is the value. Now this, um, this is the most translucent black jade I've ever seen. This is without doubt the rarest jade I've uh, ever seen too. If you compare it, um, to any other black jade we have sourced, uh, this is something I've never seen. It's aqua black jade. I, I don't believe this has um, ever been documented. You can see visually, without the light source, you can see the translucency. Yeah. Um, the translucency is what is making your strands in this project so... Look at that. Oh, Michael, yes. Oh. Seriously. <gasps> look at how reflective. It's mirror-like, black mirror-like cluster. That's the difference. That's what makes it stand out. You've just said it. Yeah. You get some beading thread. You get... Hang on, let me grab my tweezers. Oh, my goodness me. Sterling silver lotus flowers. Mm -hmm times what, five, mm -hmm. you get the heart, you get the shepherd hooks, you get all your findings and as you get well. another little heart Another well. little heart charm as well. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, wow. It's an amazing kit. I'm, I'm very, very interested to see what this goes to. I have no idea. Well, it's rarity weekend, and it's a pretty special weekend for us here at Jewelry Makers. We're all very, very excited, Debs. 
because I mean, ha has it disappointed at all so far today? No, not Honestly, at all. I'm in my element. There's generally oh. no way I would rather be than right here today. Me too. I'm so lucky to be here today. The quality of the gemstones, the quality of the projects are absolutely unbelievable. Um, I'm just, yeah, you've got limited. So 49 is the highest quantity. Um, Caroline, hello, my darling. She's an amazing collector of jade. Uh, says, I received some black Guatemalan jade. It's stunning. Every time I look at it, it amazes me with its brilliance. It, it is, Caroline. It has this, it is like wet, isn't it? The yeah. luster is absolutely yeah. unbelievable. I've seen black jade out before, but nothing like that. No, and it, that's what I meant when I said it just looks so different to any other black gemstone I've yes. ever seen. And you're right, it is almost like lustrous, like a pearl, like, yeah. which you don't really associate with no. jade. You know, it, that, it's just, it's like it's, it's, something's been painted on. It's, but it's all natural. It's just miraculous, really. It's stunning. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There is 50 available opportunities. Now, Ooh. I want to give everybody the chance because... I can tell you that this is going to the most unbelievable price tag. There is only 50 available, so good luck, everyone. We have um, a minute, a minute countdown, and then this amazing kit will become available to you all. They are, as well, the one thing I've not mentioned, they're full 38 centimetre yeah. strands. Uh -huh. You know, we're not talking about a 20 centimetre strand here. Not at all. And if you want them to go further, then put, you know, one on the bottom of the connector to make an earring and pendant, and then you've still got enough for a bracelet and a yeah. necklace. And it, you know, they really can go a long way. There's lots of design opportunities when you've got two strands. But actually, not expecting to have two strands no. of black type like A. jade. It, type it, A. Uh, yeah, type A. That completely natural. It, just gorgeous. Um, with the large drill holes as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is well. Genuinely, it's not an exaggeration when we say this is your first dibs pieces. These are the ones that you see on Christie's bottoms uh, um, and Sotheby's. They are. You know, you don't have to search too far to look for that. You know, but make sure you are comparing the same quality. Make sure you are comparing type A grade. Make sure you are you are comparing genuine jadeite, not loosely termed. Um, you know, another gemstone sort of named as a, as a jadeite. This is genuine, gemologically certified, laboratory tested Guatemalan and Burmese jadeite in its totally and utterly natural form. The fact that we only have fifty speaks volumes doesn't it yeah we need to remember here that the only way for us to jadeite is not something that is plentiful full stop but this is actually something that has taken <coughs> excuse me millions of years three times as long to achieve this color it's your omphacite which has the deepest darkest color not mottled beautiful liquid exterior luster and you get two strands of it. I know what this project's going to, Debs. Don't forget your instructions also comes, Debs instructions and all this sterling silver. I know what this project is going to. And it's staggering. Because, it, do we all agree? I'm gonna put, the, put this one out there. Is this not some of the best black jade art you've seen? It is for me. I think so. I haven't seen all of the black jade art there ever was, but this is pretty special. This is the most liquid luster black jade i've seen Look on at it. it i mean you can just see it can't you i mean often in the studio you can't see but i think even in the studio you yeah can you can see can't you under the lights even you can see the quality of it wait till you get it home oh now, beautiful. we could stop there couldn't we mm. because do you know the ones we were showing earlier on you know the ones that were five figures yeah and yeah, we could stop here. It's still a great deal. One thousand nine hundred ninety-nine pounds. We've shown pieces on first dibs, haven't we? That had five beads and were more than that. Yeah, true. We're going to bring you a big price crash. Well done to everybody that has already checked out. Free postage and packaging, and I don't mind putting my name to this. I believe some of the best black jade out we've had on air. A massive carrot weight, two full 38 centimetre strands. We're about to take an absolute giant jump 
on your price. And I will also say this is not your final price. Not your final price. You know, you've got a hundred pounds per strand and then you've got all that sterling silver as well. Definitely worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity with this jewelry makers as well. So Guatemalan and Jade out. So you're ticking two locational boxes here. Yeah, you've got two locations. You've got two strands in the same gemstone and it's Jade. It's type A Jade. Yes. Yeah. It's not in a project it's not C and loads loads of sterling silver that's not our closing price though Debs oh okay there's only 50 I wish I had more look the reality is it's type A jade I'm not now I'm, the days of us bringing you hundreds of jadeites yes are so far gone yeah. oh yeah so that's the large size in the necklace just if, you, if you're wondering and then the bracelet that we've been showing is the smaller is the six mil six mil and the so earrings. just for um, to sit next to the connector you can get an indication there of the different sizes but you know if you do a little a little design like that then you're making your your jade go a little bit further oh, aren't you it's so beautiful Debs it's currently 100 pounds per strand and everything else for free but we're not done okay we're not actually done everybody that's checked out savvy shopping well done when we talk rarity we can't have a rarity weekend without featuring featuring type a black jade I a quarter of the stock is confirmed, seriously, at 149. One, for me, I think you've bought your six mil and everything else is for free. Do you see where I'm coming from? You've bought one of the strands and the six mils, which have got the two mil drill holes, and then you're getting everything else for free. Your eight mil jadeite for free. All that sterling silver and Deb's amazing instructions for free. Let's not forget that. This is, when we talk about rarity, heirloom, legacy opportunities, it couldn't be any more apparent than, 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 than your varieties of jade. Definitely, and I think, you know, when you put these with pearls, oh, I love black jade with pearls. Too. I think it's absolutely beautiful, but I, I use pearls so much that I thought I can't use pearls and everything. So I just wanted to use the precious metal because I do love precious metal. It comes with precious metal. Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, if I got one of these strands with a findings pack for this price on split pay, I'd be happy. I'd yeah. be a happy camper. Would you? Definitely. 100%. We become we, we become complacent, yeah. don't we? Look, let's be honest. When we show you those prices, they're not pie in the sky. They're the reality. We're the exception. Oh, we are. And you know, even as somebody who works a lot, over the last 15 years I've worked with gemstones, you'd think I'd get used to it. But to um, see this in a project. No, it'll never know, sit right. To giving me black jade in what essentially is a kit. Mm -hmm. I've never had that before. No, and you know, but isn't that lovely though? Oh, it was amazing. I opened isn't it. I was lovely? like, is this what I think it is? And I had to look in the description and it was. Oh, did you know that? Oh my god! Well, actually, technically, in answer to your question, no, <laughs> because my <laughs> star by sheet says this. Oh, okay. And I'm more than happy at, at <laughs> one four nine. But Rossi, yeah, he likes to have these little tricks up his sleeve. Can they still have split pay? Still got split pay. Oh, okay, good. Still got free post and packaging. Still get all the silver. Still get the instructions. Okay. Still get the rarity of natural. Type A Burmese jadeite, natural type A Guatemalan jadeite. I genuinely, if my opinion counts to you, I genuinely think this is one of the best strands. I made the necklace, if you look at the silver kit, the bracelet and the earrings. Yes. And I still had, I would say, three quarters of a strand wow. of gemstones left. Wow, so you've got, you could, you could. So it's a very gem heavy kit. It's, yeah. It's, you know, you've got these two full strands, um, which you wouldn't necessarily associate with having jade in that quantity, no. would you? I mean, let's be honest, at 149, that's a great price for Spinel, isn't it? Yeah, which is true. much more abundant. Adam, what did you say, sorry? He was like, this isn't one of the best kits. This is already yeah. amazing at this price. Agreed. Yes. Yeah, totally, totally agree. Remember, you get the two strands of type A black jadeite. We had 50, though. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. You think I'd be used to it by now? <laughs> yeah, I mean, exactly. Some however many years on, we're still not getting used to the I fact. I remember what happened with Tanzanite. 
Exactly, that's a really you know, good point. We saw Tanzanite nearly on every show, like what would Absolutely. you say eight years ago or something? Yeah. People were like, Oh, not Tanzanite again. And now we hardly ever see Tanzanite. Oh, gosh, I haven't seen it in. I don't know if it's in this weekend. And it's it's getting these things when you can, and then it all everything goes up, so then you do get it again. You can't afford it. Make hay while the sun shines. That's it. Two strands of type A black jadeite and everything else, and the silver, all that silver, you're talking about, what, £65 strand? And the rest for free? That is complete and utter madness. For me, you are getting a huge saving on the six mils and getting everything else for free for one of the world's rarest gemstones and that is not an understatement at all guatemalan jadeite yes it's filled the boots of burmese jadeite however it unearths far less of of all the colors um when it talks about your blacks uh, your black jadeites it's even less again yeah even less um in your in this location so extreme rarity hello london one strand is burma and the other is guatemala is that right yes that is right the eight mils are guatemalan the six mil is burmese you get 210 carats of guatemalan and then you're getting 85 of the burmese and then the next one it's the opposite way around so the uh, the, the yeah six mils a Guatemala and the eight mils of Burmese so um but do uh, you know what it's country of origin is it is it is it a, it's up to you really for me it's the jadeite that's the valuable commodity um you can choose your precious metal so make sure you check it out we only had 50 the call screens have gone crazy you've got the gold color kit coming your way that's on pre-order as well jewelry makers but Debs take it away with your demo remember you do get the instructions as well yeah, so, you know, not a difficult make at all. But again, you know, with a luxurious kit like this, uh, it really doesn't have to be. I think a um, black jade marla would be beautiful. <gasps> with oh. pearls. <laughs> if you oh. Always add pearls. Always add pearls if you can. You, you, you said something a few moments ago. It's like, it is a pinch me moment. You think when, when we were first here, Debs, there's no way on earth we'd have had gems like this. And if we did, it would have been out of my price range. Yeah, mine too. You know, we get a bit off for staff cost, but even staff cost would have been out of my Same. price range. And I've got a lot of things from the early days. So I can I can speak from experience and I can hold my hand on my heart. I've got things from the early days that we just don't bring anymore nope. um, that I haven't used. And yep. I've got tanzanite as well and some lovely bits and pieces that we just very rarely bring Do you think you're going to regret those tanzanite purchases? Never. Do you think we'll regret our jadeite purchases? <sighs> nah, absolutely. Uh, it's the rarity of them. So anyway, I'll sorry. Stop yeah, you're, no, I'm you're so right. You. You're so right. Right. So what you want to do? Now I call this tiger tail because I'm old school. Because I think when you say beading thread, um, it makes me think of seed beading thread. But this is a tiger tail. If you're going to work with gems of this quality. Mm. I would use a very good beading thread stroke tiger tail. So a 49 strand, a 19 strand um, beadle on. It gives you lovely drape. It will hold your gemstones beautifully. And um, it, you know, a gemstone like this deserves a good quality um, finding or whatever you're using with it. So you want to decide on the length of your... I'm grey against grey. There is something there, look. There is. <laughs> so you want to decide on the um, size of your bracelet and then you want to add probably 10 centimeters and then just take your thread in half. And then you've got two tails. And then what we're going to do is pop on the clasp of your choice. Now you do get um, some lovely findings in with your, uh, depending on which color you want. So I've just taken my clasp and I'm bringing it down to roughly halfway down my thread. So I've essentially got two tails now coming out. And then I'm gonna take both of those tails. Just let me trim them to the same just for demo purposes and then you want to get sort of a good size crimp tube so that it fits through both of these tails like let me just hold that for you so I've got my crimp tube and I've got both of my tails going through my crimp tube and once again I would go for a precious metal or a precious metal um, if you're doing the gold then gold plated crimp tube now you do get the crimp tubes in with actually saying that you get them in with the project and you also yep. get the um, crimp covers so you're yep. covered as far as that goes and then I'm just going to bring that down both of my strands towards my clasp 
till I'm happy with where it is. And then I would usually, if I'm going to use the crimp cover, I would use um, crimping pliers, but I'm just going to squash it into place here just for the sake of demo. So as I say, you have got the precious metal crimps, you've got the precious metal crimp covers that you need to do this in, in your kit. So if you've never made anything before, you've got it in the findings pack that comes in this uh, project. So then you've got your clasp, and then you've got two strands coming out of your crimp, and we're going to use both of those strands, okay? So what we're gonna do is take our beads, and what I used was the smaller beads, so I used the six mil, and I'm going to put one on each strand. So one on the top strand, it doesn't matter what order you do it in, and then I'm gonna put one on the bottom strand. And these have got really generous drill holes, so you could get a few strands if you wanted to do something else. So that what that does essentially is make the beads sit sort of next to each other. And then I'm gonna do that again. So you could just put um, a jump ring there, and that's sort of like the goddess bead, the goddess bracelet that someone designed that was around a few years ago. It's quite a nice technique. But I'm gonna add two more, because I wanna get as much jade action as I can on my bracelet. 100%. We want all the jade. <laughs> jade action. You don't have to scrimp with um, a project like this because you've got loads of beads. You haven't you've got to think, well, I better add something in because there's not enough. There's loads, loads of jade. So I'm going to take all four down. So I've got two on each one of my tails. And then I'm going to bring both tails through. Now I used one of our um, rhinestone spacer beads. It could be a jump ring, but do you know what it could be? those gorgeous spacer beads that we just mm. brought you. So imagine putting one of those spacer beads on, they're stunning. And what you do, the difference being, is you put both of your tails through this time and then push it down. So what that does is it makes those beads sort of sit like that. And if you had one of those round um, kind of disco ball spaces, that would be ever so pretty. So if you've just got those, you could most definitely use those. And what you're doing by using those is continuing that precious metal. So you're making your piece even more valuable. And then you just carry on in the same way. So I'm going to put two beads on the top. And then I'm going to put two beads on the bottom. So just be aware of, of where your tails are so that you're not putting them all on the same strand because that's easily done. And then you push them down again and it looks like that. And then you're going to get both of your strands this time <coughs> and you're going to just pop on that spacer bead through the hole and push it down. So as you push it down, it starts to create this really pretty um, design of, of, of the beads sort of bunching together. So when you do eventually crimp the other end, make sure that you push these down so that you get the effect that you want. So if you want it to be a bit looser, then you wouldn't push them down so far. Maybe you want you can get sort of that effect. But if you want a really bunched up effect, then it's actually, and not really seeing any of the beading wire, then you want to be pushing those spaces, whatever you're using up, so that these little components or little units that you're making sit um, really closely together. And I really like that look because it's really pretty and you can use that for necklaces as well. So you just continue that it's a very repetitive, which I do like a repetitive project because I can sit and watch something and not need to use my brain too much, um, which is quite relaxing and quite mindful when you're working with something like this. So you're gonna stick on another two. So imagine we've gone all of the way. We'll make a baby bracelet. We've gone all of the way. So what I did was I started with the beads, not the spacer, and I ended the same way. Now when you finish, you've actually got two strands here to deal with. So what I did was I popped on a crimp tube onto both of the tails. Okay, just make sure that that's on both of the tails. And this is where you can sort of 
press down. This is going to hold your tension of your bracelet. So when you're pushing that down, so imagine that's full length because it's just a repetitive technique. Um, by how far I push that down and crimp it is, is the shape that it's going to hold. So you need to decide there whether you want it to be looser or whether you want them sort of bunched up so they sit really proud on top of each other. That's up to you. Now you have got your two strands now. And what I'm going to do is pop on the other end of your clasp, which in this case is going to be a jump ring. And I'm just going to pop it through one of them. Now you could do two and you could crimp all of it, but this is how I did it. So take one tail back down your crimp bead. And then don't rush this part. I've gone through the first bead in the row as well. Don't rush this part. Take that crimp bead and make sure that you've... I'll just take that jump ring off so that you can see that it, all it's doing is it's creating a loop. So, you know, if you're using extender chain, whatever, you just pop it on there. And then by how far you push that crimp down is the effect that you're going to get. So if you're using a crimp cover, leave a little bit of space between the last beads so that the crimp cover will fit on. So you can use um, your crimping pliers or just squash it into place if you're not going to use your crimp. And then you've got these two tails. So what I would do is just take this tail down the first couple of beads. This is the one that you've crimped twice. Pull it through and make sure that that's through. And then you're going to just trim that off. Make sure that you're only trimming one of the tails. And then you've got this excess tail. So you could have done that twice, but I just chose to do it once. The best way to do that is to fold it over the crimp bead so you get that bend and then clip it off. So I've taken the jump ring off there just so that you can see what was happening with the crimp bead. So that what you get is a really long length of, uh, could you pass me the bracelet please, sure. Elle? No problem. A really long length of um, beads that sit like that. And then the last thing that I did, and you don't have to do this, was I just <coughs> added on my, I've only got a gold one left, but I added on my little connector mm -hmm. with a jump ring. So I'm going to mix all the colours up here. I just found the centre point of the bracelet. I pop my jump ring through the top of the connector and added it on. And then it's up to you. If you don't want anything else, you can snip that little loop off and then just file it slightly. So you've just got that lotus flower. Or you could add um, another jade bead to, or whatever you want, in fact, to come here. Come here, head pin. There we go. To a head pin again keeping that um, consistency of, of precious metal and you could just wrap loop that to the bottom like I've done here but I actually just used a spacer there because I just wanted that moment of precious metal and then what you're getting is this really nice kind of design and then you've got this little lotus flower coming off and then on the back just to make it go a little bit further I added some sterling silver jump rings to make an extender chain and um, that's all there is to it. So you've got those instructions. I've written those for you. Um, there's a photo there to refer back to. It's not a difficult design, as you can see. Um, but, you know, the world's your oyster with a kit like this. Oh, goodness me, isn't it just? You know, you, you, your Marlers, your Jade Marlers, your um, very kind of Audrey Hepburn, put it with pearls designs. Definitely. Just, you know, anything like that. And it doesn't have to be a difficult technique. Yeah, uh, and, and Adam, Director Adam was just saying in our ear, a touch of luxury is exactly it, isn't it? That's exactly That's why I called it described. that, because it's just luxurious. Um, well, they certainly are. And I, I was just thinking, Debs, you know, with those beautiful, because we've almost not... We've almost overlooked the, the actual connectors. The, yeah. And they're lovely, aren't they? And they really you get are five gorgeous. too. You know, imagine you were you said about a Marla necklace. Imagine just a couple of those as your gurus. So pretty. And you, then you could have a tassel off of the bottom, you know, oh. of the, the bottom of the connector there. If you have a look at the gold necklace that's on the white bust, I was looking at different designer styles and a lot of them do this. And I've seen celebrities, oh, wearing wow. these news readers, people. I always look at people's jewellery, do you? Yeah. But, you know, having those connectors and just a, a little length of chain, and then I've used the different sizes of the beads. They really come into their own into a design like this, a small one and a large one. Bead caps. Yeah. Just, you know, and that is a very classic sort of design. Absolutely. And I thought it lent itself to this kit because those connectors really make the jade pop. Absolutely, they do, and it's it's traditional, isn't it? It's, it's a, traditional a traditional shape to go alongside the jade. Definitely. Jade. 
Um, Debs, as always, absolutely incredible. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Now, this is limited, just so you know. Um, so it's basically a kind of swaparoo in terms of which <laughs> yeah. gemstone comes from what location. But to be honest, is that of, of what's most important? No, because I have to say both of them are like for like quality. Um, and yes, you've got the larger drill hole. So the eight mils have got the large drill hole here, the two mil drill hole. So if you are adding them to leather, for example, or a thicker cord, or Notting. you want to do the double knot yep. um, process, you can do that. So it's all up to you. Type A grade. Can I just say something? Tomorrow we've got the, the biggest pearls that in jewelry maker history. Yeah, we do. Can you imagine these jadeites with those pearls? Ooh. Seriously. Yes, please, to that piece of jewelry. <laughs> yeah, seriously. And I know that you are going to get the most unbelievable price tag as well. That is an insurance worthy piece of jewelry. Yeah, yes, definitely. Without doubt. Please know, and I know our regular viewers do, um, please know the rarity of jadeite is one thing, the rarity of black jadeite is another, the rarity of this quality of jadeite. I'm, we're fortunate we sit here on a regular basis in the studio and we get to see the most amazing gemstones day in, day out. Yes. However, it speaks volumes when I will literally come on live TV and say that's one of the best black jadeite strands I've seen. Yeah, because you've pretty much seen them all. I've probably seen them all, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. It's so liquid-like in its luster. We have, how many, Russ? 30. Oh. oh, goodness. First price crash. They are totally and utterly natural. Black jadeites. Coming your way on your screens. Even if we were to stop here, let's be honest, one of those strands at 199, I'm happy. That's unbelievable. With the two mil drill hole. Let me just, it, it, it might seem like a sort of an insignificant feature, but it's actually something that our jewelry maker audience really do love, oh, the yeah. bigger drill hole. I mean, how many times have you tried to get something through, say a pearl, pearl's a good example, a small yeah. pearl, and you can't get the thread that you want through, and you have to rethink everything, because mm. you know, you know, if you're a pearl driller, fine, you might drill it a little bit. But Alan from Bedfordshire, hello, Alan. Now, I met Alan at the NEC, and he told me all about his J collection oh. and he's amazing he's probably about as knowledgeable as we are so hi Alan anyway. oh, <laughs> hello lovely Alan well clearly look at him he's jumped in and checked out straight so, away uh, Alan's got an amazing collection so there we go well this is going to make quite a place <laughs> in that collection as well Alan in four seconds we're taking it even lower oh, even okay. lower are these irreplaceable yeah I would say so because for us to actually get hold of black jadeite is difficult most certainly the, the Burmese deposit's gone after yeah. 800 yeah. years of, uh, of mining, Guatemala is still in operation, but you've got to remember, these prices, is it irreplaceable? Probably, most likely, because that's no reflection of the true value or worth. I remember the days, personally, we have all sat in this studio and brought you one single strand of jadeite for more than what's on your screens yes, right now. Yeah, yeah. And yet it's harder for us to bring it to you. The rarity has, a, a, has escalated. It's one of the most sought after colors, especially, do you remember, cast your mind back to that uh, ring that I showed you from Cartier. That's one, it's a cabochon, basically. It's a round cabochon, set in 18 karat gold. It's not smothered in diamonds. There's little melee diamonds on there. 35 grand. Oof. And the quality of the black jadeite, yeah, because I've made this comparison before. I've spoken about it before. I was like, I'm a bit disappointed in that jadeite, to be mm, honest, from Cartier. Mm. It's a bit matte, because you want your jadeite to look silky. You want it to yeah, look liquid yeah. like luster. You want it to look like this. That's what you want. Oh, I'm getting all excited. No, but it, it, I mean, wow. That one at Cartier was quite matte and pitted. Yeah, I know. And uh, <laughs> I suppose this is where people like Dave and Jake and all the people that and Wayne go and source mm -hmm. these things. This is where Gemporia as a group comes into its own, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 100%. Because I know I was going about the trust, but it's a big thing for me. You know, if something says Jade, I don't 
often believe it. No. You know, and I and I think, is it though? And I, not many places you can see the boulder that the jade came from. And quite often they'll show you the boulder that the jade came from. Absolutely. Um, and you know, where else can you source it back that precisely? And you precisely? know the person that they've bought it yeah. from, you yeah. know the, the story of it. Exactly. Like, and that's why really I think so, uh, um, like the Financial Times, yeah. have been on the premises yeah. um, because they're really excited about the fact that we are sort of oh, hopefully uh, you know opening everyone's eyes in the west to this amazing gemstone I'm not saying solely us that would be very arrogant of us uh, to, to say that statement mm. but it's the whole education that the likes of Dave and uh, and Jake etc and Steve over the years has actually brought because really we were really programmed into diamonds weren't we in the west mostly Yes. Um, hello, Samantha. Same morning, lovely ladies. Fab duo. Aww. Um The jade is always beautiful. The best kit I've ever seen, and the design of jewelry is spectacular. Oh, I'll take spectacular. Bless, Thank bless you, you so much. Bless oh, you. How yeah, I agree. I totally, totally agree. Pretty much whatever you're going to do with this is going to work. It's, it's stunning. Beautiful. Hello, Marishka and sorry, saying hi, Ellen, Debbie. I bought both kits, adding to my jade eye collection. Ooh, Thanks, Jewelry Maker. I love your name. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? I know. I mean, I, again, Marishka, I've said it so many times. We, none of us are going to regret any jade eye purchase that we make. Because no. let's be honest. And pearls. And pearls, absolutely. Well, there's many gemstones, but particular these. Particularly, you know? you know, you've got something here that you can't even get anymore in each no, kit. No, mine's haven't you? gone. The mine's gone. Closed. Yeah, think about that. You know, you're not going to be able to tune in again in... 800 years, gone. Yeah, exactly. Even if you just put it in a drawer. And look, you've got Guatemala open, but it's a fraction in terms of scale. Yeah. In terms of scale. There's not as much coming out from Guatemala as there was in Burma. Burma was a, a much far bigger operation, if that makes sense. Um, that would be like me comparing, you know, a, a vast open pit diamond mine to something that's alluvial mine from a riverbed. You see what I mean? Yes, yeah, yeah. Um, right. Oh, I, oh, well done. Ooh, well done. So There's exciting. only five of those I can't left. wait to see your makes. Uh, yes, absolutely. Can I just pass this? Because I, uh, I don't want to knock it over. And we've got the most amazing kit coming your way. These are beautiful Debs. Thanks, Michael. Thank you, my Yeah, I got two little extras. Did you? I mean, on a, on a good day, this would be an amazing on its own. Don't you think? Yes. Like, look at these. They've got... Um, do you get you've got more jadeite debs? More, yeah. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> they pay me as well. No, <laughs> my yeah, goodness me. Can I just say they get most don't... of it back? Because <laughs> uh, yeah, I shop get... here as much as I work here. Yeah, same. We work for free, really, <laughs> we don't do, we? Really. Yeah, I know, I get that. And these are so beautiful. They have got, that. what are they called, those little um, pl like plugs? Um, plugs? Uh, you know, these little... Oh, I look like yes, yeah. eyelets. Eyelets. That's a, sorry, yeah, it's well not done, a Adam. Plug. That's as bad as chicken fat or all those names. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I can get on board. Do you know what I mean? Where they put the little um, eyelet on the end, and you get those in a lot of the um, designer charm bracelets, don't you? Yeah. So you get these, and they've got um, the sterling silver eyelets, and then you've got that large drill hole again, so that you can put them onto cord, or you know, the little round chain would be lovely to put it on the little round chain as well. And uh, you get everything, and then you get your extenders and your lobster clasps, everything that you need. Oh my goodness I me! I know. You did get little little extra kits. <laughs> well, I say little, they're not little at all, are they? Not at all. Oh my goodness, because look at the size on those white imperial white jadeites. I love those, they're humongous. 13 mil. Yeah. Do you know when they cut Burmese, and these will be Burmese, so when they cut a Burmese jadeite boulder, they put it into slices first. They'll they'll because and then they sketch on the top so they can Do make they? the most of the carrot weight. So they might go, okay. So say this table's a boulder because they are vast, or yeah. rather they were. You'd go, okay. There's I, I could get a bangle by there. I could be, I could get maybe a cabochon by there. I might be able to get this that this. Um, they're normally thirteen millimeters in thickness, so it's rare to get jadeite at thirteen mil. Yeah. Because obviously they have to cut and polish a certain amount of it down. Wow. Okay. So you get all of this. You get the three Taipei Imperial Whites. You get three Taipei Black Jadeites. You get all of that leather. You get, as Deb said, you get the two extender chains with little heart details and the lobster claws. And these are, do you notice how you've got those little, are they aglets? They're called aglets, aren't they? That you can crimp directly onto. Yeah, so you can put your cord inside, glue it in, and 
Oh. You're good to go. Also, these little hearts you could um, embellish. So you could put a initial on there, a little motif you could stamp on there, or engrave on there if you engrave. So they're little charms on their own. And I, I think that you've got the capability with this one to make a more contemporary, yeah, more unisex, modern. Yeah. modern designs. Um, you know, lovely with one of those on a bracelet, yeah, cool. you know, to stack. Or oh, I just made um, a necklace and put every one of them on. Why not? <laughs> yeah, do it. Yeah, just I with a lark's blame you. head knot. Um, so yeah, that's not gives everybody a wants the knotted, the traditional. No. Sometimes people want something which has a little edge, a certain edge to a it. A little edginess, a little bit of um, a different design vibe yeah. to it. A bit more unisex, yeah, totally. I think. Yeah. Um, even one of those just what? on leather cord. Sorry, I've just looked up, Debs. Is that the price? That's. I've literally just looked up. Thirty nine <laughs> ninety nine, Roscoe. Are you all right? Are you all right? <laughs> are you all right? <laughs> are you all right? <laughs> You're right. Is that not what each? What? That's very good. That's How good. many have we got? 50 available opportunities. How on earth? Sorry. Here's, here's me, so engrossed in Deb's amazing jewellery, looking at the components. I didn't even look up at the graphics. And then when I did, how are we doing it at 39.99? Right, can we do something ridiculous? 39.99 divided by six. And all your components are sterling silver. We often overlook that. Yes, there's six pounds, six, and that's sterling silver in the jade. That's six pounds 66 per type A jade eye. You pop on Mason and Casey if you can find anything similar for six pounds 66. Well, that's a really, really, really good price. You know, it? it's not gonna happen, is it? No. Goodness me. And it's black and imperial white, totally natural. If these don't sell out, I'm all over this. Well, it's giving everybody the chance to That's true. to own jade eye yeah. because not everyone, you know, can can stretch to however good it is but to the larger price points. Um, and I just think this is a great one, especially if you're thinking of, I mean, Father's Day is fairly soon, isn't June. it? June. I think one of these on a leather cord would be lovely. Yeah, gorgeous. You know, to stack, which on means well. you'd get five if you're yeah. going to use them singly or put them on an existing bracelet that you have. If you want a bit of jade on your existing bracelet and you've got like a chain that's thin enough or some of the bracelets are actually leather, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you can pop pop you, them on and you get more than enough leather to be able to do like a sliding knot on there as well definitely if you wanted to 39.99 i might have to join you on this project it's good enough. that's gorgeous mm. yeah i think it might make me make, make uh, like you said tom uh, um, a father's day gift from it unbelievable you've got another project <laughs> Debs. i know who was lucky you've got all the jade all the jade so hang on that's four kits you have i yourself. mean usually this would be like a 12 o'clock kit wouldn't yeah. it you know like you were saying earlier like usually have a like a lovely kit and then you have a woof kit yeah and we've now got two amazing mega 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 now kits. this oh. i think is gorgeous oh there you go oh my goodness sorry adam you just thread them on <laughs> <laughs> Adam was like, Elle, stop <laughs> grabbing everything. Sorry, it's just to get really excited and look how beautiful they are. The chain's gorgeous. The chain is gorgeous, but you've got the donuts which have got oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> you get these. I don't know how. Here you are a long chain. This is long. Yeah, because you've got the extender on, so you can make it shorter if you want. So if you're stacking, depending on what you're stacking with on a day-to-day -day basis, you can go a bit shorter, a bit longer. Look how sparkly it is. Stunning. A gram of sterling silver in your twisted, is that a twisted figaro? It looks like it. But then this is, not even this is the star of the show because you've got the three. And if I hold one of them up to you, look. Big donuts. What a fabulous opportunity to get three colors. Ah. Oh. You know, if you've been wanting to get three colours, <gasps> oh no way! One price crash. We're not dilly dallying on this one because it's already far too low. That won't. What last. on earth? How many do we have, Ross? Do we? Oh, that's amazing. Right. Seriously, if you saw that necklace on Mason and Kay, is it going to be twenty quid? No. Ask a silly question no. now. Is it? We've got a hundred of these available. Do you know what? There was Chloe Jones, head of TV. She very she just very camera shy. She doesn't like government on air, but you know she had. I remember her wearing a sterling silver necklace that had silver donuts. Oh yes, like this. Yes. Um, I bet that cost more. 
for and that's sure. silver that's silver. These are type A jadeites, black, green, and imperial white. You don't have to wear them together. The great thing is they slide on and off. So if you want to wear three together one day, or if you want to put them on, because you've probably got chains from us at home, you can have yeah. three necklaces out of this kit if you yeah. want. Yeah, I mean, that's a great price for the silver, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's a lovely chain. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, like you said, Debs, earlier on, Rarity Weekend is not just about sort of the high prices. We can no. bring you the rarest gemstones at affordable prices and opportunities just like this. Um, you get everything that's on the back of my hand. You know, you pop to your local jewellers. Next time you're in your local high street town or shopping centre, see if you can find um, a chain of this calibre as well. Because this is, for me, it's like a twisted Figaro. Hmm. See if you can find that for 30 quid, let alone the type A jade out that comes alongside it. We had a hundred. Half the stock has gone. We're doing a minute clock to close because we are about to step into the, a very, very exciting deal of the day opportunity, jewelry makers. We've got the wonderful Dave stepping into the studio for the launch of the most incredible quartzite jade, master carvings, um, the shapes, the strap. Oh, it's just beautiful. Um, make sure you check it out. But again, look at that price, $19.99. And you know what I love? Uh, uh, I, have I got time to say it? Well, I'll do it really quickly. Yes, we bring you different levels of prices. We can bring you some which are more considered. I get that. But we also bring you amazing low prices yeah, but, yeah. in some of the world's rarest gemstones. Something 20 for everyone. Quid. Yeah, something for everyone. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, make sure you're checking out. We had 100 of these. More from Deb. She's got the most amazing masterclass coming up with natural purple pearls, but so much to bring you. There's less than 30 of these remaining, but do not go anywhere because the wonderful Dave is stepping into the studio after this. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I hope you've all had a really good week. I'm here to tell you all about my show coming up on this Sunday, the 14th of April. I'm going to be joining the lovely Elle, Ross and the crew. So I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown of a couple of the hours they're going to be featured. Nine o'clock, I have been given the most beautiful natural coloured agate kits. Here's a couple of the pieces I've made. Beautiful ombre earrings. These are four millimetre rounds. Then I've got the most incredible, incredible Kiss Cross Station necklace. Those colours are incredible, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. And the tutorial that you'll receive if you purchase any of the kits in the nine o'clock hour, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to make one of my favourite techniques, the embellished netted cuff bracelet. Full instructions included in all of the kits in the nine o'clock. This is beautiful. Now this is faux Fordite. We've got it in four different colourways. I'm going to show you two of them now. We've got this beautiful, hot and spicy. Every single bead is completely and utterly different. And again, this is our take on the Fordite stone. And then this piece I've just completed as we speak. This incredible peacock Kiss Cross graduated necklace. It also comes in a rainbow colourway and also a black and white which will feature in the show. And as I said, you'll get a tutorial booklet on all of the kits that you purchase in the 12 o'clock. So that's this Sunday, 14th of April. Join myself and Eleanor from eight o'clock. So excited to see you there.
This weekend, embark on a journey into the extraordinary world of exquisite craftsmanship and timeless beauty with Rarity Weekend on Jewelry Maker. Prepare to be enchanted as we unveil a treasure trove of rare gems, each one meticulously handpicked for its unparalleled brilliance and allure. Tune in this weekend where luxury meets authenticity in every shimmering facet. Rarity Weekend, only on Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, jewellery makers. A weekend, a feast of rarity in the most beautiful, beautiful variety. And your deal of the day. Mm. Just wow. Well, to introduce and to make this opportunity available to you all is the wonderful day of oh, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you, Al. Um, so excited to be here for, for what we're calling Rarity Weekend. And I feel like we are at the cusp of something truly special, you know, today and tomorrow. Mm. I mean, those opportunities, yeah. I know you, you must be fully aware of what's happening, are sensational. But um, I want you to understand exactly what we're dealing with here because it represents an extraordinary opportunity once we do take the time to understand. So um, we are bringing you a variety of jade, mm -hmm. right? And, and I know I've, sometimes I see people say, this isn't jade. I get it. A lot of people sometimes say, this, you know, why do we refer to this as jade? Well, the, the reality is in the Far East, which is the, the primary market, that is where the jade comes from. Mm. Okay, you know, the West, we're always behind the curve. Yeah. Okay, even in the 70s and 80s, the GIA did not know where jadeite came from. Yeah. You know, they, they thought that it was from China because yeah. the, the information from the Far East was so opaque. They're protecting this material uh, with everything and, and the rest of the world finds out decades later, generations later, uh, about these gemstones. And <clears throat> Last weekend, we did uh, an incredible event on our sister channel, Gemporia, which is called like Carve Through Time. Mm. We were bringing you wonderful opportunities and we were celebrating the 10,000 years. It's crazy to say that, 10,000 yeah, yeah. or 8,000 years of, of carving that has been administered to Jade. And, you know, we've come to Jade late to the party. Um, and we're you know, learning as much as we can. And I rely on the information from the guys in the Far East. but. When, when we talk about jade and most of the books that we'll read here in the West, whether it's Secrets of the Gem Trade or even the book that I own, your gem, uh, Jade, a Gemologist's Guide, they will talk about how jade is the story of two gemstones. Mm. We know that, right? Yeah. So uh, both of these gemstones are called jade, yeah. but it is nephrite and jadeite, yeah. right? So if we, if we just say it's 10,000 year history, I mean, I think it's about more closer to eight, but let's just say it's 10,000 year history to make the maths really simple. Um, for 90%, for of that 10,000 year history, there was one jade, Yeah. right? That, that was mm. nephrite, okay? And it was just known as jade. It's modern gemology that has said, we're gonna call it nephrite. Uh, it's a combination of these different minerals, um, but that was jade. And then in the jungles of, of Northern Burma at the time, there was a discovery made and they found this gemstone that they fell in love with. And they said, well, this too now is jade. Yeah. And they yeah. made the distinction because they're not the same gemstone, they're not the same color, they're very different. One's much softer, nephrite, jadeite is hard as hard as stainless steel. One's predominantly uh, white or spinach green. The other one is more of a chrome green you know, and lavender. And they said, well, we're gonna call this one jadeite. Okay, this yeah. one's gonna be jadeite and this one's gonna be nephrite. And that then, for the last thousand years, has been the story of jade. What we know. Yeah, yeah. That's, that is that's jade in a yeah. nutshell. For anyone who wants to know, nephrite and jadeite comprise the two gemstones that sit in the jade family. Yeah. Okay. And in the same way that when we talk about corundum, ruby and sapphire are the two gemstones that sit in that family. So we yeah. want to be super clear. Um, and that, that's uh, exactly where we sit. 
And that has been the, the, the story for you know, the last 1,000 years. But we are at the precipice of something very different now. In 2016, there was a new classification made in the world of jade, right, by the, 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 the Far East, by China, um, that we're only now starting to understand. And I know there's a lot of confusion, um, and I'm sure if Jem Poria was broadcasting 900 years ago, we'd have messages of people going, that isn't jade, that's jade, uh, yeah. I, this is, the real jade is nephrite, but over time we, we understand, right? And I understand many of you will say, and if, you know, or a small portion of you might say, well, it's not jade, um, quartzite jade is not jade, okay? Regardless of what the Chinese say on the lab certs, it is not a true form of jade. So I decided to, as, as the GIA have invested heavily in training their gemologists, mm -hmm. um, and I spoke to the GIA, and I spoke with my very good friend Andy Lucas, who was at the GIA for over 25 years, yeah. and he's now moved to China and works for uh, another lab in the Far East. Um, one of the most significant stakeholders in the GIA was, was literally a three, I think, two steps down from being the president of the GIA. Wow. That's how senior he was. It's incredible. A lot of the articles that you'll read will be by Andy Lucas, even now, because uh, he's only made the move in the last 18 months to China. Um, an incredible gentleman. I actually spent a week with him in China. Wow. Right? So, like, he is, I do consider him a friend of mine. Um, and I've been looking at the GIA, and I spoke to the GIA when I was in Hong Kong five weeks ago. And they're celebrating right now the fact that for the first time in their history, they now certify Jade. Okay, so this year they've released their first ever Jade report. In fact, they're doing like a big promotion at the moment where if you want to get Jade certified with the GIA, they're doing a discount because it's the first time okay. they get into it. And obviously, it's, it's down to demand, right? They are a business as well, so it's down to market demand. Obviously, a lot of the people that they partner with, um, jewelers who have accounts with the GIA, are submitting Jade or have been requesting to submit Jade for the past few years because we are in like an oriental craze right now where people want jade in the West. Mm, mm. And so they've had to move with the times. So they have invested a lot of uh, capital into uh, funding their research department so they understand jade at that gemological level. They now. Need to. Yeah, absolutely. Because we now know it's a, it's a gemstone that's not going away, it's a significant gemstone. So I was like, right, well, I understand that our team are, are collectors. And all I do is I bring my information from the guys in the Far East to understand jade better than anyone. And understand, I don't want to confuse you. I don't want you to have any concerns. And if you, know, you guys don't want to you know, uh, listen to that knowledge from the Far East, and, and, and I know we more than understand the GIA, we train with the GIA. Yeah, absolutely. Then I wanted to see how the GIA, GIA treat this jade. What's their stance? Okay, so they call it a jade. So the GIA, this is one of their most recent articles, or a recent article where they talk about a gemstone called Gaizu Jade from Quinlong in China, which is southern China, right? right. And they're talking about this material, and it's only in the body of the article when you get into it, that they say, well, it's a green-blue quartzite produced in Quinlong uh, deposit in southwestern Gaizu province, and it's called Gaizu Jade in the trade. So there they refer go. to it as Gaizu Jade. Again, we go one step further than that, right? Yeah. We're hearing from the GIA who say, well, in the trade, which is the same reason in the trade is the reason we call Preva Tourmaline Tourmaline. Preva yeah. Tourmaline. It's because it's, it's a trade name. Yeah. Right? It's not a real gemstone. It's a Cuprian bearing tourmaline. But in the trade, it's accepted to be called Preva Tourmaline. So we listen to that information when it comes to that gemstone, mm -hmm. as with many others. But the, the reality is, it is known as Gaizu Jade in the trade. But we go one step further. We go, we're going to call it Quartzite Jade. Okay, just as we call nephrite jade, nephrite jade. In those, although it's accepted in the trade, you just to call it jade, we want you to understand. So we say, this what is variety? nephrite jade, this is jadeite jade, and now we're going to bring you the third variety, which is quartzite jade. So this is the GIA talking to, and, and the last sentence they say, you know, it's used as a gem material, very popular in Chinese jade markets since 2011. They even go further in the article again. They again make no mention of quartzite once they've covered it. No. They say high quality Gaizu jade is rich in color, and loved by collectors, and it's been widely used in necklaces, bracelets, earrings, and other items. Wow. So I just and want to cover that off. Yeah. So. It is a quartzite jade gemologically, in the same way that jadeite gemologically is a jadeite, and nephrite gemologically is a nephrite. All three of them, by the GIA's own standards, are recognized in the West as jade. Okay? Yeah. So... Would you say the same, sorry Dave, um, like, you've got your beryl mm -hmm. as a family name, mm -hmm. surname say. Yeah. You've got your aquamarine. Mm -hmm. You've got your emerald. Yeah. Yes, they might be. They're similar, though. Gemstones aren't. No, no, they, you're I guess. right. You're absolutely right because but an emerald title. and an aquamarine are both trade names. Yeah. Okay. The actual gemological name is beryl. Yeah. Yeah, that's the truth. It is the gemologically. 
the blue barrel. Yeah. The trade name is aquamarine. Yeah. Aquamarine, those two words that just mean water, yeah. are not gemological names. No. Uh, it's literally called aquamarine. It's a marketing name, isn't yes, it? Right? So uh, absolutely. It, it's a trade name. It's an accepted trade name as long as we know that it purports to the blue variety yeah. of barrel. Same with Bixbite. Yeah. Right? Bixbite is the red barrel. Mm -hmm. Right, or known sometimes gemologically as the red emerald, mm -hmm. but it is a beryl. So you're absolutely right. The pink is morganite, yeah. and we go through it the same as we said with rubies and sapphires. But regardless, I understand that there is confusion. I want you to understand that the mm. GIA would refer to this as a jade. It is a quartzite jade. It is the newest jade discovery in a thousand years. It's a watershed moment for you guys and for me as collectors. We weren't there at the beginning 10,000 years ago when they first started trading nephrite jade. We, we certainly weren't there 850 years ago when these new jades came from the jungles of Burma and they were called jadeite. jadeite. Every gemstone that has ever been awarded the status of jade has gone on to become one of the top three most expensive and valuable gemstones in the world. Yeah. And what is happening right now is there are Chinese <laughs> investors that are banking on the same happening with this new jade. Mm -hmm. Okay, the same Chinese investors, by the way, that um, invested heavily in pearls at the last September Hong Kong show, that have driven pearls in one day to the most expensive time in their history for cultured pearls. Yeah. It is the most expensive time in history, fact, for cultured pearls. Mm. Okay, the whole point of cultured pearls, or the, the whole dream for cultured pearls, was to make pearls available for everyone. Yeah. Right, that's Kikichi yeah. Mikimoto's dream. Let's not forget, before 1893, before Kikichi Mikimoto figured out how to culture a koya pearls, and obviously that translated into all the other varieties of pearls, pearls were so rare that the Cartier flagship store that still exists today on Fifth Avenue, most prime real estate in the world, was traded with a strand of pearls. Right? It was a yeah. mansion in Fifth Avenue in Manhattan, and they traded for it with the strand of pearls. That's how rare pearls used to be, mm. and so valuable, because it would have taken 100 years or more to have created a match strand. Yeah. You're not know, farming them. They would have to dive for them in the Gulf of Persia, wild, find a bivalve mollusk, open it up. One in 15,000 is even going to produce a pearl. Yeah. No scuba equipment, and uh, it would take a long, long time to produce a, a, a strand that is matched. And, and not pitted and flawless. Wow. And at that time in history, when that store was acquired, when that you know, mansion was acquired, it was probably one of three pearl strands in the world of that size. Wow. Right, that's the reality. Then Kikichi Mikimoto leveled the playing field, figured out how to culture pearls. And all of a sudden we could go, right, you know, ladies, you know, Marilyn Monroe is one of her favorite pieces that was gifted to her, gifted to her by Joe DiMaggio was a, an Akoya pearl necklace. It's, you've probably seen it in museum exhibitions. Mm. You know, the, we, we think of the most incredible pearls now that we've seen and then in the current market a strand of really good quality south sea pearls is a million dollars yeah right and they're cultured but it's a million dollars because of what's happened now anyway i wanted to cover this because i want you to understand when it comes to jadeite the finest grade that is accepted is the imperial grade we will never bring you that here on jewelry maker no okay we, we just won't ever get to bring it because it, it is beyond uh, the, the price points that are agreeable to us. Even though it's available in the market, we cannot afford it. This is the imperial grade of quartzite jade. So this is, just so everyone knows, this is from the gold and silk deposit in the Gobi. There are three quartzite jade mines, all of them are in China. One is Gaizu, which produces the blue color. The other one is just over the border from Burma, but in China, um, which is mined by the Dulong tribe, which is uh, a floating flower kind of grade. Oh, and then you've got the gold and silk deposit, so named because the vast majority of the stones are golden. Right, that's, this deposit produces golden quartzite jade. Wow. And we've got the purest water from this, this deposit. Um, now, when the mines closed in Burma, the jadeite mines, it caused the New York Times to write this article. And they were saying, beyond green jade. You know, what next now for jade? We can't yeah, get it anymore. Go? Right, yeah. It took me a lot of research to find out where that necklace is from. It's from a jeweler in Shanghai. It's a one of a kind collarette necklace. It's price wow. and application. I don't know the price of it. I do know it's in platinum, but the stones in it are from the gold and silk mine. Well, oh, so it's wow. quartzite jade. You can tell by the, the, the shoulder one yeah. that are more that golden color. Then you've got these colorless, almost hints of lavender in it. You've got the apple greens. These are like the rarest and most prized colors from the gold and silk mine. Wow, now, and that's in platinum. Yeah, it's in platinum. It's a one of a kind piece. It's exceptional. It's on the front page of the New York Times. It has to be something significant. But mm. when we want to dive into learning about quartzite jade, we have to lean on the information coming from the Far East. You know, I don't read Cantonese or um, Mandarin, so we've had this translated from a journalist called Mai Shang, 
who wrote about uh, this material. And she talks about how golden silk jade is mostly gold and yellow. It has a radish silk pattern inside it, which is where the, the term silk comes from in the golden silk part of the name. And uh, it's so-called golden silk, which the internal structure of the high quality golden silk jade is delicate and it is known, it can reach the pure texture of chalcedony. Wow. And although we've read that, we've probably never seen it until today, where it's so pure that it's reached, that it's got no silk veining. It's got no radish silk within it. It is absolutely pure. So we have the finest grade today, but as such, it is extremely limited. And Mai Shang writes about how significant this deposit is. She says, high quality golden silk jade combines the warmth of mutton fat, which is Yahitian jade, yeah. the color of the twin hangstone, the, the hardness of jadeite, and the flexibility of the Shu Shan stone. And she talks about how the price is growing fast and a lot of merchants and consumers love it. Well, just to cover that off, okay, the warmth of, you know, the, the most expensive gemstone in the world, mutton fat jade. It has the flexibility of the Shu Shan stone, which is those incredible soapstones only from the Fujian province in East China. Mm -hmm. um, it has the, the, um, the color of the tin hangstone, which is, there's a boulder there at Christie's that sold for 4 million Hong Kong dollars, wow. right? Yeah. Um, and it, it literally translates as yellow field, that's what the name means. Yes. It's the most treasured of all those soapstones from the Fujian province. Uh, and they usually vary from greyish to golden. And it has, again, that red net-like markings known as radish veins, as you can see in the present boulder. Yeah. Right, and the reason I'm making this distinction is because the Shu Shan stones, which have been valued for thousands of years, the Tin Hang, which you know can sell a small boulder can sell for like four million dollars. I've never heard of it. I had to look look up for, for what that stone is, and I hope we've done a good job of explaining. None of these gemstones, or the Chicken Blood Stone, or the Nan Hong Agate, have ever reached or attained the status of jade in the Far East. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're valuable, they're expensive, and that's four million Hong Kong dollars, yeah. half a million pounds. Yeah. But it's not jade. But right? it has to be something absolutely supreme. I mean, you, you want to talk about, you know, even in the West, we talk about how people will often uh, bend the rules if they feel like they can get a premium for it. Even labs, right? You know, like, Padparatcha Sapphire is a term that very few people understand. Yeah. Right? Is it orange? Is it pink? You know, Madagascar and Padparatchas are pink. You know, the traditional Sri Lankan ones are orange. Mm. And now the even Goobly Lab have come out and gone, well, there's two distinctions, actually. There's sunset and, um, you know, um, sunburst. Pad parachas, they're the two different colors. We like to bend the rules. Paraba, when it was first discovered in 1988, was Windex blue, right? That's, it was only blue. Yeah. Now we get green parabas, yeah. right? Now we get purple parabas, pink parabas. You know, we, we, wanna, we wanna bend those rules, yeah, that's right? And, and that's the West. That's what we love to do. We're like, okay, well, can we stretch it out a little bit? Is there room to do this? Is, we don't like to give pure definitions. We like to be vague because we want to command those premiums. It's true, it's yeah. absolutely true. Each lab, genuinely, I've, I've just bought a parcel, I don't want to tell everyone this, but just bought a parcel of cashmere sapphires. Okay? Oh, nice. Yeah, from, um, from the Azad mine, which is on the Pakistan side of the border, which is going to be probably the biggest news story in the world. The fact that the other side of the mountain, the sapphires turn pink, right? So uh. they're literally, it's the same vein, from the, yeah, from the blue sapphires from 1895. And because of political conflict, because and I don't want to go into it because I don't understand it, but because India and Pakistan just do not communicate mm. and it's a disputed territorial zone with military all the side, a lot of people don't even go in this area. Mm -hmm. What they've lost because of that, because they refuse to get on, because there is a massive dispute, is that yes, the, the Jammu district which produced the blue stones, which are half a million dollars a carat, disappeared. Just because there's an, an arbitrary line in the, in the ground, the other side, literally the other side, it's the same mine, but it's just on the Pakistani side of the border really? in Kashmir, the same mine has turned pink, right? Uh, it's turned, they literally produce rubies. So it's pink Kashmir? Yeah, it's 100% natural, no heat. It's, wow. The discovery has been known for about two years, but it's, um, it's, so f it's not funny, but no one wants, there's, a, there's, a, there's like a village that is mining this material, but India cuts all the sapphires, right? So India will not take it, they won't recognize it. Um, it's very difficult for Pakistan to get these stones out. They're try they've been trying to develop their own cutting facilities so they can cut it and provide it to the world marketplace. And I've been working with a gentleman, um, and you can only mine it for about three months of the year. I've been working with a gentleman and getting some of the rough out to my friends in Bangkok, and we've cut it and we've sent it to the labs. And this is the crazy thing, we've paid for really expensive lab certificates because you have to have origin yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, for it to be a cashmere, right? So we've sent it to the, the Swiss labs and we've sent it to GIA. Some of them certify it as cashmere ruby and the same stones will come back with another different for another lab and they'll say it's cashmere pink sapphire all of them agree that it's cashmere yeah. but the idea that even the labs can't tell it's if subjective. it's ruby or something yeah absolutely 
I'll tell you what isn't subjective the idea of jade no. like yeah. it is so strict for yeah. the far east I mean they're not like messing around a thousand years they've never classified a new jade yeah like all these amazing stones that command supreme premiums yeah. that are incredible is it jade no it's not jade yeah it's not they had a jade for nine thousand years loads of gemstones as well like turquoise and yeah. serpentine incredible gemstones that had huge value nothing else became jade yeah it was only when they found the most remarkable gemstone they have ever seen and it's almost like they have to find something that surpasses their own understanding of what jade should be. Yeah. Right? So they had the, the tallow-like luster of the nephrite. I'm sorry to go on, but I just want you to understand. No, so it, and it, then it, they it, found it's another amazing. gem that was like, Jesus, this is even better. Okay, we're going to call this jade now. Yeah. But we're going to make the distinction. That's nephrite. This is jade eye. And then every gemstone that's come and gone, all the agates. I mean, remember, there are Nanhong agates genuinely now that are trading for $12,000 per carat. They could say, we're going to call this a jade. It's the red jade. They don't. Yeah. And then they found this material. In, in the Gobi Desert, and it has the most incredible crystallization. It has this myriad of colors, extraordinarily rare. And they said, okay, this is going to be our newest classification of jade, the newest uh, classification in a thousand years. That's how strict they are with jade because it means something. It's mm. not just a commercial enterprise. Jade is literally ingrained into the fabric of the very culture of China. Like it is like a deity. Yeah. That's why I say, you know, in the West, we, we might understand how to certify it. You know, the GIA might be able to train their team on how to certify it gemologically, but we don't understand it. Not to um, this, and, yeah. and understanding jade is like a lifelong passion for me, and I'm sure for you guys as well. This is a new jade. Wow. And it's a new classification of jade, and it is the newest jade in a thousand years. And I don't know about you, but even when I talk about it now, and I've talked about it a lot over the last year, it still gives me goosebumps. It still gives me goosebumps. I'm like, do we understand how magical this is? It's that's that's easy, even more it? magical than the cashmere sapphires that I've just bought. Like genuinely it is, like mm. th they were mined out a hundred years ago. Yeah. Um, there was a gentleman that I met um, in, <coughs> in uh, Tucson Gem Show, and I've got a video that I'll post in the next few weeks. And he has a 27 carat Golconda diamond, right? 27 carat, a lady bought it at a car boot sale in the UK for 10 pounds. It's literally, you can look at it, you can Google it, it's called the Tenor Diamond for that name. It's sold at Sotheby's. I think I've told this story before, right? But I remember chatting to this guy, he owns it now has like the most incredible um, jewelry you've ever seen, like old Van Cleef pieces, 67 carat Colombian emeralds, no oil. And I saw a gold condom, it was labeled gold condom diamond. I just stopped him and obviously I'm not his client, but I said, would you talk to me about it? He said, yeah, and he was telling me about it. And he said, um, you never heard of this diamond? I said, no, it's says Tenor Diamond. Lady bought it in the 1970s in a car boot sale in the UK. Um, and uh, she bought it for 10 pounds, obviously. And she wore it every day of her life because she thought it was a crystal. She used to wash up in it. She used to do everything, walk the dog, whatever. <laughs> no, truly. And she went to a wedding, okay, I think in the 90s. Yeah. And she was sat there in London and there was a jeweler that just happened to be next to her. And uh, obviously he's there watching his friend get married and he can't take his eyes off this diamond. And he says to her, he said, I have to, I don't know you, but I need to talk to you. I'm like, I've never seen a diamond like that. Um, tell me the story of it. It's incredible. And she said, oh, this thing. No, it's, uh, it's crystal. And he gave it back and he said, go to Sotheby's on Monday, it'll change your life. And it sold for uh, £750,000 wow. in the 90s. And this, it's changed hands a few times since. It's still called the Tenor Diamond. It's actually a gold condo, and this guy owned it. And I did a, an interview with him, right? I had my cameraman with me. This was the beginning of the year. And I said, this is amazing. And he said, that's not even the rarest gem on my booth. And I was like, what? I've ne I've, by the way, I've never seen a gold condo diamond. I've been, I've worked with Rio Tinto, I've worked with De Beers, I've been to Antwerp, mm. I've been to Surat, I've been to Mumbai. This is where millions of carats of diamonds are cut every year. No one sees Golconda. And he said, yeah, the, the rarest and most valuable gemstone in my booth is this. And he pulled, and I've got the video by the way, so this isn't like some story that I'm making up, I'm gonna post it soon. But he pulled out a four carat ruby, right? And then he told me that it's a cashmere ruby and it is, his father acquired it in 1946. And he said it's one wow. of seven cashmere rubies that were ever mined on the Indian side. So we know they exist, but it's just that the mine extends into Pakistan. Yeah. And he said, yeah, it's from one piece of rough and it cuts seven. Uh, rubies, right? Th that's the level of rarity that we're talking about. And yet this, for me, is even more significant than that. Yeah. Because it's a thousand years for them to say this is a new jade. And I want to qualify that because, again, this isn't a trade name. This isn't just like Prairie Tourmaline. These are certified as jade, a new classification. So it was discovered in 2011, this, this deposit. Then in 2013, the local autonomous region recognized it as a jade. They said, we're gonna, this is our jade. But then in 2016, it passed 
the quartz jade classification and naming national standard. Now this is translated from Mandarin, so I don't know if there's any errors in here, but it's Mai Shang, who's an incredible journalist, and she said, it is, she says it, not me, it is a new type of jade variety, which is still in the embryonic development stage. Um, and she talks about how in 2010, it had only just entered the market, wow. right? So okay. we are at the beginning of something absolutely huge. Yeah. I can't give you an analogy. I cannot give you a, a, a competent kind of comparison that would justify what we're looking at. But this gentleman, uh, Bernard, who I know you guys know very well, mm -hmm. this gentleman and his father before him and his father before that have always been jade dealers for as mm -hmm. long back as you know their own recorded history. And he said that the purity for the top stones is certainly finer than any other jade, which is nephrite and jadeite. He says, but the rarity of such rough is our biggest challenge. When they, when they write of the material reaching the fine texture of chalcedony, it is this material that has risen too much in value because it is the finest water of all jades that are recognized. Um, these stones are completely different to normal golden silk that we can procure for you. Um, and he says, with that material, you are competing with big players who will pay very high price. And so there's very few stones that ever come like this. These stones are not about color, but are solely valued on their compression. So pure, no coarse moments at all. And as a result, they literally seem to glow or emit a soft internal glow. Of the three quartzite jades, so you've got your Dulong, um, you've got your Gaizu jade and this material. This is the highest quality, and we have only these few opportunities from this studio. Um, and, and essentially, it was a carving and a bangle. And the reason I'm talking about wow. that is because I've bought golden silk jade, and I can continue to bring you golden silk jade. Yeah. But through our carve through time event, which was last weekend, I had two opportunities. Okay. Right? And I work across both the channels. Today, you have one, two, three, four, five opportunities. You are getting more of this material than Gemporia got. Wow. And it sold out in a, a heartbeat, it, it's completely disappeared. I'm gonna show you the certificate. He says some material may have flecks of green within it, but the overwhelming majority is pure linen white in this collection. All of it's probably the purest water content of any jade we have supplied to you. So that includes jadeite and nephrite. Okay. Over four years, Bernard has supplied 90% of everything we bring yeah. you. And he says um, this material in jadeite would be many thousands of dollars per gram because it barely exists. Mm -hmm. uh, we will not be able to supply this trade moving forward because this is not our stock. So he's saying, look, this is not from my inventory. I can get you more gold and silk, yeah. but it'll be commercial grade. Okay. If you want this purity, this is it. He said, we can manage collections of gold and silk, commercial grade, but this is probably best not to call gold and silk. So there is no confusion with collectors as to why it is so different. These are from mountain mines and it's very, very rare. Wow. So this is the gold and silk deposit but it's a very, very limited opportunity. The reason I'm showing you that lab cert, the reason I'm showing you the piece that was sold on Gemporia is because sometimes we, we provide opportunities to Gemporia that you guys don't get and vice versa. Well, I know you migrate between the channels. On this opportunity today, and I'm gonna tell you this, um, like for like, I'm actually gonna save you hundreds. And I'm not comparing that to anyone else, I'm comparing it to me. I'm gonna do you an unbelievable deal on this opportunity and I'm gonna show you um, apologies for walking it. Yeah, like you want to talk about the best water of any jade. Yeah, it's incredible. Cheers, guys. This uh, I'll show it you live first, just without a light, because it does seem to have this oh. unbelievable glow. Yeah. You can see why this became a jade. Yeah. And then I'm going to hit it with a light. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. As Bernard said, it's completely translucent. And I deliberately didn't bring in my jade torch. I'm bringing in a pen light. Because a jade torch is designed to go through boulders. Yeah. It's designed to go through skin. It's ridiculously powerful. Yeah. Um, and it has to be. This is, this is literally a weak pen light that I am doing this with. Um, but obviously there is only a few of these, under 100 opportunities. That, I'm telling you now, we are gonna look back. Uh, again, this is like anecdotal. This is my own opinion, my own limited experience with jade. But we're gonna look back in years to come. Mm when we were at the beginning of the newest jade yeah. and we managed to get the best quality we could and it existed in a rarity weekend that we made on, on Jewelry Maker and it's great. And we, we, I don't know if we can, I'm not saying we can or can't, all I'm saying is the gentleman that provides all of our jade is saying, this isn't our stock, we're not getting more of this. We'll bring you gold and silk, but this is quartzite jade. That's the classification. Uh, the GIA would call this jade. It is a jade recognized in the Far East, which is where it all matters. I hate the fact that we put our own standards on everything. Mm. Like we don't have the 10,000 year history of jade. Yeah. You know, and we're like, well, what is it? It's not jade. It's like, 
I listen to the information yeah, of the Far you're East. Right, that's, you're so right. that, that's where the epicenter of this information. Mm. And we, we, we always uh, think we're superior in the West sometimes, I think. And we put our own standards on things. And we're like, well, we do this and that. I'm telling you right now, you are getting information that is not widely available. Not from me, but from my dealings with the Far East. So yeah. I'm, just tr I'm literally just parroting what I've heard from the most important players in the Jade world. You guys know more about Jade than many gemologists in the West. You certainly know more about most jewelers in the West. And when I was with Andy Lucas, who now lives in China, and he's high up in the GIA, he said to me, I don't understand Jade, as in he doesn't. We are in a, such a privileged position because of relationships right now. Usually we would, we would leave this to the end and we would like uh, put it on pre-order. I'm gonna start with this piece. Wow. I'm gonna save you hundreds by our own standards. I'm saving you thousands by the rest of the industry. It is absolutely pure, linen white, no core structure. And I'm gonna do you a deal that genuinely, well, I'll say this. Uh, when we open the pre-orders, I'll give you a 30 second clock. When I open the pre-orders, I would multi-buy from you. Because you're not gonna believe it. You're not gonna believe what we're about to do. And do you know what? Maybe this sounds like hyperbole. Maybe it sounds like I'm exaggerating or getting carried away and getting very passionate. If, if my deal isn't as good as I'm saying, cancel the order. I do not care. But just don't, just do not miss out. That's why I'm saying pre-order immediately. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds right now before I open this up. And it is gonna be your unique opportunity. Good luck to every single one of you. I don't, I don't know if you've seen this yet, Dave, but there is the most amazing mm -hmm. necklace created oh yeah. with the strands as yeah, well. Yeah. Incorporate, oh my goodness me. That is one of the most detailed carvings mm -hmm. I think I've ever seen. 100%. And, and here we have it on our model, Katie, um, which is the picture that I was sent. And I'm just like, we're really going to make this happen. We're yeah. really going to give our collectors this opportunity. Good luck, I've got less than 100 available. 160 carats of pure water, quartzite jade. It's a carved dragon and you have an opportunity and I'm gonna do you the most crazy deal. And none of you are ready for it, I can guarantee you that. You, if you've got an idea of how low you think I'm gonna go or what kind of deal this is gonna be, you're miles off. It's gonna be a very special moment for collectors. And I'm encouraging you to multi -buy. I'm telling you, you actually can. Wow. Well done to the collectors already in. The detailing on mm -hmm. this carving as well, everything down to yeah, the, the scales. scales. Yeah, absolutely, the, the, the facial expression, yeah. the depth of this piece, the incredible crystallization. Unbelievable. Yeah. Good luck, everybody. A jade that right now the West probably don't understand to the same degree that you guys do who are tuned in. But you're right, it's, I mean, the translucency, Dave, mm -hmm. it, it's... it's Oh Remarkable. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. better than anything I've ever seen. Yeah. Anything Me too. I've ever seen. And here we are. Yeah. Getting that opportunity, like being being there, effectively when Kashmir Sappho was was discovered. Yeah. Or or in jadeite own, in yes. yeah, 850 years ago. When it yes. Was um, but you know you have to. In fact, I think I've got it. If I can just grab this book. Um, sorry. It's all good. So Secrets of the Gem Trade, second edition. And there's an amazing quote in here. This is written you know, to lift the veil of the gemstone industry. It's a gentleman that you know, it's recommended by a whole host of collectors. And um, I'm going to read you this passage. I'll show it you first so you know it's you know, from the books. This is Secrets of the Gem Trade. Thank you, guys. Uh, and this is the passage I'm going to read. It's just before we enter the book. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you something right now that pertains to you. So he says... <coughs> One of the most important things I have learned is to trust my own eye. He says, some of my best acquisitions have been newly discovered stones or unusual examples of well-known gems that have been disparaged by veteran dealers. This is uh, the newest classification of a gemstone that is older than any other. He said, the gem trade is deeply conservative and will often dismiss newly discovered stones or new sources of traditional gems whose characteristics differ from those of the traditional sources. The passage of time between a gem's discovery and its grudging acceptance by the trade is ripe with opportunity for one, and I think this talks to every one of our collectors, one who views the gem with an educated but unprejudiced eye. Mm. 
Yeah. Right. So, you know, a lot of people like to put a lot of weight on, on provenance. Same reason that no one wants to really push the, the Pakistan Kashmir sapphires, even though it's the same mine. And it's, yeah. they're, they're rubies and pink sapphires that are from the Kashmir deposit. And they're yeah. like, we don't know because it's not from this side of the board. Yeah, it's wild. But if you're educated and you go, that's the same sapphire. And it's a traditional source. It's the most incredible source. Yeah, what now, are borders anyway? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, it's, it's wild, isn't it? It's absolutely yeah. crazy. It's like if Tanzanite, if the mine just extended into Kenya. Yeah. And, and it was and in there, in that part of the mine, it was like yeah. 5A Tanzanites and they were natural and no heat. Yeah. You know, there would be a moment of opportunity where people went, we don't know if it's real Tanzanite. <laughs> it is. It's from the same mine. We, we've just drawn a line over it going, yes. well, that's, that's another bit over there. That's not ours. <laughs> it's wild. It's crazy, it's right? Elizabeth in Belfast, you know, an unprejudiced and prejudiced but educated eye. You recognize exactly what we're talking about. And w while the rest of the world stutters in, in catching up with mm. what's actually happening in the world right now, you are recognizing this is an opportunity that's not been afforded to anyone in a thousand years. Yeah, that's amazing. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start right now at a crazy deal. I'm gonna start at two and a half thousand pounds and I'm nowhere near done. I'm starting there. Wow, good luck and well done everybody. Those of you lot not, haven't left anything to chance. Mm -hmm. Because 100, Dave, is not a massive quantity. Uh, L. Um, yeah. You see that piece there? Yeah. Um, which is unbelievable. It's incredible. On a chord that, that yeah. was on screen last weekend, we had 200 and I think 50 of those. Okay. Okay. From the same collection, um, corded. Mm. And I'm going to be frank and upfront with everyone. They sold for just under 300 pounds. Okay. Sold out. They haven't come back. They're out there. Incredible. I am about to destroy that because I'm gonna give you an incredible deal on this piece. 160 carats, the dragon, in the year of the dragon. Oh, yes. When we pay a premium for yes. anything dragon related, and I'm gonna say it's going to be spectacular. I don't know how this company, I don't know how Jewelry Maker is still going, by the way. Like with the deals we do, like I walked in today, it's like Rarity Weekend, amazing, like, you know, the biggest pearls ever tomorrow, the purest jade ever today. And we go, guess what, guys? Free PMP all weekend or whatever the hell it is. Just yeah, use this code. And, and then we're doing the craziest deals. And Absolutely. it's amazing. It, it's crazy because it's the busiest channel that I ever get to come on. Mm -hmm. But I think it's just because we give everything away. <laughs> you know, we come out and we come out and we're like, that was amazing. Do you see how many collectors missed out? It's unbelievable. We make any money? Nothing. We made nothing. <laughs> like, you know, it's, it's crazy. It's amazing. I absolutely love what we do here. And, and I know you guys do as well. This is, I believe, Jampuria's best kept secret. And I always love seeing those of you that, that's, that go between the channels. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm telling you right now, this opportunity is going to get better and better and better. Please have another 30 second clock, Adam. And, and the other thing as well, Dave, you're... Yeah. you're Amazing um, necklace that you had that sold out on Gemporia is yeah. corded on yep. a leather cord. Well, you've got the drill hole here. It's mm -hmm. super easy. It's just a lark oh, yeah. said not, yes. basically. Yep. A lark said not because there is. Can you see it? A little drill hole at the top. Very discreet not to interrupt the beauty of the carving. Wow. Mm -hmm. You see it just there? Wow. Just at the top. Wow. I, I genuinely, I'm, I'm trying to give you the heads up right now. I'd multi wife on you. I'd get okay. as many of these as you can. I'm intrigued. Right, so um, I, I know there's a massive, significant drop. I'm going to take you straight down to 299. I'm going, to take, I'm going from two and a half thousand pounds, which isn't our price, to 299, which should be our price. Which is where you closed previously. Yeah, and there was more the other... than a hundred more of those. Okay, righto. And I'm going to tell you, we are nowhere near them, but this is the last bit of time I'm going to be able to buy for you. This is the last moment I can say to you what I said at the start. You probably want to get three of these. Uh, uh, do you think a huge part of being a, a um, you know a, a high-end gemstone collector mm -hmm. is being in the right place? Oh yeah, it's crucial. Unless you're just an absolute billionaire, where it doesn't and then matter. You could but just, yeah. yeah, you can do whatever. But yeah, I mean, right place, right time. Which um, is what this is. Yeah, and you're, more than anything, it's about getting in early. Yeah. You know, it is about getting in early. There's that amazing story of the gentleman that was buying pink diamonds from the Argyle mine when they were priced below that of white diamonds. Mm. This isn't like the 17th century. This is in 1985. Mm -hmm. He was going there and they, De Beers were running the mine at the time and they were like, we don't know what these are, but they're not white. They're, we don't know what to do with them. They're really rare. We, we can't match them. We can't do anything. They're like a rose color. And they were like, some of them were huge. Some of them were, were, were big. Yeah. And uh, this guy was just buying them all up, like lower than white diamonds. Yeah. And he's the head of the diamond investment fund. And in probably right a now. pretty wealthy chap. Um, Keshi pills, we used to throw them back into the sea. Yeah. 
Yeah, Stanley Chu was telling me he reckons in, in his lifetime, he's only a young guy, he's about 40, um, he reckons he's given away $200 million worth of red jade. Oh my goodness yeah. me. Because he's the biggest buyer of Imperial Green and he has big orders coming in and, and when they would come into the office, they would say, oh, what's that? That's a bit different. And he'd be like, just the skin of the jade board, it's red. And they, they didn't have more, they couldn't make a strand or anything. He's like, yeah, we, we'll throw that in with your order or whatever, you know. <laughs> and they're, play, they're probably placing million dollar orders on the most incredible Imperial Green jade. And he's like, and then Asprey released that piece of rough. Yeah. It's got a thread of red in it. It's like 18 million pounds. And he's like, what on earth have I done? <laughs> what have I done? And, and you are there in that moment, that Absolutely. opportunity. Right, I'm going to do you another crazy deal. Um, 30 second clock, please, Adam. I've already done one. I'm getting confused, but I'm going to do one. 30 okay. seconds starts now. Allison's got it. Margaret's got it. Maker's got it. Maker and Devon's got two. Elaine's there. Gigi, all the way from California. Elizabeth Amazing. in Belfast. Gigi actually messaged me and said that she there is a jade dealer in San Francisco that buys their jade from us. Yeah, yeah fabulous. Um, we've got Belfast's got two. Pamela's there. Dorothy's there. Valerie's there. Hazel in Hampshire. Tracy in Cumbria. Maker in Fife. Linda in Manchester. Zara, you're there. Uh, Patricia. Maker's trying to get three. Another Maker in Great London. Five seconds to go good luck everyone brand new oh, exceptional yeah. right it's this is it straight down I'm gonna take a hundred pounds off this guaranteed I think it will sell out right now and I'm gonna tell you I'm nowhere near done I'm about to do you the hey. crazy deal. I said get three I said get two I said we've never done a deal like it and we will never do a deal like it again I'm already you know a hundred pounds or more lower than when we launched this a week ago. This is brand new. It is procured. It has been acquired for you. It is the finest crystal variety of jade that I have seen. Pure water jade out from the mountain mines. Yeah. Um, absence of color, linen white, the most insane hyper-realistic carving administered to this of that dragon. We are in the year of the dragon. Donna, I'm not surprised you've got two. Emma's got two. Maker in Devon's got two. Elizabeth in Belfast's got two. Hazel, a wonderful Hazel in Hampshire, you've got two of these as well. I hope we're on four interest-free split payments as well at this price. Yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. And free brochure and packaging. Yeah, that's just a joke, <laughs> isn't it? And free phone number. Yeah, free phone number. Oh my yeah, God. Free. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. And Absolutely. here we are. A moment in history, really, mm -hmm. Dave, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's a huge moment. And I know, moment, I know that that seems like we're exaggerating a moment in history. You know, I'm but just telling it, you the facts. In 10,000 years, this is only the third classification of jade. Yeah. You know, the, the new literature that comes out in the next 10 years, the next five years, will have to say jade is now the story of three gemstones. Yeah. Nephrite, jadeite, and quartzite jade. Yeah. That, that, that will literally have to be the classification, by the way. Yeah. Because that is the truth. That is what's happening. You know, I'm currently writing a book um, about my, my, my journey with jade. It's not like a... a I wouldn't call it an educational book. I don't believe I'm in the position to do it, but just you know, my anecdotal experience with Jade, and it is already the first chapter is dedicated to us understanding what what constitutes a Jade. Nephrite is the elder sibling. Yeah. Jadeite is the middle child. Yeah. And then you have your yeah. quartzite. Yeah, that's as the, the best youngest. way of putting it. Yeah, that is the absolute best way. All very of different. It. Yeah, all very different. Chemically different. Yeah. Um, about half the stock's gone, wow. I believe. Um. Okay, I'm gonna give you a 30 second clock and I'm gonna give you your final deal. But just before we start the clock, can I say, um, you, uh, we've given you all the same level of opportunity. Uh, we have, we, we've let you know exactly what we intend to do. I did make the plea to you, and I know it sounds crazy, I said, get three of these if you can. By the way, on Gemporia, we were 100 pounds or more higher than the price on your screen now, mm. and they still didn't have four interest-free split payments. And we're about to go even lower, miles lower. Miles lower. You're not going to believe it. Um, and I, I've encouraged you to multiply if you can. I'm going to start the clock right now. Um, and we're going to do the craziest deal. I wish you the best of luck. Good luck, everyone. The phone lines have gone crazy. It's absolutely breathtaking. Look, look you can see there is the angles of his claws, the detail yeah. and the ferocity in his, in his face. Uh, amazing. Yeah, hand carved. Unbelievable uh, level of detail. detail. Yeah. yeah. 160 carats minimum absolutely incredible i mean look at this the scales mm -hmm. it's 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 amazing yeah if i went to 179 now that would be amazing if god if we went to 149 you'd have people buying five yeah we're gonna take 100 pounds off what you've got four interest free split payments under <gasps> 25 pound on your interest how many are you gonna get this is why i said so by the way at the start 
it's the minute I open it. You didn't, a lot of you are there, but the minute I opened it, I said, <clears throat> multi-buy. If the deal isn't as good as I'm screaming about, cancel your order, it'll cost you nothing, but just make sure you're reserving it, because now it's gonna be a fight on the phone lines. Now you, you, you probably have uh, a 50-50 chance of being able to get involved because of the amount of interest and the amount of demand we're seeing. It is a free phone number, you can use the app. In the app, you don't have to queue. The website, you don't have to queue. You no, have this for 99.99, craziest deal personally <laughs> that I've ever done on any variety of jade in four years of bringing you that gemstone. Dave. That is, that is. If there's a better deal that I've done, message, because I don't recall it. And I'm not talking about the price, the low price, I'm talking about the value proposition. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this at 99 pounds is, is, is an even better value uh, assessment than some of the jade art bangles we've done at 299. You know, or, or some of the strands we've done at 799 mm. on Sister Channel. Like to, to get this at 99 pounds and to have that, you know, to be made even more manageable with four interest free split payments of like 25 pounds is absolutely crazy. We had less than 100 of these. You have got an opportunity. I've got Gerda there, Gary, Florence, um, Elise, Jean. Patricia, Jeanette, Julie, Elaine, Heather. I've got Maker and Cumbria's got two. Donna, you've got three. Alison's got wow. two. Linda's got two. Hazel's got two. Elizabeth in Belfast has got two. There is nothing stopping you getting two or 10 of these. No. Isn't it mad you could get 10 of these and it would be under a thousand pounds? That is mad. It's, it's crazy. You could have a store window built for you, you know, essentially with, with 10 busts all at different levels yeah. and you could have every single one of these or maybe you're going and, and you go to jewellery shows or conventions and you've got 10 of these available. Yeah. And they're certified and they're incredible and it's the new classification of quartzite jade. You could tell these collectors the story, you could write the article, you could show them the literature and all that would have cost you less than a thousand pounds. Yes. And they're 160 carats minimum. Hand carved. Hand carved. Wow. It is an opportunity, Dave, and it is something that we, I think, you know, like, you should be so proud mm -hmm. that, like I said, that, that we're grasping this opportunity. I loved what you said earlier on about having some not, not having the prejudice. What, you know, yeah. we could have done the same, they, they might have said the same about Jedi. it's no different. Mm -hmm. But in all honesty, is there anything more beautiful? That translucency? Yeah, that linen this, white, yeah. that absolute transparency. That's it with just I've a simple not pen line. That aren't as translucent oh, of course as that. you have, because that is the reality. This is the finest water of all the jades. Yeah. Nephrite um, has that, that even at the finest grade has what we call a tallow like luster. Yeah. Jadi has that unbelievable top water in the fine stones where you can get that absolute moment of purity. But then this material, they said in the finest grade, it can reach the pure texture of chalcedony. Wow. Dave, thank you for explaining all that. I was one of those who questioned this. Now I understand. That is, Janet, there's more, than, there's more than fine. I know there is a lot of unscrupulous dealers out there that try and change, that can confuse the market. And there are those that are yeah. misinformed and, and don't understand. I'm telling you right now, we're not just calling this jade because it makes it sexier. I'm calling it jade because that's the right thing to do. But we're going one step further and explaining yeah. and full transparency and saying it's a quartzite jade. Just like jadeite jade is a jadeite and nephrite jade is a nephrite. Mm. They're all family members of jade. There's only three of them. If anyone tells you there's more, there's not. There are three classifications of jade uh, and those are those. They're historically, there was the four great jades, okay, which included serpentine from, from uh, is the Xi'an uh, County, um, Dushan jade, which just isn't around anymore, obviously your mutton fat and Hubei turquoise. They were the four they are thousands of year old, but in the modern era, there is only three known classifications of jade and uh, quartzite jade is the, the final one. I'm gonna give you a minute clock to close this one out because I don't wanna oversell it. You've got the, an equal opportunity. Everyone's got the same opportunity. Take it and run. Yeah, 100% and it is utterly exquisite. So wait, yeah. till you, wait till it lands on your doorstep, but there's still so much more, Dave. Absolutely. As you said, you've got what, five opportunities. Is that right, today? Yeah, Ju Julie says, thanks Dave, I wasn't gonna buy today, but resistance is futile. <laughs> thanks to you, I've got a lovely collection of jade. Thank you so much, Julie. Just today, absolutely at 99.99, I'm with the split payments. You're not shopping, you're saving. Trust me on that That's and true. you're certainly saving more than you're spending. So I understand sometimes you might feel like I shouldn't have done that or maybe this deal is crazy, it's unmissable. Well, I mentioned this the other day, with, uh, earlier on, sorry, with Deb's kit. Are we ever going to regret, regret any jade purchase? I can't imagine that, no. No, you know, it's one of those, especially when you're talking about the rarity. And you get such an amazing price point mm -hmm. here at Jewelry Maker. For sure, Maker. 100, well, it's, yeah, the best anywhere in the world, I would yeah. say. Yeah. 
Um, I've just got mine, Dave. Crazy deal. Thanks. You're more than welcome, Julie. Congratulations. I see many of you on the phone lines. You know, new collectors who have maybe, uh, allowed, you know, the price point we've gone to has made it accessible, maybe for the first time, and lots of our regular collectors as well who have managed to add this to their collection. Stay holding. There's still seven of these remaining, and you can definitely be in with a chance of owning that. Congratulations. Wow. Unbelievable. Wow. Okay. We have four more pieces. We do. This next one, mm -hmm. absolutely love this. Uh, you've got the piece of jewelry next to you, haven't you, Debs? Oh, thank you so this much. This is Debs. the infinity yeah. carving. But I mean, to do this oh. three dimensional wonder, you know, yeah. the, the fluidity of this carving, carved obviously from a single piece, is phenomenal. And you guess what? We're going to do you a crazy, crazy deal, an unbelievable deal on this piece. Let's carve from one singular moment. It's a ribbon, isn't yeah. it? It's yeah, a absolutely. ribbon of jade. Yeah. Really special. And it's just even as simple as this. It looks divine. Can I just put that one out? Yeah, oh, well? yeah, well, yeah. Imagine. Yeah. I, I actually proposed that we offered it as match pairs, but we wouldn't have enough. Um, but absolutely, with the deal we're about to make happen today, multi buy. You've just seen what we've done on the dragon. Imagine what we're about to make happen on this. We're going to bring this one live. Um, it is. An opportunity that I'm gonna say get involved whilst you can and like I'll just recommend it multi buy yeah um, pure um, water quartzite jade the infinity pendant maker and heart this is what's well, just opened up a quarter of the stock's gone yeah it's just opened up and a quarter of the stock has disappeared well done maker in Hertfordshire Linda in Greater Manchester maker in Greater London Gigi you're there all the way from California Pamela in Devon Hazel in Hampshire Alicante Cumbria Cornwall Oxfordshire Hertfordshire yeah, all around the world getting sublime. involved. It's a huge piece. Um, as you can see, uh, some of these will have those wonderful streaks of green locked inside. Yeah. It's 100% natural. This is, you know, we, we, this is the uh, piece on the neckline. This is the certification. Um, Collector in Cumbria has done the right thing. Got three of these. Yeah. Three. The Absolutely pendant and the earrings, gorgeous. I'm sure. And Bernard yeah. spoke about those sort of streaks yeah, of green, he says, didn't he? Yeah, he says these are selected not on colour on the crystal yeah right so okay. some of them will have moments hazel's got three as well some of them will have moments of those unique streaks of color some of them will have you know uh, the just the absolute pure linen white um i'm gonna start how many of these did we make ross 100 okay guess what i'm gonna start at 100 pounds hey yeah nowhere near done this is gonna be a crazy deal promise you especially now i'm seeing so many of you trusting us and saying you know what? i'll have three of these dave i'll have two of these True. uh cumbria you said you'll have three hazel you've said you'll have three i'm gonna do you a crazy deal i'm gonna do a very it's on split pay mm. okay well this is this <laughs> is gonna get embarrassing for us um we're at 99.99 .99. half the stock is gone if you want to multi-buy and why wouldn't you yeah. come on in and get involved get two or three of these get five of these with how low we I'm are going to sure take this half split pay i didn't think so um but you know hey ho weekend you know what because i'm going to do one crazy deal and it's going to be a huge deal i'm going to give you a minute clock and then i'm going to call that new price um so i'm going to give you 60 seconds to get involved now don't wait for that final price um i'm going to also give you six seconds to to buy a match pair of these to come in and take two or three like cumbria and hampshire and cornwall um this is the time to do it. That's why I'm giving you 45 seconds because the final price is going to be so low. More of you will miss out than will become and get involved. Devon's got three. Tracy's got two. Cornwall's got three. Hampshire's got three. Cumbria's got three. And you've got 30 seconds to decide if you want to get um, you know, two or three of these as well. Oh my goodness. Yeah, uh, the earring is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. You've got 20 seconds. Oh my goodness me. Half the stock's gone. Okay. Over. Over half the stock's gone. Um, a lot of people are thinking this, I think. Well, we want to look after you, especially because you've trusted us. You've come on in early and you've taken, you know, quantity of these. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but you know what, Ross? Let's half the price. Let's give everyone the wild deal. I can't, uh, the, the split payment is beyond me. I can't believe we've got three interest-free split payments of this. London, you've got three. Devon's got three. Northumberland's got two. Cornwall's got three. Hampshire's got three. California, you're there. Um, we're at 49.99. Three interest-free split payments as well. You can make those earrings for less than 100 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, oh, oh, Dave, I'm at a loss for words. Thank yeah. you. 
Uh, I love Jade from Sally. No problem at all, Sally. This is that new Quartzite Jade certified. Um, you do know it has split pair. Yeah, I'm start, I'm start, I realized that a little bit too late. I realized that a little bit too late. Um, just love this piece. piece. Simplicity is divine, I agree. Love it. It is simplistic, I mm. totally agree. And I think that's maybe why um, so many of you reacted to it straight away. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Uh, Cumbria, you've come in for two. Uh, Northumberland, you've come in for two. Maker's got two. I mean, <laughs> it's just every... Allen, you've got two. Jill, you've got three. London, you've got three. Heather and Hearts, you've got two. Um, good luck, guys. You've got the opportunity. Every single one of you has that equal opportunity, the equal chance of getting this. £16.66. Ridiculous. Yeah, that's nothing to do with me. The final price is the incredible deal, but the, <laughs> the idea that, that is and, and you know what? Use the split pay. It's interest free yeah, anyway. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? And then you can sort of treat yourself. Thirty-three to chances one of the left. <gasps> Don't think you've missed out yet. I know sometimes it can feel overwhelming. Yeah. It can feel like, oh, I'm never going to get it. You know, I'm going to join a queue. Uh, I'm not going to get answered. Look, you are going to get answered. You are going to get your piece, Dave. I've waited for two weekends for this Infinity Pendant. This shape has great meaning for the New Zealand natives. Oh, oh Gigi, that's amazing. Wow. wow. That's amazing. I love that. And that's you know, it. You put your own meaning on whatever it is. That's the, the beautiful thing about all jewellery. You know, you yeah. can sign your own uh, meaning to it. Yeah, absolutely. How does it speak to you? Because so that's the thing with great art, isn't it? When you go to mm. an art gallery or you view art, it's, everyone has their own taste. Things speak to people in different ways. And two people can interpret a, a painting or absolutely. a song, any type of art, in many different ways. And religions as well. So yeah. weirdly, Willow was talking about this last night. She was saying like a, oh. the Hindu elephant different to the Buddhist elephant. You oh, know? wow, talking yeah. about that. Um, hello, Jane. Yeah. Yeah, you were saying that in the Maori culture, um, this is called uh, the Pikrua, I think, which uh, maybe I've said that wrong, but it has a meaning of loyalty and relationships. Oh, that's wonderful. Wow. I'm loving that. That's amazing. Yeah. See, we're learning from you guys Absolutely. too. That's what I love. It's a dialogue. This isn't, you know, us talking to you. This is us having a conversation. Yeah. Uh, and we love hearing from you, your input, you're telling us why you're getting involved. Um, you know, letting us know, you know, who you're gifting these to, um, you know, the journey for this piece in your collection, what it's going to look like, you know, who it's eventually going to end up with. This is amazing. 19 chances remaining. £16.66 yeah. on your interest-free split payments. Please do stay where you are on those phone lines. Our call centre will get you and be quick checking out everybody because mm -hmm. the phone lines are... Well, yeah. not just the phone lines, the web. It's busy. Yes. It is busy, busy, busy. Stephen in Glamorgan's there. I can see yeah. on the phone Oxford lines. Oxfordshire, you've just got two of these. Uh, Helen says, I think we all use the split pay. It's what makes these treasures affordable yeah. for us to provide for our future generations. Absolutely. So do I, Helen. So do I. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of using the split pay. Oh, yeah. Why not? If it's available and it's yeah. interest free, why wouldn't we? Yeah, it's not costly. Not, it's not like you know. Most of the times, you're 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 reticent to use a split pay service because you're going to end up paying more over the long run. Yeah. Uh, and so you'd you'd rather wait and maybe pay for it outright. But here, it's like either way, it's, you're paying the same the price. But if yeah. it makes it more manageable. Then why not? Me too, Helen. I, we do the same. Um, the final eight of these, well done. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm. I was saying it's quite Celtic as well. Yeah, I, I think imagine I can see. But this this form, this shape, um, you know, we see in many different cultures. Yeah, you know, absolutely. It has meaning throughout the world. It transcends borders and cultures and civilizations. Um, you know, and I do uh, I do recall seeing it in in some of the the, the, the Maori yeah. uh, artwork that, that I've seen before. Um, and you know, for me, it's just that infinity symbol. I mean, for for many, it might feel like um, you know, mother and child, whatever it may be to you. I'm looking at that piece and I'm just thinking, look at the fluidity of it. Yeah, it's uh, Bernadette says, thank you, Dave. I love the beautiful simplicity of this piece. I have a jade collection thanks to your great prices. Thank you, Bernadette. Um, congratulations. And I'm, I'm thrilled that you're managing to build uh, a wonderful collection that you're supremely proud of. And amazing that you can actually yeah. say that too, that you have mm -hmm. a jade collection. Yeah, isn't you that know? crazy? It, yeah, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Right, Dave, next up. We're, oh, we're look, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, you've just seen the kind of prices we're doing, haven't you? <gasps> you've seen what we're about. Are you going to let this piece evade you? you are you going to miss out on this? Because I would recommend that you absolutely don't. It is that unique, incredible circle of heaven, that donut, that full, incredible transparency. Wow. And uh, we're going to do, I promise you, an incredible deal on this piece. Um, it is insane. It's incredible. Look at, look, look at that, though. Oh, thank it's, you. you know, this is a really beautiful... I thank love you. the thickness of this, the shape. Yeah, yeah. It's very different to the other pieces that we've maybe shown you before that kind of still have this same shape. But I'm with you. I love 
the thickness of it. Yeah, normally they kind of taper, don't they? Yeah. They taper down at the circumference, mm -hmm. but whereas this is, I love that. Unbelievable. And even oh with that goodness. depth, even with that thickness, you get that same glow, that same incredible transparency. Wow. That's gorgeous. There you go. Wow. Good luck, everybody. We have a hundred of these, Ross. Oh my goodness me, did you hear that? No. There's 150. Okay, then we're gonna do a crazy deal. We, I mean, everything's been wild, everything's been insane, but this one is gonna be something to remember. In fact, Adam, please may we make this a, an impromptu star buy. Didn't realize we had 150 of these, now I do. Make sure you're multi-buying. Imagine this is a pair of earrings. Imagine this oh is the suite. This incredible. is going to be your star buy, good luck. Okay, look, it's impromptu. Um, I genuinely had no idea that we had a larger quantity of these, um, but for that reason and that reason alone, think about how crazy this showcase has been already. This is going to be the wildest deal. We've made it a star buy, and that means something to me. I'm not just gonna throw that on the screen and say, yep, yeah, it's a star buy. Um, uh, it means that we're gonna unlock a, a deal we haven't seen yet. And by the way, this is over twice the carrot weight of the previous piece we just saw. It's 55 wow. carats. Wow. So, so the previous wonderful uh, uh, elongated yeah. uh, infinity carbon we just saw was about 20 carats. This is 55. Wow. So it's actually nearly, it's closer to three times the carrot yeah, weight. Yeah, absolutely. Right, There's I'm depth to this. About to bring this live. Be ready. Get involved. If everyone buys three of these, Really? If everyone buys three, it, essentially it's 50 opportunities. Yeah. You know, that, that, I know it sounds like a big quantity, and it is a big quantity. It's a generous quantity. It's amazing. It's going to allow us to do a crazy deal. But I can't for, I can't for a second imagine anyone's going to just get one of these. Not with what we've promised you. It'd be an amazing ring. Like a big statement yeah, ring, you know, like a cocktail ring, ring yeah. or something like that. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Good luck. We're, we're going to bring this live right now. 55 carats, pure water quartzite jade. An unbelievable opportunity. Supreme, supreme transparency um, and incredible, wonderful colors that are running through this. Good luck to every single one of you. Multi-buy as soon as you can. Just make sure you are there. Make sure you are getting involved. Make sure this is your piece. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. 150. Yeah. Good luck. I think this is going to be a frenzy. Yes, absolutely. 100%. It's a pinch me moment, Dave, because every so often it just dawns on me. I'm like, oh my gosh, goodness, so we're here at the, at the, literally at the beginning of the race. Yeah, absolutely. Where this gemstone is being launched to the world mm -hmm. and we're learning about yeah. it. How many people get that opportunity? Well, 150 today. That's okay. it. 150 people. Okay, first people on the front lines are buying threes of these. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a 30 second clock. I'm gonna signal the intent that I'm on, I'm on about from the off, from the very beginning. Tracy, you're there. Linda, you're there. Susan, you're there. Heather, you're there. Maker, you're there. Pamela, Susan, you've got three of these. Good luck to every single one of you. Wow. Yeah, it's going to go crazy. And I think this is one of the easiest pieces to create mm -hmm. that jewel, classic piece of jewelry, because it's still the high goop. Oh, yeah, yeah. Isn't Absolutely. it? Yeah, it's the timeless. There's the sentiment of the high goop behind mm -hmm. it as well. So just Lark said not. With your leather, we had leather earlier on, didn't we? Just Lark said not it. You've got that classic jade piece. Ross, can we start at 69.99 pardon yeah it's and then, double it's tr almost triple the carrot weight. yeah yeah absolutely um by the way we're nowhere near done nowhere near um i am encouraging you to multi-buy i've never i i know for a fact i've never done a deal this good um or this low for what i'm about to call i'm gonna give you 30 seconds um and, and uh these are going to disappear we had 150 we certainly don't have that mm. anymore i'm going to start the clock for you and i am going to say you can either get three now or kick yourself at the end of this auction. 
That's how good this deal is going to be. It's going to be unmissable. Linda's got two. Christine's got two. Tracy's got two. Susan's got three. 15 seconds. If you're on the queue, you're guaranteed one. If you call up right now, I can guarantee you one. Um, it's a free phone number. You've got free postage and packaging all weekend. Use the web. Use the app. Yeah. Use any way that you can. Just make sure you are on the phone lines or in with a chance of securing this. I cannot believe I'm going to say this. And, and I'm going to take this quick moment to apologize to the contact center because... We're never going to see any, a demand like this. Okay. Thirty-four ninety-nine. Oh my goodness. I, I know that's what I feel sick saying that. <laughs> but it's one hundred and fifty. Um, and had I known that, we maybe would have put the show together a little bit differently. But there's one hundred and fifty, and I already went too low on the previous two pieces because we recognise the opportunity that we're, we're being able to bring to you right now, and we would love for you all to get involved to join this this journey, this story. It's got split pay as well. Yeah, what? Well, that, you know that shouldn't be. Yeah. Um, we've had a few messages about can you put a chain through it? Yes, I would say so, but I think you would probably have to put the, like, use the unfinished chain. Yes. And then put the clasp on afterwards. So, yeah, yes, it will fit the chain through the center. Susan, you've got four. Valerie's got two. June's got two. Hazel's got three. Uh, we've got Maker and Cumbria's got two. Margaret's got three. Hazel in County Durham's got two. We've got Maker and Greater Manchester who's got two. Uh, another collector in, in Saltburn, you're there. Stuart in Cheshire, you're there. Jill in Somerset, you're there. Um, there's, there is a lot of you on the phone lines for this piece. We're at 34.99. That's really happening right now. Yeah. Do you know you know when you were doing your launch of this yeah, yeah, a couple yeah. of weeks ago? Two pieces we had. Did you think thirty four ninety nine was gonna be <laughs> um, but look, <laughs> I always say if we can we will. Yeah. And, and today we're making it happen. It's the hundred and fifty quantity that's Absolutely. allowing that. Hundred and fifty of these available for, for our collectors or was was available for our collectors past tense. So. Wow. Um, and I'm just thinking as well, you can set it like this, couldn't you? Yeah, that would be amazing. Why not? I like love how, that. And I, I also just love the idea of having it set in a ring. Yes. I just think that kind of that cushioned puffy kind of shape where it's lifted off the hand and you could find an exquisite fine wow. gemstone uh, to put in that central hole. Um I know. Um, I know. Yeah. What about Oh don't. That is insane. What about that? Mhm. Mm you get the idea. Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to uh Ross, sorry to do this mate. Can I have a 30 second clock. I'm just going to do something wild it, it's already we want to lose money let's lose money uh, let's do something let's do like a promotional deal right no but it's true isn't it let's do let's do a promotional deal let's just yeah. do it let's okay. find the positives right That's now my... in a crazy crazy <laughs> moment in 20 seconds That's I'm already too low by the way you guys are aware of that you know that we do not do any derivative any uh, essence <laughs> of jade for 34.99 um, how many times have you used yeah, that this card? is the lowest price ever <laughs> Quartzite Jade across any of our channels in our history. Yeah, well, yeah, absolutely. And, and I think probably moving forward as well. That is something, I bet I bet that card is used a lot. $24.99. Oh, goodness. $24.99. It was a PR deal. And uh, <laughs> you know what, just to make this a little bit easier for me, once the price is on the screen at $24.99, I'm just gonna give you a minute of that price. Yeah. I well, can't be I... looking at that. It is what it is. You want to get it, you can. Everyone pays the final load deal. Everyone who's already multiple, everyone who's got as many of these as they can. I am going to oh, 24 really? 99 You can buy four of these for under £100. Um, sorry, he's just having to what? You get. You have to have, use a manager's login to override that price. No, oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm sorry. So a minute, a minute, while, while, yeah, we'll have to basically, have you got it right? Okay, sorted. We're going to do it. Managers log in. You got a minute at this price though. Yeah. We got know. 60 seconds. You want to come in and get more? You want to get uh, uh, one of these, five of these, three of these, whatever it may be. If you're in the queue, make sure you're checking out. It's in your basket. Check that out. This is not going to hang around. This is going to disappear. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Three types of jade in the world. Yeah, the, this is the, the third classification, variety. the newest member wow. of the family. So um, I guess that means, Dave, that yeah. all the jade books and things like that are going to be revisited. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, yeah. You know, um, which happens all the time. You know, there, there yeah. are there are many instances. New editions. Where, yeah, absolutely. And this is the second well, edition of the, the gem the gem guide wow. uh, by uh, Rich W. Wise for, for that same reason. 
Wow. And he speaks about gemstones, like, you know, when they arrived. It was Richard Wise, wasn't it, that actually said, sort of, they're available. Yeah. And then they disappear. And then they so disappear. You, yeah. So if you um, see something you love and you can yeah. afford it, buy it. Yes. Because, you know, you, you'll, if you miss that opportunity, which is the way with all gemstones, uh, the, the price goes up, yeah, essentially. Yeah, absolutely. You've got three seconds at this price. Oh, there's never been a more affordable opportunity. This Good is the luck. lowest price uh, at Quartzsite Jade we have. Unbelievable. Wow. Right okay. Now the strands. I mean, this is a joke. This is crazy that we've got strands. Like y you've seen this piece here, which we we've been showing to you with that incredible strand of that amazing crystallization, leading down towards the dragon. Well, you've all got the dragon. How many of you want to own that strand? We've got two um, strands. What are they? Ten and eight mil. There is how many? Fifty of oh, the ten. God. Yeah. And there's a hundred of the eight. Okay, well, these are going to be crazy deals, as if you, you needed me to tell you that after what you've seen all morning. We're going to start, of course, with the 10 mil, the huge sizes, uh, supreme crystallization. Yeah, it is. That, that compression within the gym, there's only 50 of these. This is going to be on and gone. We have never seen a purer jade in terms of the crystal. Look at that, look how gemmy it is. Yeah, beautiful. <clears throat> it is very Kotan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Imagine that level of purity. Ten thousand years ago. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. The new varieties. Yeah, this yeah. This is, is the, absolutely. This is the new classification of jade. The first time that has even happened. That they've even opened up the book to add a new jade for the best part of a thousand years. I'm going to give you a thirty-second clock to bring just the fifty of these live. Oh, um, no. The the ten mil, the exceptional sized, big big moments of this crystallized, incredible uh, new variety of quartzite jade. And that's got, where we are, isn't it? Yeah. That's, we're there when the Burmese deposit was, yeah, was, yeah. was new to we're the market. We're right at the, the precipice of something very, very special. We're here on you know, the first chapter of, of what is going to become an incredible story, you know, as it has done with all other previous jades, and there's only been two of them. Mm. Unbelievable, Dave. 50 in the world. Mm -hmm. 50 in the, you know, you'd be, would you be approaching this with the same kind of traditional angle as your other jades? Yeah. Not them. Um, yeah, oh, 100%, 100. yeah. 100%. 270 carats. Wow. This is absolutely an unbelievable, ridiculous opportunity for anyone. There is only 50 though, I want to stress that. Okay, the eight mil that are coming up, we, we do have a bigger quantity, we've got 100 of those, but this is just 50 opportunities, the fastest 50. So gemmy, so yeah. sharp. So fine. Devon, you've got two. Maker in Oxfordshire, you're there. Maker in Fife's got two. Hazel, you're there. Pamela, you're there. Susan, you are there. Got Marie, you're there. You, Susan, you're there. Uh, okay. Um, Margaret says, <laughs> Temptation, thy name is Dave. Thank you, as always, for more beautiful Jays. <laughs> no problem, Margaret. Um, look, th this David is. David Temptation Trough. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but we, we, look, um, I just want to, you know, share these incredible discoveries with you and, and yeah. try and make them affordable uh, for as many collectors <coughs> as we can. Wow, uh, and, and, and do you know what? And also, I have to say, it's wonderful to learn, because Dave, mm. I wouldn't know, without you sort of saying, look, this is, this is the yeah. news, and you, you travel, mm -hmm. you know, a lot, Yeah, because, you, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know this, and, you know, if we rely just on Western yeah. traditional information, you know, from the GIA or from other... You know, places we wouldn't have this understanding. We no. have to travel to to find out. You know, I love learning as well. I love you know being educated, and, and all I do then is just come and parrot it back to you guys. I want to talk to you about it, mm. see what you guys think. You know, and, and offer you these opportunities. This is going to be a supreme, unbelievable opportunity. Wow, they're huge too. Ten mm -hmm. mil, ten millimeter. Look at that. Look, look. Yeah water content do you know what i'm actually going to do something wild look we could start at five thousand pounds or two and a half thousand pounds i'm going to i'm actually going to, because you know this whole showcase has been turned upside down okay you guys are fully aware of that i'm actually i'm sorry to do this ross but i'm going to start where we are meant to finish not on gem pour it on jewelry maker where these are meant to finish today just to prove how crazy this is going to get so i'm going to give you a 30 second clock i'm going to take you down to the price that is on ross's sheet of paper oh okay? do you know this ross he knows where we're meant to go, yeah. I'm going to take you down to that price, okay. and then we're going to take you to a new live okay. deal as of this for the penultimate piece of the showcase for the oh, 10 yes. mil strand for nearly 300 carats. Marlene, you're there. Maker in Devon's got two. Maker in Oxfordshire's there. Maker in Fife's got two. Hazel, you're there. Pamela, you're there. Marlene, Marie, Susan. 
Jennifer, lots of you there. Um, so on Ross's sheet right now, this incredible opportunity is meant to be 299. Okay. So we yeah. can start in the thousands, but I'm going to go to where um, we anticipate this is you know, likely to sell out. We're going to go to 299. The reason I'm going there is because obviously, as you've seen, if you've joined into this showcase, we're going to be nowhere near there. We're going to be nowhere near done. This is the <clears throat> first time ever we have brought you know 10 mil pure water quartz wow. jade okay. ever. <clears throat> And we anticipate, you know, by looking back through our own data, yeah. by the deals that we've done previously on this very channel, 299 is our deal. We've only got 50 of them. In Valerie's the there, colors. Inverclyde's there, South Yorkshire's there, wow. uh, Devon, you've got two, Oxfordshire's there, Fife's got two, Hampshire's wow. there, Devon's there, Sussex, Cumbria, Greater London, Merseyside, Greater Manchester, you're all there. This is where we think this ends. Yeah, our expectations, absolutely. I mean, mm -hmm. is it, it? I guess it's going to be the same for your quartzite jade as your jadeite jade or your nephrite jade. Yep. The strand is the, is the pinnacle, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The matching strand. So I'm going to give you a 30 second clock. Um, and I just want to address every single one of you right now, if I may, um, in 30 seconds. Although this is the deal, for this live opportunity, I'm going to more than half that price. More than half that price. Ooh. Do you want to own it? We, on, we only had 50. I've let you know what I intend to do. And you've got 25 seconds, most likely, to just jump on in and secure this opportunity. This will make no sense at all, but nothing this showcase has. Wow. You did just say what I think. Yeah, we're going to more than half the price. And that's our price. That's where it's we should even, be. It's not even the quantity that's, that no. we haven't got a massive nope, quantity nope. of these. No, nope, there's not 200 or 100. Um, there's Never less had than 10 50. Mil. Nope. Right, Ross, I said we're going to more than halve it. We're going to go straight. Half would be, what, 149. Mm. We're going to go to 99 pounds and 99 pence. You've got your interest-free split, split payments. It's 10 mil. It's as good as it gets. And I'm going to say be as fast as you absolutely can. Make this yours. Be there. Goodness me, good this look. is a giveaway, isn't mm -hmm. it? Oh, God, yeah. An absolute giveaway. Plus, you've got your split payment mm -hmm. there as well. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You can get the strand, 10 millimeter strands, one of your carvings. Mm -hmm. You're making ultra high-end jewelry. You yeah. want catalog worthy jewelry. Absolutely, and look guys, I'm just gonna say there is an opportunity for you. you haven't missed out yet. Um, I know sometimes we give up and we think we have missed out. You know, the deal's too good and, yeah. and there's gonna be a lot of people watching and I'm not gonna get it. Look, you can do it. Mm. If you call up now, I guarantee you one. This is the opportunity. Kevin, you're there. Cherylan, you're there. Julie, you're there. Karen, Lorraine, Maker, Susan in Essex, Hampshire, West Midlands, Bristol, Somerset, Sussex, Surrey, Greater London, Greater Manchester, Oxfordshire, Fife, uh, Hampshire, another bit of Merseyside, Devon, you're there, wow. Cornwall, you're there. 99.99 is absolutely ridiculous. I think we can all appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, all agree with that. And did you say way over half the stock? Way over yeah, well half done. the stock has gone. So, yeah, a little bit of uh, urgency needed to check. Because there is a lot of multi buyers, and that's mm -hmm. the thing. 50. If people get two, that's yeah, 25 It's million. not a big auction today, is it? No. We've seen quantities of 150 disappear. There's a lot of collectors that have fallen in love with this uh, new classification, this pure, incredible material. And uh, at the prices we're doing, why wouldn't you uh, get involved? And it is the translucency mm. about this, which yeah. I make, think it makes it so exciting. Definitely. Definitely. It's what every other location wants. Isn't yeah, it? it's that what they dream of. And even yeah. this, there's 12 left, even this location doesn't offer this up very often because okay. it's from the golden silk. The silk literally stands for the fact that it has a kind of radish veining through it usually. This is that level of purity that doesn't carry that. 10 left. I'm going to give you a minute clock to close this one out uh, because I don't want to oversell it. I don't, I don't want uh, many of you missing out. There are nine chances and there's a minute clock for you to, to make this yours. Again, Beautiful. you haven't missed out yet. There is still genuine availability. Wow. Thirty-three pounds and thirty-three pence on your split payment. Madness. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Do you reckon you know when this does hit your your Sotheby's, your Christie's, your Bonhams, yeah. and all those places? Do you reckon you go? I want to buy that amazing ten millimeter mm. um, natural Taipei quartzite jade. But can I, you know, do yeah, yeah. split payments? It's going to be like no. Yeah, exactly. Not. But even better, even greater than that. Imagine selling your pieces yeah. in Sotheby's in True. the future. Um, because you've got these, this epic, incredible strand. And, you know, look, it took Jadeite over 100 years to become <coughs> where it is, yeah, hundreds yeah. of years. You're getting in right at the ground zero. You know, yeah. you're getting in at the, the embryonic stage of the development of the first few pages of this story of Quartzite Jade, and uh, you're getting that reflected in the kind of deals we're being able to offer to you. Five left. And many and five of us buy gemstones, not just because they're beauty, but also for future generations. Yeah, right? yeah. That's, I think we need to be mindful of that with mm -hmm. this too. Absolutely. Wow. 
Okay. Okay, so now we have the eight mil. We have a big quantity. And I always like to say to, to you guys um, that we like to go out with a bang, or I certainly do when, when I'm leaving you. Um, this is going to be one of those deals. It's going to oh be crazy. Goodness. Did we say we had 100, Ross? Yes. Yeah, okay, we've got 100 of the eight mil. Super jemmy. Um, Adam, please may we make this a star buy. I am going to go out with a bang. I'm going to do something exceptional for you. We've done it all morning. It's going to continue with this piece. I wish you the best of luck. This is your star buy. Good luck. Okay, 30 second clock please Adam, if that's okay, um, before we bring this live. Give you a chance right now. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to either you know, dial that number, um, open up the app, open up the website, wow. get yourself in prime position to capitalize on these. 100 sounds like a lot. We had 150 of the previous carving and it went like that. True. Um, I've also said, think about everything we've done, I've also said that this is going to be the piece that we, we, um, we take to the craziest deal. Right, I've said, we're gonna go out with a bang. We want you to be part of it. 10 seconds, eight mil, incredible. Good luck, everyone. Imagine this day mm. with the pearls tomorrow. Oh God, yeah, imagine. Those pearls tomorrow are gonna, are gonna well, you've seen them, everyone's They're seen amazing, them. They're right? yeah. amazing, absolutely okay. amazing, yeah. 175 carats, colossal carat weight, eight mil, epic, incredible translute, oh, okay. It's been open for what, five seconds, 10 seconds, mm -hmm. 20, I don't know. Uh, Valerie's Probably there. Probably what, 20, 30% yeah. of the stock's gone already? Yeah. Cumbria's got two, Hazel's got two, Maker and Devon's got two, Five's got two, June's got two. Good okay. luck. Um, 100 now doesn't seem like a, a big amount at all. No. Um, I'm gonna give you a 30 second clock. I said we're gonna go out with a mega deal and um, I want you all to join me, get involved, multi-buy. Um, you don't need encouragement to do that. There is, everyone is practically multi-buying and you'll be able to understand why. I'm gonna start the clock. I'm gonna give you an epic deal and then we're gonna give you the big star buy. Uh, um, crazy mega deal. These, these clocks, these moments are, are opportunities for you to swoop on pause, in and get involved. Yeah. yeah, it's a moment to pause, well not yeah. pause, but no, do what you gotta do. So it's buying you that little moment of time, yeah, that opportunity, absolutely. that window of opportunity. Yeah, grab your iPad, mm -hmm. grab your laptop, pick yep. up the phone, do what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Put the dog in the kitchen, whatever yes. it is, yeah. just so you can make this, this yeah. secure the opportunity. Straight down, 99.99, nowhere near done. And Adam, if it's okay, as soon as that price comes in, mm -hmm. let's give everyone a 30 second clock. Um, for the final deal. But 99.99 is not what anyone's paying, but it's, uh, I'm just letting you know, we're going into double figures and then some. Wow. For a strand? Oh God, yeah. I remember you saying, Dave, that these are opportunities that, you know, to take, to buy a bangle in jade is one thing, to yeah. get the matching strand is another. Absolutely. Because it's know, not just the colour you're yeah, matching. But the, yeah, the, 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 the biggest premium that is paid in the world of jade is always for a strand. Yeah. Because of the amount of waste that goes into it, because of the matching that has to take place. Um, obviously with the bangle, we, we can see the waste because you've got mm. that hole in the center, but with this, it's all been carved away. Okay, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but straight down, 49.99. Pardon? 49.99, only 100 opportunities we began with. I can't believe I'm doing that but it is my final deal with you and I always like to go out of the bank. We've got a bigger quantity. We're gonna make it a star buy. You've got your interest free split payments. We're at 50 pounds. And if you want to multi-buy, go for it. You can get two of these for a hundred pounds. That's right amazing. I mean, I thought 99.99 was unbelievable. Yeah, I, I agree. And it is mm -hmm. unbelievable. It's uh, um, incredible. So many multi-buyers. So again, that kind of necklace, which, yes. you know, let's be honest, would be Fortune. Absolutely, you see that in a glass case. You see that in Hong Kong yeah. or Beijing or, or even in London. And they tell you it's the new classification of jade and it's exciting new discovery. It's the first time in a thousand years something like this has happened. And you can see the level of artistry that's gone into the carving of the dragon. It just so happens to be the year of the dragon. And then there's the strand. <coughs> and if you've got both strands, you can do a graduated strand. That would be a monstrous carat weight. Well, it's going to be price and application. Yeah, or, or this, you know, just literally yeah, as absolutely, it is. Yeah. On Bonhams or Sotheby's, mm -hmm. you know. Without any carving, that is yeah. heirloom. Oh, hang on a minute, right. So Ross is just saying in my ear, if you bought every single piece of quartzite jade today. Yes, five pieces. You have spent less than 325 pounds. No way. That's for all five. And just bear in mind, you know, that, that dragon carving alone would be 300 pounds. Yeah. By our own standards. So you've bought the dragon carving, let's yeah. say, and you haven't even got to pay potion packaging. Oh yeah, that is crazy. Um, 
You haven't even got to pay for the phone and call. And you've got a split pay. Yeah. And you've got five pieces mm -hmm. for not far off what would be the same price. Unbelievable. £16.66 <gasps> is the interest-free split payments on this piece. Uh, make sure you're getting involved. Make sure you are checking out. Make, Alison, you've got three. Well done to you. 685 carats that amounts to. <laughs> Unbelievable. Also, another way of looking at it, says Ross, he loves making you feel bad oh, about yeah, this. Oh, yeah, go on. The 8 mil. Mm -hmm. Sorry, if you get the 8 mil and the infinity pendant, you spent less than £100. Okay, that is ridiculous. It is. Um, you know, had we, had we shown you that, put it together, we'd think it was hundreds and hundreds, even here at Jewelry Maker. You've got this for £49.99. Uh, £16.66 on your interest-free split payments. 28 chances remaining. Make sure you are there. Make sure this is yours. That's £100 mm -hmm. today. Wow. Totally natural. Yeah. Unbelievable. Quartzite jade. Incredible. The introduction of. Yes. And this is the, you know, the definition of rarity weekend. Uh, 24 chances. Oh my goodness me. Stunningly beautiful. Mm -hmm. Again, that is, that is Sotheby's of the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sotheby's of the now. Absolutely, yeah, quite possibly. Quite wow. possibly. Wow, good luck everybody. Just breathtaking, Dave. I'm yeah. absolutely in love with this. And Me too. The fact, thank you as no, well no for, problem, on behalf of, of everybody yeah. for no, no. Thank you for bringing us opportunities like this because it wasn't for your tireless travel. Mm -hmm. And let's be honest, I've said this many times on it. It's not yeah. a jolly. It's no, hard no, work, no, no. isn't it? Absolutely, hard it work. Very difficult. You know, jet lag. We we like to go in uh, and get out as quick as we can because obviously we want to get back to our family. So you know, it, it isn't you know glitz and glamour, but it's absolutely worth it. You know, this is what I prefer. This is what I love. I'd much rather be seeing the most incredible jades and speaking to the most fascinating people than be lay on a beach you know i love it yeah. it's, it's 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 exhilarating uh, whoever made the necklace has made a lovely pattern with the eight mil and ten mil beads pendant sits uh well yeah, it's beautiful. really lovely oh yeah that is amazing yeah just set alternating the mm -hmm. gemstones aren't they yeah, yeah i agree um who did make this do we know not sure Don't okay know. not sure but it's beautiful yeah Beautiful. Adam's taking credit for that one. Adam like, did an me. amazing job, me. Adam. Like, I did it. Yeah, well, you you can catch Adam's masterclass next week. Uh, <laughs> you shall be demonstrating. Yeah. Um, Thank you now, very much. Dave, I can't let you go yeah. without talking about what's coming up tomorrow. Look, these pearls are colossal. Ooh. I've never seen an opportunity like it in my life. Um, and to get everything you're about to get in this one incredible opportunity the earrings a match pair that size and then that incredible orient across all of these incredible yeah, they're unbelievable. for the neckline as you can imagine you get everything uh, as part of this opportunity it's going to be sensational um, and by the way yeah free postage and packaging tomorrow as well oh my god so there they are what an opportunity they are the biggest pearls in jewelry maker history. Yeah, well, I don't think we've ever done anything that size on Gemporia either. So in 22 years, we've never done anything quite like it. Um, make sure you join us tomorrow to hear about the story of these, to make sure you get involved, to make sure you get those. It's going to be one very special opportunity for the few that can get involved. Unbelievable. So 10 o'clock tomorrow, make yeah. sure you're here. Dave, thank once you so much. again, thank you as always. Thank you very much. I know Deb's, you've got an amazing masterclass coming up, which is going to be have incredible. You seen, have you seen Deb's pearls and the necklace? I've been looking at them throughout the, the showcase. Pearls. Just looking over uh, to the right. Yeah, the, the metallic kind of colour on these. Yeah. Absolutely sensational. And even when, um, you know, I've been cut out of shot, I've just been looking at these ones to my right. It is. Uh, it's yeah, you know, it's something you're not going to want to miss. It's going to be sensational. Um, so I'll be tuned in. Yeah. Um, but thank you very much for having me, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Uh, it was an, always an absolute pleasure. Congratulations, everybody. Now, we're just going to cut to a very short break, um, but we do have on the back of this amazing after oh, morning, sorry, of Quartzite Jade, uh, Jade, we are bringing you some of the multicolored strands. Maybe you want to sort of, I don't know, maybe pepper a few in with the, your beautiful white. I've only got a handful of them as well, so they are quite limited. Um, these are coming up just after the break, so make sure you're with me. And again, not long until we make our way over to our gorgeous Debs for what is quite literally one of my favorite pieces of jewelry. Um, a limited masterclass. Let me just give everyone a heads up. There's 48 available. So don't go anywhere. Jewelry makers, join Debs and I just after this.
Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I hope you've all had a really good week. I'm here to tell you all about my show coming up on this Sunday, the 14th of April. I'm going to be joining the lovely L, Ross and the crew. So I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown of a couple of the hours that are going to be featured. Nine o'clock, I have been given the most beautiful natural coloured agate kits. Here's a couple of the pieces I've made. Beautiful ombre earrings. These are four millimetre rounds. Then I've got the most incredible, incredible Kiss Cross Station necklace. Those colours are incredible, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. And the tutorial that you'll receive if you purchase any of the kits in the nine o'clock hour, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to make one of my favourite techniques, the embellished netted cuff bracelet. Full instructions included in all of the kits in the nine o'clock. This is beautiful. Now this is faux fordite. We've got it in four different colourways. I'm going to show you two of them now. We've got this beautiful, hot and spicy. Every single bead is completely and utterly different. And again, this is our take on the Fordite stone. And then this piece I've just completed as we speak. This incredible peacock Kiss Cross graduated necklace. It also comes in a rainbow colourway and also a black and white which will feature in the show. And as I said, you'll get a tutorial booklet on all of the kits that you purchase in the 12 o'clock. So that's this Sunday, 14th of April. Join myself and Eleanor from eight o'clock. So excited to see you there. Alison Terry here. Monday. Don't miss us on Monday. Look what we've got. We have got the F colour, EF colour, whichever way you want to say it. We've got the kilns back. We've got the um, enamels in. We've got the sieves. Don't don't stint on the sieves. Stock up on the sieves. Um, I've been I've been making like mad. I'm still making like mad. Um, but I had to stop and make sure you get the heads up. Work in progress got the heads up of what's coming up don't miss it and um, it, it's amazing we've also got a bundle of all sorts of things we've got um rings adjustable rings earrings pendants um and don't forget you can use it with um your bare copper and your sterling silver well and your plated um so if you've got any of the um any of the dyes um you know cut your stars out then put put af color on them cut all sorts out do the flowers do whatever it doesn't have to be flat it is amazing don't miss out join us on monday i'll see you there This weekend, embark on a journey into the extraordinary world of exquisite craftsmanship and timeless beauty with Rarity Weekend on Jewelry Maker. Prepare to be enchanted as we unveil a treasure trove of rare gems, each one meticulously handpicked for its unparalleled brilliance and allure. Tune in this weekend where luxury meets authenticity in every shimmering facet. Rarity Weekend, only on Jewelry Maker.
Wow. Just take a moment, everybody. How spectacular has this morning been? And we are still not done because you have the most, arguably one of my favorite masterclass pieces coming up. Debs, again, just wow. Oh, but wow. how lucky am I? Yeah, you I mean, are, yeah. I'm so lucky. I but, mean, oh. And you know, I've got another strand here to demo with and they're all different because they're mother nature's treasures. You know, you're never gonna get two strands the same because- They are treasure, aren't they? They're treasure. You know, like when you go into a cave and you know, and you open the box yeah. and you know, the pirates go to get the treasure. This is what they find. Yeah, absolutely. This. Those earrings are stunning. The earrings, oh my, and they come in a box and it's just, I love everything about it. You just make the earrings and put them in a box and look at them inside. You can pop to Yoko in London and get something that looks remarkably similar, by the way, for a cool 10 grand if yeah. you want. Yeah. Or um, you can just stay tuned and we'll bring you the best possible deal. Not yet though, because we do have a very rare opportunity on the back of all the knowledge and that that is what I find so exciting um, about well, one of the many things I find so exciting about what Jewelry Maker do what Dave does is he brings you this is the information that none of us would have known about until who knows a century two centuries three centuries later um, we've got it in the multicolored strands the same gold silk variety Oh my goodness, that maybe you might want to team alongside your pure whites that have just been launched. Mm -hmm. But, Ross has just said in my ear, L, there is how many? 30 of each, extremely rare. So there is eight, six, and four mil. Can you imagine these? I said earlier on, just scattered beautifully in amongst. This is your six mil. Oh my goodness. Can I, you, you, do you remember as well, go back a few months when we were talking about Gump's Jewelers in San Francisco. Um, Gump's Jewelers, one of their signature pieces in jade was the multicolored strap necklaces that yeah. were 10,000 pounds, I'm fairly sure. You're effectively getting an opportunity to recreate that necklace in the newest variety of jade. That's exciting, isn't it? That is it? exciting. As a, as a designer, as a jewellery maker, Yeah. that's exciting. But only 30. Oh, okay. So you will need to be really quick. If you're thinking, okay, I can, I can relax now, because Elle's just said breathe. No, 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 you've breathed. <laughs> now you need, to, you need to get excited again. You need to be quick. You need to be reactive to secure these, because 30, especially on a Saturday morning show for jewellery maker, you can bet your bottom dollar there's way more. There's thousands of people that'll be watching the show today. And I can guarantee more than 30 people will want it. Guarantee that. Good luck. All natural. All natural. Your beautiful, multicolored quartzite jade with that same amazing translucency that Dave was educating us on. The only difference between this opportunity and what you had previous, previously, yes, obviously colors, but is the quantity. Now, I have not got a clue, Ross, what you're taking these to, but I, ju it, I just look at this tea bar this display and think, well, that's like the Gump's necklace that was 10,000 pounds, but in the newest variety of jade. Now we're starting with the eight mil. We've got the six mil, we've got the four mil. So the largest of all, full 38 centimeter strands. We would expect, or I would expect anyway, when we're in its embryonic state, as we said, with, I find that amazing. You're in the right place, aren't you? You're in the right place at the right time. You've got that knowledge. Knowledge is power in the world of gemstones. Yeah. Yeah. Knowing what, you know, okay, this has now just been awarded, for want of a better word, the jade status. You are getting it at a jewelry maker price. The future is exciting, isn't it? It's amazing. The information that we're privy to, or Dave's privy to, and then we learn. Yeah. Um, he's right in there and you know oh, they love Dave 
Yeah, I'm not surprised. That's He's why they, truly passionate, isn't yes, he? Yes, they love Dave. That's why he gets these opportunities. Because let's be honest, they could easily go Bernard, uh, um, Stanley, whoever. They could easily go, well, actually, Dave, no, I'm going to send it, sell it here because, you know, they all know about it. They all know yeah. about it already, so I'll get a higher price tag for it. Mm. But we get these opportunities because they absolutely adore Dave. Mm. Mm. Who doesn't? Yes, Ross, you were saying, that Gump's piece of jewellery, the colour wheel, the colour wheel that we've referenced previously before, they were six mils, and that we sold that strand. Do you remember on a birthday, wasn't it? And I'll tell you, it was a big birthday strand. Yeah, we had about 200 of them. Might have been more. £299, that was the price of that strand, and they were smaller than this. In a few years, the future's exciting. The original Burmese sauce, who knows? This might be at that price. This might be even beyond that price. Because actually, arguably, there's actually a far more translucent crystal structure to this variety of jade. Yeah. But we're looking at our, our window of opportunity is in its embryonic stage. It's beautiful. You're not paying the 299 price. Because we weren't in the embryonic stage for Jadeite, were we? We weren't. It was already globally recognised, worldwide, round, uh, well known. Today, there are 30. The largest carat weight that we have, all your natural colours of your new quartzite jade. Wow. Okay, now, a double figure price tag. Get it, look at those colours, absolutely beautiful. I absolutely adore the colours of Jade Eye. I absolutely adore the colours of Nephrite. I think I love the Quartzite Jade even more because it's more, look, I mean, that is almost Satsuma orange, isn't it? It's amazing to think that these are natural colours. Yes. Yeah. Because there is a translucency, like an ethereal quality to yeah. them. There's a glow. Yes. Completely different to totally anything I've different. seen before. Yeah, it's more. There is more of uh, more translucency, in my opinion, to your quartzite jade than I've ever seen. Yes, definitely. You know, and I've never ever witnessed imperial jade in person. I've seen it in photographs, never mm. seen it in person. And um, this is how I imagine that translucency yes. to be. Yes. We're at double figure price tag. We have thirty available opportunities during makers. Plus, you've got your free potion and packaging. I'd be intrigued, excited to know whether you're going to use this alongside your beautiful that imperial white that you saw a few moments ago with Dave, or whether you're going to go sort of the the Gumps Jewelers multicolored jade eye inspired piece of jewellery. Get your certificate of authenticity. I think that is absolutely invaluable because it will say that it is totally natural, and it will say on your certificate. Um, the same that our lab report says, quartzite jade. You know, it is that newest variety, newest to the world. First time in a thousand years that it has been documented a new variety of jade. And that's how I kind of simplify things earlier on. And, uh, and that's why I mentioned it today. Like it's, like, it's like nephrite's the firstborn, jadeite's the middle, and now you've got a, new, a, a newborn into the family. That is your quartzite jade. Has it sold out? You can still get involved. Okay. There's 30 of each. Oh, I'm going to lay them up, Ross. Look at those. Oops. Your first price crash. Look at those together. Imagine that in a long line Marla. <gasps> wow. We couldn't have said that with a jadeite, could we? How many of us would have entertained a multicolored jade out Marla? <sighs> you know, that would have cost a pretty penny. The How sounds, beautiful. I just, I've not ever seen anything like it. The colors, to think that, this is another strand that looks like the earth that it came out of. Yeah. You know, it's just like mother nature in a strand. It's a spice rack of color. Yeah, it is. Isn't it? Yeah. And it's all totally natural. 30 second clock on your screen, jewelry makers. We're not stopping. No way near done. Well, you've seen earlier on, just to you know, set the stage, the eight millimeters were what, 99.99. I don't want to be presumptuous or anything like that, but I also know how Ross, Ross works. Your six mils, arguably going to be the most popular. 
already collectors multi buying well done june well done suzanne cornwall oxfordshire cumbria you can do it this is i mean again we have 30 of each we'd have bought 300 given the chance that's how many we've got the opportunity to acquire and it's all there's not another 30 reserved for another occasion 79 pounds and 99 pence only plus you've got your three-way split pay how beautiful i would love to see one of you create that beautiful multicolored long line necklace oh so would i oh in all the colors yeah that obliterates gumps jewelry mm. you know the multi it's lovely don't get me wrong but you know that one beaded multicolored jade piece of jewelry yes. that they created yeah if you were to create that long line piece with those two strands or the three strands even how amazing would that be 26 pounds and 66 pence on your split pay um a lot of people getting involved but it's limited it's super 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 exclusive um how, are we all in agreement the passion for this new variety it's so 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 beautiful well done um and who knows let's let's hold these seize the opportunity and then five years time ten years time two years time who knows reflect on this launch like we do on the russian alexandrite like we do on the brazilian parade tourmaline and many other gemstones and think gosh i bought that strand yeah I only paid this much. You don't need to share that information with anybody else because that's no reflection of the true value or worth. Now, for the four mils. Look at those. Ross says, I'm going to do this in one price clash. They look amazing, don't they, together? If your budget allows, that's incredible. There's 30. Straight away, collectors checking out. Well done, June. Well done, Carmarthenshire. Well done, Sophia. Multi buyers as well. Oh my goodness me, it's a full 38 centimetre strand. We're at 49 pounds and 99 pence only with one of your carvings. I mean, how incredible is that? Um, Roscoe, can you do a little tally? Not necessarily on the total amount. How about the split pay amount? So you can get all three together, not the split pay, 229 pounds and something pence for all three of them that would make an incredible long line necklace Wouldn't as you it? said starting smaller some of the larger ones and then to, i did that once on they asked me to make on a show with some jadeite and I, I only had two sizes and i just put the smaller size and then the bigger size and it looked amazing it's yeah. so simple yeah but it looked lovely so yeah, wearable beautiful. but the, a lot of jade jewelry is that simple yeah. isn't it because yeah. it's all about the gemstone yeah. itself you look at your nephrite strands they're simple you yeah. look at your your jadeite strands they're simple, simple yeah your quartzite jade is going to be exactly the same um well done patricia london cornwall jane june carmarthenshire sophia new customers getting involved your four mil always uber popular we always say four is the new six mil totally natural um, look at that translucency particularly in the in the sort of paler shade now I have one more auction before we make our way to your amazing masterclass um, and your wall of fame of course we have that is take a look at this When we talk master carv carving, these are double hoop interlocking links Ooh. in quartzite jade. Have we ever seen these before? I haven't. They're lovely. Never seen before. I, I'm sorry, this is like a deal of the day in its own right. You get the two. Ah, that's why it's not a deal of the day because we've got 25. Oh, yeah. But, oops, just cause, no, no other reason other than they look amazing together. You also get a strand of Amazonite. Um, can I make a suggestion? Oh, that's a foie moment. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah isn't it stunning we have 25 available opportunities you get the strand of your naps uh your natural amazonite and you get the two interlocking links hand carved out of one boulder that blows my mind 
it you know you can easily solder two links together that's not necessarily that difficult but to carve it out of uh, you know one piece of jade that's mind-blowing and you get it twice over we've got 25 available they go beautifully with the strands i don't know if any of those are still available check the web how about this 150 pounds each your amazon nights for free good like that we <laughs> that's pretty that's amazing okay says ross how about this we half that price so you get the pair of natural certified quartzite jade interlocking links for 75 pounds each and then you get your amazon night for free we're nowhere near done there's 25 chances soon to that number is going to drop quickly because there's people waiting we're no way near says ross in my ear imagine that as a piece of jewelry Oof. oh just my beautiful. goodness just stunning and i'd have those sort of on the collarbone almost yes um just not directly onto them we're going even lower jewelry makers 25 that's the thing uh, that's the only downside i've got 25 and that's it once they're gone they're gone I don't know if we can replace these. We only had five of your uh, of the launch that Dave brought you. Five separate pieces. Oof. <laughs> what on earth? Are we meant to do that, Ross? That's twenty five pounds each, and then you're strand for free. Do you get both of those little? Yeah, two. Oh, I thought you were showing the differences, but it... no, you, you get, get both of those as well. You get two, <gasps> and then you get that Amazonite strand. For forty nine ninety nine. For forty nine ninety nine. Wow. Seriously, if this doesn't sell out, I'm all over this opportunity. Yes, please. Unbelievable. Again, lots of you there. June, Venetia, Oxfordshire, Tracy, Maker, Susan, uh, Mary. If you want those three, I would check out sooner rather than later. London, West Midlands. There's tons of you there. We've got loads to bring you still in your uh, rarity weekend. I'm loving it. Are we all in our elements here? Because we've got some of the most beautiful yeah. gemstones. And oh my goodness me, is the next hour even more spectacular. I can't wait to show you. Deb's amazing piece of jewellery. Um, I will tell you, though, that your masterclass is limited for natural purple pearls of this grade and also the match. Yeah, wow. It is a wow, isn't it? They are, what would you say? Insane. Yeah, I totally agree. Look at the quality. Oh, I need to get involved with this, Deb. These are just, you know, like you could just... You get the silk, you can knot in between them and just put them round your neck. But you know, I can't just knot in between every strand of pearls that they give me because it's my job to try and do something different. But these are, they just absolutely stunning. If you just restranded them and put a clasp on, they, the colour, wasn't it you that said the impossible purple pearls? Yes. Yeah. I love that story. Yeah. It's made me love them even more. Yeah. I'll, exp I'll talk about that a little bit more during the masterclass. Um, yeah, they are. They, they, uh, yeah, it's, it's all down to where they achieve that purple colour. It, it is almost an impossible colour for a mollusk to create. Um, well done. They're coming away. I mean, seriously, I was just sat there going... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness me. They're well beautiful. done, everybody. Do not go anywhere. So much still to bring you, jewellery makers. Um, I'm just going to make my way over to Deb's. Your wall of fame is coming up just after the break as well. We'll see you in two. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I hope you've all had a really good week. I'm here to tell you all about my show coming up on this Sunday, the 14th of April. I'm going to be joining the lovely Elle, Ross and the crew. So I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown of a couple of the hours they're going to be featured. Nine o'clock, I have been given the most beautiful natural coloured agate kits. Here's a couple of the pieces I've made. Beautiful ombre earrings. These are four millimetre rounds. Then I've got the most incredible, incredible Kiss Cross Station necklace. Those colours are incredible, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. And the tutorial that you'll receive if you purchase any of the kits in the nine o'clock hour, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to make one of my favourite techniques, the embellished netted cuff bracelet. Full instructions included in all of the kits in the nine o'clock. This is beautiful. Now this is faux fordite. 
We've got it in four different colorways. I'm going to show you two of them now. We've got this beautiful hot and spicy. Every single bead is completely and utterly different. And again, this is our take on the four diet stone. And then this piece I've just completed as we speak, this incredible peacock kiss cross graduated necklace. It also comes in a rainbow colorway and also a black and white, which will feature in the show. And as I said, you'll get a tutorial booklet on all of the kits that you purchase in the 12 o'clock. So that's this Sunday, 14th of April. Join myself and Eleanor from eight o'clock. So excited to see you there. Don't miss us on Monday. Look what we've got. <laughs> we have got the F colour, EF colour, whichever way you want to say it. We've got the kilns back. We've got the um, enamels in. We've got the sieves. Don't don't stint on the sieves. Stock up on the sieves. Um, I've been I've been making like mad. I'm still making like mad, um, but I had to stop and make sure you get the heads up. Work in progress. Got the heads up of what's coming up. Don't miss it. Um, it. It's amazing. We've also got a bundle of all sorts of things. We've got um, rings, adjustable rings, earrings, pendants. Um, and don't forget, you can use it with um, your bare copper and your sterling silver. Well, and your plated. Um, so if you've got any of the um, any of the dies, um, you know, cut your stars out, then put, put AF colour on them, cut all sorts out, do the flowers, do whatever. It doesn't have to be flat. It is amazing. Don't miss out. Join us on Monday. I'll see you there. Hi, so I'm super excited about this week's show because I've got memories. And I haven't used memory wire in ages. And the memory wire that comes in the kit is super cool. It's got these amazing little end caps, which I'm really excited to use. Uh, there's two kits that I've got, and I've got a whole meter of Amazonite, which is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous colors. And there's seed beads as well in each of the kits. And the other one has these amazing aura coated Amazonite in these faceted bicones. Um, so pretty and I'm really excited to work with them uh, that's at 9 a.m. and then my 12 o'clock kits well wow, they're just I've got these amazing amazing cute little gemstones and some beautiful sterling silver chains and also I'm really excited about the helping hands <gasps> I haven't seen them in so long and I'm really excited to use it it makes such a difference when you're trying to put things on chains and yeah I'm really excited about the show next week so I can't wait to see you guys see you later Sorry. We didn't have it this time. No, I'm just imagining Deb's now doing the can can. That was like ten years ago. I'm impressed though. Ten years ago. Well, I was this... 44 then, so I suppose I know it's a bit more than ten years. Maybe 12 years. I ago. need to get a grip on myself because there's no way I could do the can can now. No way. I need to sort myself out. Oh, you could, honestly. <laughs> we'll have one of those evenings and then we'll be doing it at the end of the evening. We'll be like this. After do, wine, do. I might think I could. With the strands of gemstones. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> go for, Adam's saying go for a few yeah. kicks and we'll try it. What could go wrong, Adam? You're going to get your frilly knickers on as well. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I'm already wearing them. Amazing. Um, I like the idea of this. Now, anyway, oh my goodness me. Can I just a little bit of housekeeping first? Um, we have of Deb's midday masterclass, we have 48. 
They're insane. You can do anything with them and they'll be beautiful. I mean, you could be anything. They are insane. Oh, they're so beautiful. I know. And the earrings, there's 29. Oh, is that all? Yeah, I'm afraid to say. Yeah. They're available on pre-order right now. Right, okay, I'd best get a wriggle on then, hadn't I? Let's talk about the Wall of Fame jewelry makers. They are insane. Get yours now. And I know what they're going to. It's incredible. Probably one of the best prized purple pearl opportunities I've I seen. I don't, I don't know. Don't tell me, I like being surprised. Okay, I was going to show you then. <laughs> Glad you said that. You think what, sorry? Some of the best two projects in one show. Oh, we've had incredible. I mean, look at those here. I'm, uh, those I'm earrings are lush. Very, very, very in love with those. All you need to do is glue them in. Bit I of glue. Want them. Done. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I want them. Okay, let's let's do the wall of fame. Take it away, lovely. I love this because it's got a puffin on it. And it's a puffin. And it just it's beautiful. Two four six Joanne McCarthy. Hello, lovely JM team. My WAF entry is a pair of Morse code bracelets with my gorgeous granddaughter Dakota's name. I love that name. Aww. Made from fancy jasper and knotted onto cord. These are presents for her mum and dad. I love that I can make something simple yet personal. Wishing everyone a lovely weekend. They're beautiful. Ah, oh, Joanne, Joanne, beautiful. I love the name Dakota. So do I. And I like the puffin. Hello. <laughs> beautiful yeah like the actress yeah dakota what is it oh yeah F fanning fanning that's it I saw a video with her on the other day it's when she was she was collecting an award and she goes up to collect the award and she's that little you only see about that much of her so orlando bloom comes up behind and holds her up so she's been acting for years yeah, hasn't she's, she? very she's grown talented. up now isn't yeah, she yeah very talented um speaking of talent oh wow flat spiral is it wow well this is coming from uh vera barini hello to you vera this is stunning it's gorgeous um vera says um hello all at jewelry maker this week's entry to the wall of fame is a matte dalmatian jasper and sea bead necklace with matching earrings i like this technique it works up it quickly does. and the effect is amazing all thanks to the um, awesome jewellery maker guest designers. They truly are all awesome. Um, who teach us their many skills. Thank you, jewellery maker. Vera, that's amazing. Love it. I that. love the colour combination that you've put together there. It yeah. just really shows off the gemstone, doesn't very it? Very complimentary. <gasps> oh, look at this that's beaut. That's very nice. This looks so expensive. This is 248 Michael Knight, and he says, Hi all, here's my entry for this week's WAF. It's one of the simplest makes I've done, but I think looks so classy. It does, it looks so expensive. I've glued a topaz peg bale and a half jeweled lavender pearl, hung it from a rose gold plated carabiner clasp and added a silver long link chain with a couple of jump rings. Made to be opened at the front, making it so easy to put on and off. All items are from JM, good luck to my fellow WAFers. Again, let's just take a moment to admire that pearl. I know. It's amazing. You know, your pearl strands can go a long way. I yeah. mean, that looks very high end, very expensive. And if you saw that in a high street jeweler's, oh, considerable money. Yeah, it, it, it really would. Just three entries today. You've got to get cracking with these Wall of Fame that photos. It? Yeah, that's it. Well, good luck, you three. You're so all what, this week's the week to enter because I, I, I think we only had three yesterday as well. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, this we draw it regardless of entries. Oh, so okay. the odds are in your favour and all that got more um, chance yeah okay can we just show you the brochure now this is the brochure of your rarity weekend you've got beautiful katie modeling deb's amazing jewelry um just wow i mean if this was in that is an auction house piece of jewelry make no doubt about it we might just be little jewelry maker you know a little studio in the center of england but we bring you the finest quality gemstones you've just seen a whole well a whole show of rarity and tomorrow as well i agree with what ross has just said you are you've been given two of the most spectacular i know projects and when i got this strand i went and looked on first dips yeah just to oh, see what was on there yeah, right? interesting and the necklace that I l fell in love with was a strand of pearls like this, an amethyst. Mm -hmm. And it was, I think it was something like seven grand. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I've got these amethysts, I don't even know how to describe these, that I've been saving from yeah. JM. Um, and these are much larger amethysts than were in that necklace. So let's call it 7,000 pounds. It was 6,000 something. And I thought, how can I make something similar to that? Um, and also my thought was, if you've got um, a mount um, and a gemstone that you've been saving, or you've got a pendant that you could add, um, this is one of those pieces that 
is the sort of piece that you would make, wear, gift, but you wouldn't necessarily think about buying because it would just be stratospheric. Yeah. Going on first absolutely. dibs, £7,000. Yeah, absolutely. So that was my inspiration because I love amethyst and I think it brings out the purple in these pearls. You mentioned first dibs. Now, I'm, I'm, just, I'm going to say first dibs are not affiliated to us and vice versa. No. They are a separate, uh, separate business, I guess. For me, they're a platform. Yeah. So you could, with your amazing pieces that we see on a daily basis here at Jewelry Maker and the gemstones, your pieces, you could approach first dibs to sell your jewellery. They'll take a commission and it is quite a sizable amount. Oh, is it? Mm. Yeah, it is quite a bit. However, you've got to remember the savings that you get. You get beyond wholesale prices. Yes. And I w I'm saying this because I know what your masterclass is going to today and genuinely with everything that's going on in the pearl world right now it's gone crazy hasn't it yeah we can't buy them for the price that you're about to see most jewelers work on a replacement value so it's like okay like your insurance for example isn't the reason why your insurance is as high is how much would it would it cost you to replace it so if jewellery maker or a, a jeweller say Yoko of London, if they wanted to replace these purple pearls, um, well, we're going to sell it for the same amount that it would cost me to replace it, if not more, to be honest. Yeah. Um, anyway, so you could, with quality pearls like this, you could absolutely be selling your jewellery on first dibs. That's eventually when I get pull my socks up and actually get round to, to <laughs> we knotting everything. We were talking every, about that, weren't I know, we? I need to, my husband said it to me the other day. He was like, you're actually going to do anything with these amazing pearls? I said, yes, I will, one day. Um, and I'll approach places like First Dibs. Yeah, yeah. So you mentioned about the impossible purple. I see. I love this story. But this is what, I, yeah, I love now, it. Now, pearls get their colour from the oyster that they form in. So that's why a South Sea pearl is kind of that golden color because they are the golden oyster. Yeah. That's why Tahitian pearls are that kind of like steely aubergine like black because they form in the black lip oyster. Yeah. Um, now you can dye pearls of course and that's not so rare but still beautiful and you can get that really highly rare sought after color at a fraction of the cost. But when you look at Deb's amazing purple pearls, know firstly that this will be one pearl per oyster because of the size of, of them. Of course, I because didn't think of They that. can't form many. No. You know, there wouldn't be enough room. Then know that within that oyster itself, the majority of an oyster's color in their shell is on the circumference. So the narrow part, if you think, if you imagine my hands as the oyster itself, you know, you have the, the flesh, you know, say that's the clam, basically. Mm -hmm. You have the actual oyster here, mm -hmm. or muscle, whatever it might be. The narrow part where it tapers down like my fingers are is where it shows the bulk of the colour or where it will hold the bulk of the colour like the black cliff oyster for example. Here is a photograph and it's not the most attractive photograph but it is important for me to show you because this was recently advertised in the gem world. Everyday clam opens uh, to reveal a rare purple pearl. Look at where it forms. It's on the circumference, oh, basically. Yes. And that's a tiny pearl. Look, if you, if you look at his finger, yes. it's a tiny, tiny pearl. But look at the colour, look at the concentration of that colour, and it's totally natural. And that was a headline yeah. in the pearl world. Didn't a lady find it or yes. something in a restaurant? Yeah, I saw that. Now, imagine the scale of your purple pearls, which are, let me just remind myself, in terms of their millimetre, 9 to 11 millimetre, not many oysters will form to the size, grow to the size that will be able to house an 11 millimetre pearl on the circumference. It's take a long time. Yeah, on the circumference too. So this is a photograph that I personally took in Tucson back in 2021, was it? Or 2022? Um, and I took a photograph, not because it was like, oh, look at that price, my goodness me, it's, it, it, it's astronomical. I took a photo because it's really affordable. And that's wholesale. 1,250, is it? Yeah. So times that by four plus VAT. That would be the retail. Okay. But that is actually, and that's before the world went crazy for pearls, your usual pearls. But just to give you a perspective, you know, our prices are not pie in the sky. That's wholesale at $1,250. Wow. 
wholesale a few years ago, so what, two years ago. What we're, I can't say, emphasize this enough. What we are bringing you these natural purple pearls for today is ludicrous. Frankly, it is actually ludicrous. And this is why my, even my husband's on board with this. Yeah. I, I, I don't have to explain my pearl purchases to my husband. Especially not anymore. No. I mean, with everything that's going on, um, you know. It, it's now. I, it, I was just going to say, I don't want to say you can't because I don't know, but I have done a bit of panic buying of the pearls. Yeah, me too. <laughs> well, listen, Dave went to Hong Kong a couple of months ago, didn't he, in March? Just gone. Yes. And I might be, not be talking about Tahitian pills or South Sea pills, but it is a, a, a general conversation wherever the location. Yeah. Edison, freshwater. We can't buy freshwater pills now um, because China won't export them. Yeah. They won't export them. They are, we're only really moving forward, probably going to see your Edison pills. So a uh, conversation basically was, yeah, strands like this are like 48,000. Wasn't it something, well, those kind of price points? 50 grand wholesale. Oh my, wholesale. Oh my word, wholesale. Wholesale. That's a couple of months ago. Good grief, that's crazy. And you might be thinking, I totally get it, I understand it. Even my friend has asked me this recently, like, well, how do you do it then? How do, how did jewelry maker bring it to you at these kind of prices? These will have been bought probably, here we go, I'll show you the photograph. US dollars, 48,000 pounds. Wholesale. Look at the size of them, eight to nine millimeters. Yours are bigger much bigger and i'm going to say more spherical better quality i'm not keen on that no 48, 48 grand I, i'd keep my 48 grand yeah because i quite like these thank you very much i prefer <laughs> these i agree i prefer these and i much prefer the price tag see i don't know what they're going to yet do you want me to show you no i want to be surprised okay ross how quickly do you think these are going to sell out Oh, he says 10 have already gone on pre-order. Now, I don't want to overlook everything else, but you do get the silk, you do get the sterling silver um, magnetic class, you also get the clots. You or do. Or wire guardians, you do. rather. Um, and the and box. You, and you get that beautiful box. So you get everything. But for me, it is all about the pills. It is all about these absolute... Can I just borrow that a second? That strand. Oh, I yeah. promise I will give it back. I thought you were like that. No. No, I was like, what? I thought you were. Um, yeah, of course you can. Oh. Look at the colour. Oh, look at the colour. Oh, look at them. Popped to Yoko of London a few oh. years ago, again, before the world went crazy for pearls. They are so beautiful. They're amazing, aren't they? And it's they're natural. The colour. The impossible purple pearl. And they really are. I mean, you can really see that colour. It's just stunning. You know, look at this. Now, again, this is um, a photograph Dave took. It was, I wasn't invited to this. It was a special invitation. How only. rude. <laughs> I know. Um, but it was some of the most spectacular pieces Ooh, of jewellery. And this was alarmed, guarded and all that. Oh, it's, yeah. uh, I think it was jewellery of uh, jewellery in the museum or something. I can't remember. Anyway, um, so for example, the red necklace is Sophia Loren's coral oh, necklace. Oh wow! Yeah. yeah. Um, but look at item number nine at the back. So that beautiful pink pearl, yep. uh, purple pearl necklace. You've got Tahitian. You've probably got a coin, and they might have significance in terms of the where, but certainly the province. Um, and if you read it, what does, what does item number nine say? It says pearl necklace, cultured pearl, Chinese freshwater. Exactly what you are getting today. Um, and it says the Hunan, there we go, province, same as yours. I wouldn't say the price, but would you agree yours is of the same calibre and grade? Most definitely. In fact, I'm seeing more Metal. purple yeah. in ours. That, those look more gold. Of the 50 we had, over 10 have already gone. 14 confirmed. I will wish you the best of luck. I can't wait for you to see the final price. Don't you wait though. Don't wait. Because these absolutely, absolutely will sell out. And it, you know what? If there's any available come the end of the show, there's one person here that definitely be getting involved. 100%. And the reason why I opened this hour talking about first dibs, these are the quality pearls. Have you put that on an 18 karat gold clasp? Oh, I mean... And you can pick an 18 karat gold clasp up for less than £100. Oh, I know it's still yeah. £100, but it's 
highlighting the rarity and the quality of your pearls and adding to the value of that cherished piece of jewelry especially uh -huh. if you're gifting you know it, it, pearls oh, I know I was gone about this but they're so they go across all generations all styles or they have a personality they love to be worn just pearls for me are just up there yeah in, me too. In my favorite gems a hundred percent they're fast becoming my number one me too rapidly remember that one at wholesale two years ago one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars mm -hmm. wholesale how about our next price crash we take it there or oh, we beat it let's take it outside of those four figures and straight into the triple figures nine to 11 millimeter natural purple pearls these will sell out jewelry makers there's no doubt about that at all the most beautiful piece of jewelry created by our wonderful debs your master it comes with the instructions as well you've got your pretty and purple necklace instructions written by yours truly ah uh, i think sometimes with designs like this you know unless you're a complete beginner um you know how to make that by looking at it as as experienced jewelry makers but i sometimes think that designs like this it's the inspiration of just maybe you won't use such chunky amethyst maybe you'll use another gemstone but sometimes it's just getting that inspiration Oof. and then just the techniques um, involved just pop that in your folder with all your other mm. uh, instructions and sometimes it just kickstarts your mojo doesn't yeah, it? it really does in 30 seconds just under it's going even lower look at those look okay here's another example go to Yoko of London we've shown this loads of times POA, that's me going, I can't afford it if it's a POA. <laughs> um, me too. Uh, well, Dave was bold enough to ask. There we go, it's 22 and a half <gasps> grand. And that was pre Pearl Mania. We're at 999, we've only got 50. Today, you can get the most beautiful natural purple pearls and everything else for 299 pounds. Half the stock is gone. Unbelievable. That could be, even here at Jewelry Maker, and please know this is no reflection of the true value or worth, 499 would be incredible. I've worked here a long time, and over the last couple of months especially, I've been very privileged to work with some beautiful pearls. Um, two, two of my favourite strands I've worked with in the last <coughs> week or so. Excuse me. One of them is in front of me, and one of them is at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Yeah. I was going to say, can you imagine teaming the two together? The most beautiful strands. And I've been looking for the perfect purple, wow. lavender, lilac pearl for myself. I've got about three strands, and this is my favourite out of all of those. Well, yeah. If you, I don't know, can we look in the overhead? Because I think <coughs> that... That's remarkable, isn't it? Just look at this on the beadboard. Well, look at how gorgeous and perfect they are, and look at the colour. But do you know what else? Impossible pill, impossible pill, impossible pill, yes! impossible pill. Just one. I know. You've got a full strand. We are so complacent here, aren't we? Because we're like, hang on a second. We talk about the fact that they really form of this size and of that colour naturally. You haven't just got one. You've got, I mean, look at all the pairs of earrings that you've got. You, you first thing you do is take, is that not a price? No. <gasps> it's not your price. It never was your price. That's absolutely amazing if we were stopping there. Okay, I thought that was One of the best strands of pearls we've ever had, do yeah, you agree? Definitely. But it was never where we were closing this. Oh, okay. 19 left, oh, 18. God. You need to be quick now, because after this 60 seconds, they will disappear in a heartbreak. 17 left. Oh. Look at the quality of these pearls. Knot them, add them to your precious metal. That is high end luxury. And then some. Oh my goodness, even without doing anything to it, that looks amazing. That's what I mean. That's why I put them on there. And you know, you get your purple silk, you get your sterling silver magnetic clasp, your wire guardians. You've actually got everything to knot this straight yeah. away out of the packet. Um, I just wanted you to see it on there because that speaks for itself. I don't have to tell you how good they are. And Elle doesn't have to tell you how good they are because you can see it for yourself. You know what you're doing. They know what they're doing. <laughs> Do you, I can't wait for you to see what this goes to, Debs. Okay, am I, gonna... I genuinely can't wait okay, for you to I'm see gonna this. I'm going to not get excited. I'm not going to shout. Uh, any, any chance, by the way, of me getting involved on this is going to disappear in a nanosecond because it's not just a little snippet off that price. 
There are 11 left. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> really? I said this yesterday, Debs. I remember doing strands of pearls, not purple, but no. strands of pearls that were that yep. length. Yep. And they were small. Smaller. That length that were, were that, that price. Oh, but these incredible. are one of the rarest colours of all. That's why Yoko of London, you know, we're not making fun of Yoko of London when we show that price tag. The reality is, they're probably not wrong. No, and this is the closest strand I've seen to that photograph. Yeah. You know, and I don't like to refer to anything as perfect. I don't like to refer to jewellery as perfect. I think everything that someone creates is as it Especially should be and special. I don't like to refer to pearls as perfect because I love <laughs> all kinds of pearls. I love the Baroque pearls. I love mm -hmm. the huge... But a lot of people think of a perfect pearl as a round, all the, the five virtues, the luster. If you want to talk about perfect, look at these. Yeah, they are the perfect colour. Aren't they? And the fact that they are so rare. So, so, so rare. Rare in that size because what? how many pearls can form in that size close to the actual... Yes. What would you call, call it? I always say like the, the, the circumference. But yeah, basic, yeah, it might be the, the pointy lip, bit. The like lip the, of the oyster. The, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, rather than sort of the fuller part, the body of the oyster. Because when I got a pearl and I was in the Isle of Wight and they've got like a, a place there and, and you choose the, um, the oyster and they open it and I got a tiny wee pearl out of it and it was in the middle. Mm-hmm. So to think that something this big can form on the exterior, on the exterior, pretty much exterior. I wonder how long each one has taken yeah. to grow that big, uh, and and then also have to match them all. Um, these will sell out. Look at your split payment: forty-nine pounds and seventy-five pence. I've got ten left, but look, can I just shout out your names? Christine, Donna, Catherine, Sally, Warwickshire. Good luck. These are the names that haven't yet checked out. West Midlands, Michelle, Karen, Cornwall, Tracy, Judith, Vicky, Julie, Cumbria, Alison. And those are the names that I can see. If you haven't yet checked out your baskets, oh, hang on. Yavis, Julie, Maker in Cumbria, Vanessa. If you haven't checked out, I've got 10. I literally have 10. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there's loads in baskets. And the earrings are coming up as well. Loads in baskets. It will be a sellout for sure. Um, I can't wait to see this demonstration. That's one of the most beautiful pieces of jewellery, Deb. It really it's, is. It's just, you don't have to do a lot, do you, when you're dealing with um, perfection? Yeah. I don't like to say that word. No, but they are, though. I totally agree with you. They're the um, sort of pearls you they'd see. They'd be perfect even if they had anomalies. That's the thing about pearls, oh, is, yeah. you know? Um, the earrings are coming up. FYI, they're even more limited than the strand. So, in fact, almost half the quantity of the earrings. Um, you can still do it, but you need to be quick because there's still people getting involved. Look, there's Maker, Alison, Donna, Sally, and Warwickshire and West Midlands, who have all joined um, since. And um, Virginia's just got three, well done. How are we doing, Ross, what's the quantity? Okay, right, I'll keep you updated. Over to you, darling. Okay, so this is a very simple um, technique. It's literally just um, stranding on. I I was going to not because I really like the colour of the silk that you get with it, which is that kind of really lovely purple colour. Um, but I just wanted to do something different. And you know I'm going to wear this necklace after it's been on the show. You know that, don't you? You're going to tune in and there I'll be with that necklace around my neck because I love pearls. I love wearing jewellery as much as I love making it. So what I've got there is that, and we, we did this quite a lot, I thought maybe two years ago, um, maybe not that long, but the hexagonal I remember them. tab setting. Yeah, I remember. Super simple. You just pop in the tab at the back and the gemstone is set. So I thought, I bet there's loads of people out there who have got settings of this sort that haven't done anything with them. So if you haven't got anything like this, you can add your favourite pendant onto the front yeah. or, you know, so that just made it sort of a bit more contemporary. But of course you can knot it. Of course you can. It's going to look incredible. So how I approach this sort of design, if I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, is I use the beadboard, which is why I've got it out. Um, because when I'm, I know this sounds silly, but when I'm completely in love with something, I'm almost scared to commit to a design. I want to, oh no, I don't want to cut it. <laughs> uh. um, when, when I absolutely love something, like I love these, I don't want to commit to a design straight away. So in other words, I don't want to knot at one end or crimp at one end because I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do maybe. This is my design station right here. So I think the first thing that I would do is just take two pearls and put them aside because they're going to be <coughs> earrings. That's, yeah. that's definitely what I'm going to do. And then what I did, was I wanted to use my amethyst um, 
here because I, I wanted these little amethysts to, to just bring out that colour but without detracting too much from the colour. So I started off with five little amethyst beads. These are all Jewelry Maker products, they're all from my stash. Um, so they'll be over the last couple of weeks to a couple of years. So it's all Jewelry Maker. And then I had these beautiful, I don't even know how, what I would call those. I've called them, called them statement beads in the instruction. These amethyst statement beads. And you've got different colours on your strands. So you could use like a lilac amethyst or you could use a darker amethyst. And I just wanted to put those after every few beads. So I started off with five beads. And then between every bead, I put another one of my little four mils. And then after the third bead, I put a statement. And that's pretty much what I did all the way around. Um, and then I just added in my hexagonal um, gemstone and my sterling silver mount. That could be in the middle, but I'm not a kind of, I don't like too predictable jewelry, so I'd probably wear it asymmetrically, but that's up to you. So as far as actually the construction of the whole thing, we were talking about beading wire and there is beading wire and beading wire and you would definitely with pearls of this caliber you would be using um, a the difference between say a seven strand a 19 strand um, a 49 strand is often the drape mm. so this necklace movement. is the movement so it's how it's going to sit so a seven strand there's nothing wrong with a seven strand but if you're using gemstones and you want that drape to be as beautiful as the gemstones you're using i would go for a 19 strand or even a 49 strand you can even get sterling silver covered and beadalon do that we've done it in the past so usually where you would crimp one end and then start doing your design i would put on one of these just so if I do my design and then I think oh no I want another one of those beads or whatever I haven't committed to my fastening I haven't crimped that end and I have to cut it off so I, I tend to do my design and if you look at my ring actually let me just take that one off that should be on my other finger this is a ring I made and it's just d-shaped wire it's one purple pearl not from this strand but you could do it um, soldered on half a jump ring and then just wrapped looped. Ah, beautiful. So you could most definitely make something like this with this strand as well. It would be absolutely stunning. So I just noticed there and thought. So what you have got is your um, silk. So you might be knotting with your silk. I'm actually just going to crimp. Now you do get this sterling silver magnetic clasp in with your kit. So. I'm popping on my crimp bead. I would keep everything precious metal. So if you're going with gold, keep everything gold. If you're going with, <laughs> it's sticking to the magnet. If you're going with silver, keep everything silver. And then just popping that crimp bead on. Now, depending on whether, just like before, whether you want to add your crimp cover, then you use your crimping pliers. I quite like the organic feel of of seeing that crimp bead. I've said that before, but it, that's not for everyone. So if you want to use your crimping pliers, you can, and then you can just cover it with um, the crimp cover, which you do get with the kit. So the difference between the crimp and the crimp cover, the crimp cover is like a little Pac-Man, and it's going to sit over there far better if you use your crimping pliers than if you just squash it. And then all there is to do is bob on your design. So I'm just gonna pop a few on here so that you can see uh, what they look like together basically so this is my four millimeter and it's all in the instructions all the extra things that I've used my four millimeter amethyst faceted amethyst so I used five of those just to start off with and of course if you want to make this go further like say you want to make um, a necklace and a bracelet you can do that by adding an extender chain to your necklace because that's going to give you some more pearls to add in. And these pearls are so beautiful that even one on a slider bracelet or one in the centre of some micro faceted beads mm. is going to look absolutely mm. yeah. stunning. So I've got five of these amethyst. Always think about the security of your jewellery. So if you can get that tail down your first couple of beads, I would do so, just so that you've got that extra security. I'm just going to trim it off just for the demonstration purposes. So just get rid of that. Of course, the magnetic clasp will stick to everything that's <laughs> stick to all your tools. And then you can start designing. So then I just popped on 
one of these pearls and a spacer in between so, so I'm using an amethyst you could use a knot or you could use a precious metal spacer so I did them in groups of three just because I think the odd numbers are more pleasing to the eye it seems to be a, a design thing I don't know why that is but it, it does seem to be the way it's like the rule of thirds like when you're taking a photograph or when you're drawing something um, odd numbers seem to work better so I'm going to put three of those, God, aren't they beautiful? I mean, look at them, they're so stunning. They are amazing, aren't they? So three of oh. those and then yeah. a statement bead. Of course, this is very me, but it might not be your taste, but it might give you some inspiration for something that you've got in your stash. Yeah. And I literally repeated that all the way down using just groups of three with a spacer in between. So my spacer in this instance being my amethyst. So I'm just going to pop, just trying to find the holes without getting my head in the camera. There we go, one, two. And I've had a couple of strands of, of these, that like one is on the finished necklace and one is that I'm using right now for, for demo. And not, what really impressed me was none of them are the same. I mean, we kind of know that academically, but when we see it with our own eyes, so if you bought two strands, they would, they'd be different because it's, they're totally unique. And then pop on another gemstone. And you just continue um, in that fashion until you get to the point where you want to add your whatever it may be. It may be a pendant, it may be a larger baroque pearl, it may be something that has been passed down to you. And the beauty about these tab settings is that you can just string them on because they've got lots of anchor points. So I just popped that through. And you can do it in different ways. Like you could have it hanging slightly differently if you wanted. You could have it hanging like that so it hangs down. And then I just continued up the other side and finished off. So very, very simple technique. It's literally just crimping and stringing on. Uh, but pretty much anything that you're going to do with this is going to look incredible yeah, because is. this strand is so you. beautiful. It really is. And that's literally all there is is to it. You know, there's nothing more to demo. That that's it. Unbelievable. So if you've never made jewelry before in your life, you can do this. Um, if you've made jewelry for 20 years, you can do this. It's, it doesn't have to be difficult. Yeah, unbelievable. Again, they are truly perfect, aren't they? Oh, they're gorgeous. I mean, look at that. That colour is it. just breathtaking. Oh. That's natural. And I could, I could witter on about the five virtues and everything, but you know what? Just looking at the strand. I feel that... It, it, it speaks says for it itself. All. Yeah, absolutely. Looking at your necklace. It speaks volumes. It doesn't need me to sort of go on. Um, how many do we have single figures? Five left. Oh. Okay, hang on a minute. So there's a lot of people who haven't checked out. I don't know if we can show that, Michael, but on the right-hand side of this our call screen right now, it was always going to be an on-screen sellout. But if you see your name, um, you need to be checking out your basket. So um, Brian, good luck, check out. Melanie, good luck, check out. Diane in County Durham, good luck. Nancy, Donna in Swansea, Sally in East Sussex, Maker in Warwickshire, West Midlands, good luck. Michelle, good luck. Karen, good luck. Cornwall, good luck. Tracy, good luck. Judith, good luck. Julie, good luck. You disappear off the bottom of the screens, by the way. Disappear. I have five remaining opportunities. That's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. And I cannot emphasize enough for us to buy any variety of pearls. Yeah. let alone a natural purple pearl strand yeah. is has never been harder our pearl buyer joined me on a show some weeks ago and said l i can't buy freshwater pearls anymore the chinese will not export them which is where most freshwater pearls are actually harvested and uh, i mean we knew this didn't we as a we company before this because we were being told um I put some ideas in for things and was told you can't have that in pearls because we just can't do it anymore. I just we used to do pearl days, Debs. Yeah, we did, didn't we? <laughs> we can't do pearl days now. We that, used to do pearl weekends. I know we did, and I, I've got a lot of pearls from those days that I just haven't used. I've got loads of them. Thank I, goodness, made hay when the sun shines. I'm so glad. Not because I knew what was going to happen, I didn't, but because I love them so much. Yeah, absolutely. The final two, well done, everybody. Yeah, we can't do that. Pearls have never been more expensive than they are right now. Never, especially quality like this. 
Oh, it's Especially. So unbelievable absolutely unbelievable i've got two left so i'm gonna leave those with you because there's still loads of you there um okay just before we get into the earrings which i think you're gonna sell in a heartbeat can i just take a moment oh my goodness <laughs> They, they gave me these in the middle of a show and said, can you make a necklace for the brochure? And I saw the box and that was enough for me. And I opened them up and my mouth just dropped open. And I was with Carol and I went to Carol, have you seen these? They were the biggest pearls I've seen in my life. They're the biggest pearls jewelry makers ever brought away. Oh, they're beautiful. Those earrings are absolutely incredible. Sorry. And they come <laughs> Look at the like box like so. Look at the box. Yeah. They're tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Dave's joining me once again. This is how they arrive. The quality of these pearls are absolutely remarkable. It's a wow moment. And we've got quantity as well, and incredibly. Really? You know, yeah, incredibly, yeah. Look at those pearls. Those earrings. Seriously. Oh, no. They are the biggest in history. Sorry, Adam, I can't help but getting excited. I'm like, oh, look at them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it's not only me. Just take a look at them. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. They're just, ooh. They are, um, aren't they? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, wow. <laughs> I get pretty excited when it comes to pearls. Um, understandably so. Um, okay. Now, again. Oh, these. Speaking of earrings. Some time ago, what I mean, a few, a few couple of years ago, maybe we we first introduced a photograph that we've referenced quite a few times. We've said, oh, yeah, yeah, Yoko of London, you can go to them to uh, the Nova earrings, and look, duet, freshwater pearl, same as yours, pink sapphires and diamonds. By the way, the pink sapphire and diamonds go at the back. What's the point? I don't know, but you wear them at the back. In 18 karat gold, eight grand for those. Yeah, but these pearls, look at those pearls and look at these pearls. These are the closest that I've seen. Because this is my inspiration, this photo. Yeah. And I think, look, I mean, look. Those earrings are beautiful, Debs. Look, I, I, I can't take any credit. I glued them in. Can I take some credit? Yeah, Ad says I can take some credit. Definitely do it. But it, it, anyone them. could do that. Do you know there's one downside? Oh yeah, there's not quantity, is it? No. There's like 20 what, 28? Is that right, Ross? Oh, look at them. And they come beautifully boxed as well. You get the perfect pair, the perfect duet of freshwater, natural, perfect. purple pearls. Perfect. They come presented like so. All you need to do is put them in your setting of choice, whether that be, um, I've flipped the box around basically so you can see the pearls better because if I was showing it that way you wouldn't see the pearls as well. Do you see where I'm coming from? Do you know what I did with these? When I made them I had to send them down for photography. I put them in that box. I, I can't believe I'm admitting this. And I kept closing the box and then opening the box and looking at the earrings and closing the box and looking because I thought wow. Yeah. Am I mad? No. <laughs> Those earrings, can you imagine those? I kept thinking... And you're gifting them yeah, and they you, open the box to yeah, those yes. earrings. I kept opening them and looking at them and think, imagine if I saw those in a jeweller's. Yeah. Because that, that, I love them so that much. That pretty woman reaction. That pre and look, the box goes so beautifully with the, the whole experience yeah. of it. It is an Does experience. Does that make sense? It makes total okay, sense. <laughs> total, total sense. But then I'm as giddy about pearls as you are. I know. So. We both love them, don't yeah. we? Yeah. Um, okay. Are you ready? We have 28 available oh. opportunities, jewelry makers. Again, certified totally natural. They are live. The perfect accompaniment to the pearl necklace that you've just seen. Um, these will go in a heartbeat, though. They will. They're half drilled. Those earrings. I mean, how much would they be in a jeweler's? It's, it's a daft question because it's not going to be anywhere near what you're about to see. Thousands? Yeah. I, I, I think there's every potential. Absolutely. First price crash. I mean, just look. Oh, is that the first price? <laughs> is it? I don't know what I'm getting. Is it like you can't hear me? <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. Let me just say that if you got the pearl strand and the earrings, oh. you are still paying less than what the strand should be. 
Oh, I totally agree with that, 100%. Oh, they're so beautiful. Look at Katie wearing those. She looks amazing, doesn't she? She's got lovely lips. She has got lovely lips. And she does, when she when she has her photograph taken, she, she does the slightly open mouth. Yeah, she's beautiful. She is beautiful. So if I did that, I'd just look like this. <laughs> you would not. You've got lovely, you would not. You'd be able to do that. You'd be gorgeous. There's also... <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> we had 28 available. She's beautiful, isn't she? Um, okay, what have you found, Roscoe? Pearl and diamond earrings in 18 karat white gold. 3,200. Oh my goodness. Uh, do you know which I prefer, Debs? Well, I prefer the... I, I prefer, prefer yours. Thank you. You can have them for 3,200. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um, because you said you went to First Dibs and you had a little look for some inspiration on First Dibs. And I was looking at these earrings, all these earrings. Oh. Like these. Because you see how they've put like the purples together? All of these are inspiring me. Because, yes. Yeah. You know. Look oh, well, that. you can see that's why you went with the amethyst on the necklace that's as well, right, I guess. Yeah. Oh, it works and it complements the pink perfectly. Um, how much six grand? Oh. I mean, that's pink sapphire, fair enough, but it looks pretty lilac and purple. It's got, they're gorgeous. I mean, oh, they're, they're Yoko London pearls. They're Yoko, six grand. Yeah, they're beautiful. I love them. Um, by the way, do you know that, you, uh, I have to be really cautious with this, okay. So the pearls that we bring to wear are often the same variety from the same location that you find in maybe your Yoko and your Cartier mm -hmm. and places like mm -hmm. that. We buy from the same locations. So don't think yours are inferior quality because they're absolutely not. Half the stock, did you say? Has gone. At 99 pounds and 99 pence. It's not when we're closing. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. This will go in a heartbeat. There's still loads of you waiting in the wings to check out your baskets. Oh, I, wow. That's ridiculous. Ooh. That's You'd pay that for the box in some places, wouldn't you? If you went to Marks and Spencers or Zara or River Island, and I was saying this last time I was on, um, H&M, um, I got, get their emails, and there was a glass necklace made of glass beads. Mm -hmm. It was $39.99, and it sold out. 40 pounds and it was glass and you're 49.99 you're getting genuine rare half but there's uh, nothing wrong with that i'm not dissing that there's no, nothing wrong with it there's a you place know, there's a place for everything but if you put that in perspective of how much this is well Debs, this is why we have jewelers shop with us yeah. this is why jewelers yeah. we, well dave mentioned it earlier on this is why we have the likes of um there's a there's a jeweler in san francisco there's multiple jewellers in London. Yes. All around the UK. I often wonder that when I see like, multiples of things going. Yes, yeah, jewellers. The same name is jewellers. Not always, but a lot of the time they're mm. jewellers. We know this, and that's fine because they, you know, they might have gone to Hong Kong but couldn't afford the prices. Yeah. Because we're still honouring the prices from what, how, how many years ago? Well done. Okay, we do have the posts bring you as well. So if you want to, um, the same as Deb's. Okay, so if you want to recreate these beautiful earrings, let's bring you the silver. I think these are beautiful, and it's topaz. Oh. So you've got that brilliance. It just, it's beautiful. Did you say we've got these in gold as well? I want these. Please say there's quantity, Ross. Is there 50? How many is there of the gold? I really want to join you on these. Do you know, I nearly put the gold on, but I wanted it to match the necklace, but the gold look absolutely gorgeous on as I well. I bet they do. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? They, whether they're silver, gold, Makes rose, no they're all amazing, aren't they? Uh, what? Oh, what? Oh, well, every single chance that I had of getting these, Ross has just flown out the window, <laughs> isn't it? What on earth? So you can make those earrings for how much? 55 pounds. Madness. They're genuine topaz. They're, they're just beautiful, and I just think they're the perfect. You've got that sparkle, but you've got that very elegant little piece of chain, and you just let the pearls do the talking. Absolutely. Oof. Amazing. I'd buy these if I hadn't made them. I'd buy these earrings. Yeah, uh, well, I'm, I'm regretting, thank you, lovely. I'm regretting not having my phone in here in the studio, because I 100% would be joining on these too. Silver sold out, well done. Let's do the gold. 
Oh, they're all gonna fly. They're all gonna sell out. No doubt about it. Um, here we go. See, the gold are lovely as well, aren't they? Oh, they're all lovely, and the rose gold. Genuine topaz. Just glue them into place. That looks like a diamond. I mean, you know. You get more brilliance from a topaz, though, don't you? Yep. In many cases, you can put more facets in a diamond, in a topaz than you can a diamond. Um, these little backs, you know, we haven't, uh, they're quite new to our portfolio. So and they're really comfortable. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Really comfortable to wear and grip. They grip them really well. Look at those, 6.99. Oh, please don't sell out please don't sell out please don't sell out <laughs> i really want to join you on these as well they're absolutely beautiful um are they likely to yeah ross doesn't sugarcoat things he's like yeah you're not gonna get them amazing um the last one rose gold very, very pretty, pretty with the purple yes they all work i couldn't decide which ones to use do you know what you truly have been spoilt today, haven't you? Very spoilt. Oh. I'm very happy. Just beautiful. And you get to wear these beautiful pieces of jewellery afterwards. And I do. You know, you guys know I do. I, we I wear what I make because I love jewellery. Yeah, and that's right, isn't it? That's, thank you. That's what, what, what jewellery making is about, isn't it? Yes, some of the people you know, sell them, make them to sell. Um, however, you know, if you're making for yourself, that's why many of us start on this journey, is to wear. I, I make pieces that I will wear, yeah, like you. Absolutely. And you know, just you don't come across things like we've seen today, which is why it's called Rarity Weekend, I presume. Um, there will have been a lot of thought, a lot of buying that's gone into this weekend. It would have been months and months in, in the making. I mean, look what, what jewelry makers offered. Well, I wouldn't Already. be able to afford any of these pieces. No. You know? That's a thing. I'd have admired them from afar, but I'd never been able to afford buying them. No. So Unbelievable. Six pounds and ninety-nine pence only jewelry makers to get hold of these. Did you have anything that all no. or yeah. Amazing, right. Okay. We've got what a couple of minutes left between the top of the show. Ooh. Well done everybody. Um Ooh, they're nice. Ooh, look at them. Get a little selection. I say little, there's eight. <laughs> there's nothing. You've got your heart. Oh, I love that. I've not seen that before. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love I, by the time I show you all these, the time you get your leaf. Oh, they're all different. They're all different. You get a collection of them. I'm getting these. Aren't they nice? Mm. Oh, I showed you that really badly. Sorry. There so you go. You get all of them. All of them. Oh, okay. You get a flower. Oh, well, let's see the flower. Oh, that's oh. nice. It's like a little bead cap flower. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. So that goes nice. like that. Then you get. Oh my goodness me! Can you see this? Yeah, and a, that's like a leaf shape, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You get a butterfly. Oh, that's lovely. Beautiful. You get another like bee cap one. Can you see that? Yep. So we were going to say, right, £10 each. Ross says, yeah, how about £5 each to start? Just for starters. Oh, thanks, Adam. Um, here you go. You can see them perfectly. Oh, they're lovely. Look at that. They're doing like a maypole. <laughs> 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 Today, ignore five pounds each. You get eight pieces, all solid 925 sterling silver. You just need the perfect gemstone, don't you? And I think we've definitely brought you that today and then some. Bronze, yeah. um, 24.99. Oh, wow, that's good. For eight. For all of them. I need to stop saying wow, but it's a bit of a wow day. It, it has been a very much I a wow day. I apologise for keep saying wow. I'm not doing it on purpose. I will generally... I'm thinking, wow. <laughs> Do you know what? It's like it's like like Owen Wilson Day. Wow. 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 Or my cat, she me eyes like that. Wow. Your cat's beautiful. <laughs> You've got the queen of all cats you have, and I haven't seen the other one. Apparently, it's even more beautiful. Oh, Dave, glorious. He's glorious. How much is that working out at each? £3.12p. <clears throat> That's base metal prices. Oh, now we're running out of time well done are the gold plated on the web yeah yeah so you can get the gold plated silver on the web coming up tomorrow jewelry makers take a little look at this wow um <laughs> you have your four carats of olmec blue jadeite coming up those are beautiful bars that uh, are in our catalogue they're your early bird nine o'clock um, I'm going to be joined by the fantastic Mark very much looking forward to that with your mixed coloured agate projects his pieces are amazing 
Um, at 10 o'clock, it is all about those absolutely massive Edison pearls. Oh. The biggest ones we've done in jewelry maker history. That's 14 years pretty much, isn't it? Oh, they're beautiful. Um, and we've got quantity of those. Um, Multicolored sapphire coming your way as well. And faux fordite um, with Mark. So very excited about that. Beautiful, I love his jewelry. Oh. Yeah, make sure you're with us at 10 o'clock tomorrow because honestly, these pearls are going to blow you away. They're absolutely incredible. Debs, when are you back, my darling? Thursday. Yay, with us! Yay! Yay! Yeah. Thank you for today. It's been wonderful oh, as no, always. Thank you for having me. Today's been amazing. I can't wait to see what tomorrow Some brings. might say, wow. I think it's wow. <laughs> <laughs> Free potion and packaging continues as well tomorrow, jewelry makers. Make sure you check it out your baskets on all of your pearls today, plus so much more. Um, again, 10 o'clock tomorrow. Well, be with me from the very beginning. I you've will. got Olmec, you've got Mark. What more could we possibly want? Have a lovely Saturday, everybody. Um, give yourself a giant pat on the back because it has been an unbelievable rarity uh, weekend, but there's more to see tomorrow. Take care. Thank you again. We love you. Thank and we you. We love you. Bye.